All right, hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brewer Remastered for a Sunday stream. Camera adjusting for the start. Woo! So I was up until 2 a.m. casting StarCraft 2 for Africa. Africa World number 113, and uh, yeah, so we moved back to start a little bit, but hey, we are here for some StarCraft Brood War for your re um, replay sent to Falcon Paladin at gmail.com, the subject of Brood War. We've got April 2024 here, and the 14th, which is a Sunday, which is always is. All right, so let's go ahead and see who's here today. We've got a bad SC player on Twitch. What's up, dude? We've got Tyle Tyle Tyrell being the first player or first watcher here. We've got uh, Hello. cats here in the studio. Cat. Just one cat. Oh, cat. He'll come back later. Okay, what's up, Ollie? Hello. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Aww, such a happy cat. Just always, always, always such a happy cat. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay. All right. We also got semis here. Trevor, Mass, Vincent saying what's up. Corey Allen, Lucky Noob, Mark Wells, Jose, Alexander in the house. Two Rumple, Nim O Noom. Uh, what? MST. I cannot say that name. That does not have any vowels in it at all. MST it is. We've got Tebos, Wero, Lucky Owl. What's up, Lucky Owl? You're back in the woods. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, ACR says, I think in 1v7, Terran is the best. Ah, oh, the 1v7 hero UMS we've done the last couple of weeks. Interesting, interesting. Who else? Who else? Farewell. Longtime supporters. Farewell. Big Joe says, going through some tough times. Oh, second chemo treatment. Ah, oh, well, best of luck to you, man. I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream and my YouTube videos. What's up, Gallons? What's up? What was that? Heck yeah. Dun dun. Omar. My goodness, we just have a lot of great people here today. Connor's in the house. What's up, Connor? Sweet. Dun, 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 dun. And Aki is here too, listening to the stream. We've got Maximilian from Poland. Fantastic. We got some Polish watchers on Sundays usually. Q's fan, a Syracuse fan. My goodness. Sapphire Jade Starlight's here too. What's up? And Aki says hit that like button as well. If you're uh, this here this early and not subbed, what is going on with you? It's a good point. All right. So we got two RJB replays. It combined about 50 minutes there. We've got a Nibbler, 3v3 fastest map. We've got a Semis, a couple Semis replays here. Awesome. We've got Potato Terran. Omar is in the house. Awesome stuff too. Varara in the house. Lucky Owl sent in a replay. WK Cross sent a replay, which means you know it is good if WK Cross sent it in. And then a couple 2v2s, one on Python, one on New Bloodbath Advance 1.37, which is, uh, that's a name, I guess? For a bloodbath. Anywho, what do we want to start this thing off with? Oh, Omar's here, so tell you what, let's go Potato Terran. Or TVZ. On what I think is Fighting Spirit. Yeah, that's Fighting Spirit. I don't know Korean, but I recognize the Korean characters for Fighting Spirit. <laughs> anyway, happy Sunday, everyone. Love y'all. Let's get this thing going. So top left versus bottom right going to be a white Zerg player. It is F display. Center of the bottom right, it is Potato Terran. So Red Terran versus White Zerg. What are you guys talking about? Good ones. Oh, ASL this season. Yeah. Super, super fun. I have been watching the ASL. Watch, man, Sulky versus Mini. I'm not going to spoil anything. Not gonna do it, but I will tell you, man, there were at least a couple games in there where the winner won because the loser just didn't know what was coming at all. Just did not adequately scout or didn't adequately prepare for what was coming and just died. Thanks for subbing, Sergey. And I was just like, you are in ASL. Like, how are you getting absolutely surprised like this? It was concerning. 
both players did it too. Like I'm not saying that it was just one or the other. Mini and Sulky both at times looked like just had no idea what was going on. Like I'm playing StarCraft, that's weird. What's up, Queen Amelia? Long time channel member, Queen Amelia. All right, so drone comes in for the scout. I like the drone scout. I like the SCV scout too. Comes in, sees no quick expand, sees the barracks is done. Feels pretty safe about going hatch first into pool here. Not getting any gas. Doesn't want speed super quickly. I'd like to see this drone stick around maybe and try to see if there's an expansion happening. Or if this is a one baser, right? If we're going two racks with gas, maybe getting some early fire bats out, maybe some medics, that'd be pretty nuts. Oh, a quick macro hatch here too from Zerg. And macro hatch before the gas is an interesting idea. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like this should probably just be a third hatch somewhere. Like take this as a third or take this as a third base. If you want a fast third. Also getting a fast third against someone who, okay, that's actually a factory. So this could be dangerous. Potato Terran going one base against a Zerg player who's got two bases and a macro hatch. Going into lair, doesn't really have much. Definitely gonna, th okay, gonna throw up some creeps here. So what you wanna be doing here, Zerg, is keep an eye on this, right? Send the Ling down, see if there's an expansion. Maybe poke up the ramp a little bit, see how many Marines there are. And then once they start poking out, once they start moving, you've got time to throw down these creeps and these sunkens once they start moving. But doing it now is just entirely unnecessary. Oh yeah, how are you enjoying the fallout, Queen Amelia? I've heard pretty much nothing but good things, honestly, good reactions from people on the internet and in real life. But yeah, this is the first game of the day. I was up until 2 a.m. casting a, a freak of worlds, so. Oh man, and then a bunker here from Potato Terran. Yeah, I mean, this is Potato Terran. See, and then you can see there are vultures coming out. And then, yes, having the sunkens is good, but these are just too early. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the plan is here for the Zerg player. He's got the Hydra Den. He didn't make any Hydras. He made a Spire. Now he fires up seven Mutas. So I don't know if the Hydra Den was a safety opening. Maybe he was worried about two port Wraith or something. But to his credit, he didn't just make blind hydras in panic. Okay, well, I'm glad you've enjoyed the Fallout show, even though you haven't played Fallout, Queen Amelia. That's what I've heard. I've heard people who really love Fallout have really enjoyed the TV show, and people that have never played Fallout are also really enjoying the TV show. So, good job, guys. Like, way to do a good adaptation of a fairly beloved intellectual property. I feel like this should happen more often than it does, but I'll take it. I'll be happy when it happens. All right, so how ready are we for Mutalisks, Potato Terran? Got a turret, got another turret. Okay, got a bunch of Goliaths. All right, the Mutas are some decent Muta Micro, actually. We're stacking. Uh, here's the thing, you can kill this turret, y'all. There you go, he decides to try to kill the turret. But that's when the Goliaths arrive. They don't care on boost yet, but still pretty scary. Plus one flyer attacks coming in here, too. Ah, get out. So a couple of Mutalisks die. A bunch of SCVs die. It's 27 to 27 workers. Uh, there was a bit of an advantage there in worker count for Potato Terran, but not anymore. Third base coming up at 12 o'clock during the Mutalisk harass, which is fantastic. Got a spider mine that it can actually scout that hilariously. Spider mines don't have the greatest vision radius, but... We're close enough to this third hatch to do it. Hey, what's up, Daniel AF? Having a beautiful, beautiful day of weather. Yeah, it's gorgeous here, too. Yesterday was like the best day we've had all year for weather. I mean, what is it now? About 60 degrees. I'm gonna get up to 67 today, not too hot. But just nice enough with tons of sun. Got Mad Doctor in the house, too. Ah, Queen Amelia. <laughs> That's funny. Queen Amelia's like, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't have time for Fallout. And Red Dead Redemption 2 is a much better game than any of the Fallouts. Look, New Vegas is pretty good. Okay, New Vegas is like the best written 
kind of most interesting of the Fallout games, I would say. But even that doesn't hold a candle to RDR2. Just different worlds, man. All right. Potato Terran is mecking, obviously. We saw the Goliaths. We see the Vultures. Boo. Oh, thanks for the Tier 3 resub for 12 months, man. One year of Tier 3 is right. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday to you. Hope it's been a good one for you so far. And thanks for the follow, El Baba Yaga. I'm not sure if I said thanks for that to Baba Yaga. That's an interesting point, Daniel AF. Like, maybe FPS kind of falling off. Maybe the era of, ah, as the stack to the third base comes in. Lurkers burrow in. Is there scanning available? And the answer is no and no. Okay, so no detection means lurkers are awesome. Wow, lurkers totally saved this space. This was enough to totally wipe that third, except for the fact that Potato Terran forgot about Comsat. We're about 12 minutes in. He's had an armor and academy for a bit here. Just was like, mm, it's mutilisk. They can't also have lurkers and then totally forgot. So. You should be proud, Phil. One year of Tier 3 is amazing. Only Tier 3 sub. Out on the Twitches. Coming... Oh. Oh, he's got a scan now. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe actually kill the Lurkers while you can see them, though. That's uh, has to get a second scan and doesn't even take down... There we go. The first Lurker does die. The Sunken putting in huge damage, though. Sunken is so good. It's expensive. It costs you an entire drone forever. And you have to build a creep, and you have to upgrade it to a sunken. But my goodness, it is worth. It just hits like an absolute truck on everything. There's Oh, repairing the Goliath is fun. There's nothing that's like, oh, a sunken, whatever. You're getting hit by a sunken. You feel it, man. So firing up a ton of factories here on two bases. It's too many factories for two bases, right? Uh, six fact, five factories is about where you want to go on two. And then you want to expand pretty quickly, but at this stage, we're on two bases, got six factories, both players floating a ton of cash. I I don't know if Zergy Zerg here is trying to like save up a ton of money for 27 Ultralisks, but he's on well on his way there at 3,700 minerals and 1,900 gas. Yeah, Sunken Range is also really good. God like CL1, thank you for the follow. Finally, a bit of some Ling scouting. Here from White Zerg. But it's 34 to 44 workers. I'm not sure if Potato Terran is afraid to expand. Is he firing up? Okay. He's fired up another factory and a starport, but also getting a third CC here. Great. That's fine. There's plenty of maps you can build this third CC inside your main and float it pretty easily to where your third base should be. Of course, he's blocking it with the spider mine, which isn't great, but killing the spider mine is not a big deal. What's up, Joy Black Dragon? I'm glad you're here live as well. All right, Goliaths on the march up to the top left here. But Sunkins, we talked about Sunkins, right? I'm trying to figure out what Zerg is up to. 4,000 minerals, 2,400 gas. His hive is done. I'm not sure if he's... Hey, too late. I'm not sure if I said that right, but thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Starcraft. He scans the third base, says, hmm... Man, two Sunkens at the top of the ramp. What are we supposed to do about that? Honestly, he's getting Siege Mode, so he knows what to do about that. Absolutely good. Ugh. Ow. Yeah, Sunkens high ground are better than even Sunkens on even ground. Throw down an Ultra Cavern. He's getting Adrenal, and he's making a bunch of Zerglings. He's going to spend all of his 3,600 Minerals on Lings here, my guess. Couple Spores up. I don't know what he's worried about. Why two Spores? Maybe he's worried about getting nuked or something. What's up, rude? Drops would be pretty good. Yeah, Flyer Carapace, though. Maybe Greater Spire Guardian? But against all of these Goliaths, I don't know if I support that. Okay, where are my Siege Tanks? Because I just have enough Goliaths to brute force this with 1-1 one, one upgrades. Trying to stutter step up the ramp. Okay. 
Look at this. Look at this micro from Potato Terran. That's pretty fancy. I don't know if it's going to work. These lings do have adrenal after all. And uh, all of plus one carapace. But not enough to deal with... Okay, these goliaths. So... Oh, hang on. More lings popped. <laughs> That's a three kill Goliath before he dies. This one's got seven kills, not bad. And look at the stutter step, man. Stutter step, stutter step. He's gonna actually win this battle. Thinks a lot to stutter step. Wait, hang on, these are adrenal links. Nope. Five kills, another drone gets target fired, and then he dies to kill that drone. So it's 30 drones to 55 SCVs. Finally, this third base is here. Wait, he's building a command center on a location but also floating one, but also... Okay. I guess he's going to float this over here for a fourth base. That seems fine, too. <laughs> Sup, Nibbler. Seriously, I don't know what the Zerg player is doing. The Zerg player is sitting on all of the cash in the known world and only really making speedlings, which, uh, against Mask Goliath, is pretty good, especially if they're adrenalines. I'm not going to say that's a bad idea. I don't think they have speed, though. Do they not have speed? Definitely have Adrenal. Siege tanks. And yeah, just walk up here. Siege your tanks. Third base dead. Ah, getting a fourth base down this way. Command center accidentally scouts. It did not know this was here. Probably. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Paul? Oh, long time YouTube lurker. Nice. Hey, he got up the ramp. This third base is going to die. Yeah, Paul, you're very welcome for the content. Science facility coming in from Omar. Third base of the Zerg dies. New third base coming up down here. Not all that super well defended, but... Uh, these are now 1-1 lings with adrenal, which you got to take seriously in most cases. You know, unless you're a really well-upgraded firebat or something. But seriously, this guy is just making lings. He's a man after my own heart. Just... Trickling lings across the map, one at a time, in single file. How's it going, Jordan Barney? Omar falling back. Which is all the more annoying because he's working on consume. If Zerg player had just waited until consume was done and then come down here, Dark swarmed this and then sent those lings in there, that'd be a bust. But instead, he sends 30 lings in, gets nothing done. He loses his fourth base. He's not replacing his third base because there's tanks up there and stuff anyway, which is fair. But yeah, Zerg player, we're gonna get a tank. But I don't know, I don't know. He keeps sending more lings down. So eventually these Goliaths are going to die, but Getting further carapace upgrades for the lings. Like he's got consume. He's got a defiler mount. He has defilers. But he keeps sending lings across the map entirely unsupported. It's just naked lings. I like how these guys will not attack this. Tell you tell them to. Good heavens. Okay, so third base exists. It's not the biggest mech army of the world, but. If your only answer to everything mech that's happening here is Zerglings with 1-1 one, one and Adrenal, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. Oh yeah, so this is just, this is the killing blow. Yeah, I don't think you even have to go in here if you're Potato Terran or if you're Omar. I honestly think you just siege up on this bridge, siege up over here. Why are you bringing SCPs? What are these guys supposed to do? Repair, maybe. Also, further upgrades for the mech would be pretty good. They're at 1-1. They should be at 2-2 by now, but hey. It's all good. Yeah, ultras would have been great. They're just not doing that. Hey, it's a dark swarm. Holy crap. He did a dark swarm, but after his lings were all dead, and now the tanks are just casually shelling away at the sunkens. 
more links do pop up. What's up? Nice roll. Long time channel member. Nice roll. Happy Sunday to you. Uh, yep. Just gonna send in like five links at a time. Forcing these tanks to unsiege is not nothing. I'm alright with it. Like, okay, resiege. Goliaths. I think they're all checking to make sure this base doesn't happen. But Zerg players have got a Nidus too. I mean, this Zerg player doesn't. It's not useless. He just threw up a Dark Swarm and basically bought himself a ton more time. I like how these Mutas are forgotten. And I think they're only here because they got dragged in. There you go. Now they're being actually controlled, except for that one. Come back in and died again. Alright. Well, this is not great. Kyle, thanks for re-upping your membership for 31 months. Holy monster. 31 months is like... I don't know. Three uh, three years is twenty. Wait, two months. Two years is twenty-four months. I can't do math. It's a lot of months. Thanks, Kyle. Good morning to Florida. <laughs> Kyle's longest relationship ever is with the Falcon Paladin Brood War channel. That's Thirty-one months. <laughs> Stream math is hard, plus I got like six hours of sleep last night, so the Falcon usually needs about eight and a half or nine, so we are uh, a little bit, not at 100% today, but that's all right. We like the Brood War. We're here. We love it. 31 months is two and a half years. Thank you, Aki. I appreciate the calculator. I need the calculations sometimes. Okay, so we're just gonna sit on the other side of this bridge with our 1-1 siege tanks. Ooh, plus two's on the way. Dude, seriously, man. You have enough money to make, like, 10 ultras. Make 10 ultras. And just go brrrrg. Okay upgrades, I guess. What is this? Oh. I think he was just making a ton of macro hatcheries here at the third base in order to go all of the zerglings. What's up, Raphael and Chelsea from the Philippines? Happy Sunday to you. I don't know. This is kind of like me, except I would make ultras. I would 100% have ultras at this point. And Zerg's just like, Meh. no. Lings are nothing. So, GG. Floating so much, so much gas, especially. Floating minerals is one thing. But floating gas is another thing, man. Alright, so GG Potato Terror, nicely done. Omar getting a win in the first game of the day. It's a 3 to 1 kill death ratio. Got outproduced 4 to 1. But 3 to 1 kill death ratio. I mean, 330 to 83 is pretty good. 70 to 2 buildings raised by the Terran is nuts. <laughs> And then outspending your Zerg by any amount, really. Outspend your Zerg by any amount. You're probably going to get a lot of a lot of wins there. So, Noice. Omar gets the win. Next up, who else is Nibbler? Nibbler is in the house. All right. So, we got a 3v3 mad with yellow. I don't... I'm not sure what with yellow means, but let's check it out. Nibbler's here. Everyone say hello to Nibbler. What's up, Lucas? All right, 3v3, not left versus right, but it is top versus bottom here. So, Mad Bills in the house for Team 1. He's going to be Protoss, dark, dark, dark blue. Team 2 is a brown Protoss player, NGC4216, XXXXXX. And their teammate in the bottom left here is a Teal. Wait, no, it isn't top versus bottom. Crap, it did the thing again. Nibbler says, pro game. Why am I in this? Uh. I don't know, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, mm, mm, all right, fine. So, this is Mad Bills. His teammates, however, are actually Nibbler in the bottom right, who's orange, and a yellow Terran player who is El Mata Piratoyo. Holy smokes, I don't know how to say that. 
So now Team 2 is actually, bam, this guy up here, who's a brown Protoss NGC. And then his Zerg teammate bottom left, 1, 6, 7, 8, 5, 7, 5, 6, 5, 5, 5, which... It's like a phone number or something. And then we got 3v3 fastest over here, too. Uh, high APMs are including Mad Bills and 6, 7, 8, and El Mata Pirolito. Red team has perfect records. Ah, says Nibbler. Okay. I don't know. You could be saying F displace. But I don't know. It's like displace? I don't know what displace would be, Gallon. Man, I watched uh, X Men 97 last night with my daughter. Holy crap, it's good. I cannot. Like, that's another thing. We got two things recently where they take a beloved IP, adapt it for today, and it's awesome. Like, it's absolutely awesome. So, recommending X Men 97, man. Holy smokes. Kyle saw Civil War. Ooh, how was that? I've heard it's not quite what is build. Like, the trailers don't quite communicate what it is, but people kind of liked what it is anyway, which is interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, the other one being Fallout, Joy. The Fallout TV show on Amazon is apparently really good, too. We're sunken rushing? Sure! Nibbler's like, these guys are undefeated. We got a sunken rush. And then it does not work at all because there are sunkens here and there are zealots here. And that's not going well. But Dune is amazing, too. I saw Dune 2. I've seen Dune 2 four times in theaters so far. So Dune Part 2 is awesome. <laughs> That's another one. So yeah, so basically three really good adaptations of beloved IP over the last month or two. I mean, the hit rate is getting better on this because we have had a lot of losses, right? Witcher, meh. First season was good. Season two, blah. Season three, blah. Obviously, the Halo TV show is a pretty poor adaptation of the Halo IP. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But, you know, Last of Us was really good. Now Fallout is good. X-Men 97 is good. There's a list. Wheel of Time was meh, but Joy says it was crippled by COVID, which happens, I suppose. I'm going to move up here against NGC. Little bit of pressure in from 3v3 fastest. No, no, it's Mad Bills, rather. Mad Bills is up here doing some stuff. Lucky Owl has religious reasons to avoiding theaters. Is it because they sell popcorn for, like, $10 a bucket? Oh, Shogun's really good, too. I'm Jillaria. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I Man, I've been watching Shogun. I need to watch the latest episode. I haven't had time to get to it this week, but probably watch it after the stream. Yeah, I like Shogun a lot. That's an adaptation of a book from, like, the 80s. So it's an adaptation, but not quite an adaptation of, like, a video game. Yep, Sicario's great. I mean, that's, you know, one of Denny Villeneuve's earlier directorial things. Ah, Lucky Owl says he doesn't like people telling him what to do. Gotta be somewhere at a certain time to watch a movie you can't pause and take a bio break. That, these are all good points, Lucky Owl. Absolutely true. El Mata Pilalito. Piru, pirulito. That is a little bit tough to get my tongue around. Pirulito. It says there's going to be drops. Of course there's going to be drops. You have Protoss on the other team. There's always drops. To drop at three. Or drop from three? Or are they saying to drop three? That could mean a few things. Wait, 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 
who directed Zagario? Is that Alex Garland? Oh, you know what? You are right. No, no, the Sicario director is Denny. Denny Villeneuve. I don't even... Okay, so you're not talking about directors, Kyle. You're just saying the Civil War movie made you want to watch other kind of similar vibe movies. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, the Castlevania adaptation was pretty good, too. I agree, Paul. I agree. Also, wait, you have Shogun on Netflix? You must not be in America, because Shogun is totally on Hulu slash Disney Plus here in America. Yes, we do have viewers from all around the world. It's very neat. All right, man. 3v3 fastest has a gajillion zealots. Like, a lot of zealots and cannons. Pretty classic. Pretty classic 3v3 fastest map shenanigans here. Nibbler's got Hydras. He's morphing Lurkers in sub eight minutes. Good timing from him. He's really been left alone, though. It's easier to hit your timings when that happens. Haha. <laughs> I think everybody can relate to that idea. Obs are on the way from 3v3 fastest. Storm on the way from both NGC and Mad Bills. And the time of the cannon contain is now over, as NGC tried to cannon contain El Matapiralito. But then the siege tanks showed up. There are a bunch of zealots wander in here. Not really any micro going on from this Terran. Zealots are going to do a lot better as a result. That's a lot of zealots, man. That's 3v3 fastest and NGC jumping on El Matapiralito. Gosh, just getting absolutely overrun. Brutally, brutally, cruelly overrun here. Bunker might be enough to hold this. They're chasing the tank. The bunker does have a fire bat in it, so it's a little bit threatening, but it's only one fire bat and three marines. Zealots are dying, man. Yeah, man. Fire bat doing some work. Ah, he goes down. So I guess that's a hold, like a zero micro hold from El Mata Perolito. Absolutely crazy. And Nibbler going for a traditional nibble nibble drops, swinging up this right side. Ah, there are a bunch of cannons here from 3v3 fastest. But we're unloading the lurkers and the hydralists anyway. Is there enough Lurker Hydra, or are the Zealots got to get the cannon so the Lurkers are amazing? Cannon goes down. No detection available here. There might be an op somewhere. I don't know, but oh, the Lurker count for 3v3 fastest gets obliterated. Ba -ba -ba -ba, down to five. However, Nibbler's getting countered by a million Hydralisks with 1-1 one, one upgrades from 1-6-7-8. Uh, what's up, guy who realized his whole life was a lie? Who's that? Name change, huh? smokes. Come on, Nibbler. Does he have any lurkers at home? Some lurkers would be good here, but I guess there is an overlord. Pickable, though, is not ideal. Nibbler's like, I was killing someone else, and then I got killed. That's the thing with team games. Sometimes you go out and murder someone and feel great, and then back home, oops, you got backstabbed by somebody else in the meantime. So, Nibbler, beautiful drop. Great execution. I mean, I'm not sure there's enough room for 1678. Nibbler's saying help me, but uh Hang on, he's got some lurkers. They're doing some work here. But also Hydra's with the range. Not a bad answer to these lurks at all. And oh my gosh, he just sends enough Hydra's to clear this out too. 678 here is macroing incredibly hard. 170 supply. And he's lost a ton of Hydras on this attack on Nibbler, and a ton of Hydras trying to clear Nibbler out of this right side position, too. So, um, this player's pretty great. Wow. You like my optimism? <laughs> what am I specifically being optimistic about here? Uh, the Lurkers? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they thinned this out fairly well, but 
Six seven eight, like we said, is macroing his absolute face off and is doing nothing but sending hydras for the rest of all time. One one upgrades on these things. Just alone, he kills Nibbler and saves three v three fastest by himself. El Mata Pirolito kind of tried to move out, but no. Man. So yeah, Nibbler just gets overrun. Look, if Nibbler had not been away from home and totally wiping out 3v3 fastest, he would have had enough to deal with these Hydras. It's bad timing is what it is. Maybe somebody who knows Nibbler and his Lurker Hydra timings. Nibbler is upset about what our Terran teammate is up to. He's floating 5,000 minerals. He doesn't have a lot of gas, surprisingly, because he's got a ton of refineries. Mad Bills is like, you got to play better than this, dude. He's like, but I can't get out of my own base. Yeah, it's a lot of macro hatches. He's not even using them right now. Maybe he's saving the larva for something after Hive. I don't know what. Throw up. Good pro pull. Goodness gracious, big sneeze of Ruma. Hey, what's up, Critter? Oh, Critter says that he is 678. Nice, looking good, Critter. You're a monster. 180 supply here. Hey, he's got some siege tanks. He's out here. He's killing Hydras, siege tanks in mass. Good answer to mass Hydra for sure, especially if they have upgrades. Hey, what's up, Metal55601? Five, five, yeah, happy Sunday. Hope you are doing well, too. Mad Bills has Storm, which answer to Hydras and always has been. See, okay, I like this. this little Siege Tank Arama. There's nothing to support these Siege Tanks. She's got detection for DTs, which is flippin' sweet. Oh, but he pulls the science vessel back a little bit. Doesn't pull it too far back. Okay, okay. Remember what I always say about if you get enemy siege tanks, siege inside your base is Protoss, you're dead. They're not sieging, and I don't think there's enough for that to really count, but Mad Bills is here too. What's up, Mac? Corey Allen. The toil, uh, the potty training, uh, the outside training, the house breaking. <laughs> Corey's puppy is going well. Another storm here on NGC. Dude, this is crazy. NGC, where's NGC's stuff? Got storm dropped really effectively at some point. Economy in the toilet. Mass Hydra lurkers added in the mix here. Now maxed out. What's up, Latin? Yeah, NGC is just getting destroyed here. Some of the storm drops soften him up for sure. Ah, DT is killing Nibbler's attempt to live here at 12 o'clock. He did ask for some Dragoons to come up that way, but Mad Bills was like, nah, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, so Mad Bills has gotten some good drops here, has a ton of gateways, has Reavers. Has Storm, has Zealots. Hydro Lurker not going to do super well against that, but there are Mutalisks and probably Guardians based on that Greater Spire that's on the way. So, 3v3's fastest is trying to get back on their feet, but not super quickly, I would argue. And then every Nexus is going to go down here from NGC. Two, Nibbler's final hatchery gets killed. He's got an extractor down here. He has 4,000 minerals and five drones. Don't know where those drones are. They're right here. We found them, everyone. Totally found them. All right, so NGC is dead. Nibbler is dead. 3v3 Fastest is mostly dead. So it's uh, El Mata Perolito's maxed out. He's got two attack upgrades and no armor upgrades, which is okay, I guess. Mad Bells comes up and tries to clear out the top, so maybe Nibbler can take it, but Nibbler's just building 
right here at NGC's base, top left. Mad Bill says, rebuild. It, Nibbler's like, shut up. I totally am. Here comes a massive Hydro Lurker drop. Valkyrie's trying to kill these overlords. Storming the Lurkers and kind of storming your own probes as well a little bit. How's he doing on economy? 47 probes remain. I don't know where they are. He pulled them somewhere. But yeah, the cannons deal with the Lurks. The Valkyries were kind of awesome. Where did he put all of his probes? They're here. They were hiding somewhere. That's awesome. That was really good response from Mad Bills. Valkyries hunting overlords, trying to supply block. Trying to snipe mutalisks, trying to take down guardians, but the Hydra count's a little bit too hefty for that, too. <laughs> Glad to hear that, Corey. <laughs> I don't really get as loud as Artosis a lot of the time, or angry. Definitely not as angry as Artosis. In fairness, I'm not playing my own games here. I'd probably get more upset. Back at it with Mass Hydro with 3 3, 2, but mm, Reavers, Siege Tanks. 6 7 8 has kind of met his match here. Like Reavers, Siege Tank, Storm? Ooh. Nibbler, you killed 3v3 fastest. Without that, I don't think your team wins. You were a very important part of this victory. I say you should accept this. Yeah, it's a lot easier to be chill as a caster as compared to someone who's actively playing StarCraft. A couple lurkers come in, but nope. Nibbler sends his overlords because Nibbler's a good supporting teammate who is definitely participating in this win. He gets a gold star for participation. All right, so look, 3v3 Fastest didn't recover quickly from his death. Not even close to fast enough. Like, he 100% should have. He should be bigger than this, I guess. He's had enough time to be left alone. The big threat here is 6, 7, 8, right? He's got his Devourers. He's got a bunch of Guardians. Super fun. He's got a bunch of Hydras, too, and Lurkers if he wants them. He's got a ton of cash. Not a lot of gas, actually. Kill drone at 11 by gas. This guy? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, so this is tough. Basically, 678 goes from completely killing Nibbler and keeping his teammate alive to then suddenly finding himself in a 2v1 Against him with a Mecking Terran and a pretty solid Protoss here, too. So the Guardians are doing what they do. Really good against Siege Tanks. They don't trade as well against Dragoons. The Valkyries are horribly outnumbered by the number of Devourers that are here. Nibbler hanging out. Trying to rebuild. Siege Tanks middle of the map with plus two upgrades. Pretty good. Hey, look. It's that Zerg player from the last game. Just running lings into Siege Tanks. Cool. Million Guardians show up. There are still a million Guardians out here. So, uh... Yeah. Master Goon's going to be pretty awesome. No Charon boost, which is problematic. Like, really problematic. But yeah, Dragoons and High Templar will trade incredibly well against Guardians. They can't dodge Storm. They can't micro against Dragoons. And Dragoons are going to have better upgrades than Guardians, like, seven times out of eight. Yeah, three, two, two upgrades on the Dragoons. Yeah, and the Guardians are at 1-1. One, one, so, better upgrades for sure. 3v3 fast is trying to build down here. Hyder's trying to save him, which is nice. What's up, Bob Saget? What's up, Yimmy? Long time, long time viewer and subscriber, Yimmy. Happy Sunday to you. So yeah, once the Guardians are dead, the 
Goliaths are awesome. Terran player is working on Caron boost, but at 21 minutes, it's not even halfway done, so not a priority for him. Yeah, not the strongest Terran player I've ever seen, but you know, got some pretty Sim City. Like he's got ideas of how he wants to establish his base and set it up, and he's at 57 SCVs, and you know, it could be worse. Could be a worse Terran player, I guess. Nice. See me you got a day off. Enjoy your day off. 3v3 taps. And 6, 7, 8 it's like, I don't want to play this 2v1. Or 3v3v1, 3v1, considering Nibbler's almost back on his feet. So GG. That's a pretty fun little... Uh, man, Valkyrie Splash is always so good. GG, Nibbler. Excellent, excellent win. Good drop. Good kill. 3v3 fastest. 6, 7, 8 a monster at 130 APM, too. Like, not playing insanely fast. He outproduced everybody by a wide margin, outkilled everybody by a significant margin too. Lost the most units because of the outproduction number there. And then resources here. Totally a Signora 678. But yeah, 3v3 fastest dying early, not great. And then uh, NGC here. Not exactly getting big and scary. What's up, Hell Patrol? Yeah, let's definitely hit that like button. All right, Joy, we'll catch you next week for more StarCraft. You can watch the VOD later, too. VOD is available. All right, this is great. This has been a good stream so far. Let's go a... We want to do best versus ample. Ooh, a fastest map 1v1. Gas Vulture versus Hamburger Sasu, though. Yo, that's a... Those are big names. Sure. Let's do that. Let's do... We haven't done a Gas Vulture game in a while. What's up? Yes, Slaya. Big win. Things are good. Had some good games to cast already. I'm working on about six hours of sleep, which is less than I like to get, but I can't complain too much. It's a beautiful day outside, and I'm casting StarCraft. Never bad. Top left, going to be a yellow Terran. It is Gas Vulture. Right side. It's everyone's favorite fastest map player, Hamburger Sasu, playing Protoss. I think we have a lot of Protoss hamburger games. I'm trying to remember how many of those I might have cast. And maybe it's like two. They are just chitter chattering back and forth. They know who the other one is. They are aware. This is an RJB replay. Be sure to check out RJB. Add his YouTube channel linked. Uh, yeah, man. Jinx. Snow. Yep. Snow's micro is, in fact, god tier. His ability with Reavers is beyond that of anyone we've ever seen with Reavers before. He has taken Reavers to a new level in Brood War, which is nuts. So yeah, Snow, I'm kind of rooting for him in this ASL. It'd be his first ASL win. He's been really good for a couple years now, but hasn't managed to pull an ASL victory out of his hat yet. So he's got a pretty good opportunity to do it here. So we're going some early marine pressure. <clears throat> pretty standard and fastest map PvP. You don't have to do it, but it's pretty strong, especially if the Protoss gets too greedy. Like throws up four Nexuses. Zealots pressuring Marines are like, I don't have any upgrades yet. Yeah, these are just unupgraded Marines, man. I don't think they want to fight these zealots. Yeah, no. They don't want to fight these zealots. No, 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 no. Well, this is pretty good marine micro, and more of them keep arriving, so hey, fair enough. That's right, Vincent got my Coke Zero Cherry today. So double robo into drops, extra gateway, cyber core, citadel, cannons at the front. Unupgraded marines trade pretty poorly against cannons. Yeah. It's like, Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I like that. Let's move into factories. So the cannons aren't as big of a deal when I got my siege tanks out. Engineering bay at this point, 
going to be for turrets. Calm sat, worried about DTs a bit, because really only saw the cannons and zealots and said, if you're saving up gas, what's it for? This could be DTs, but instead it's a pretty fast support bay. Zealot leg enhancements is on the way here too. Pretty fast starport, again, can help with the drops in a big, big, big way. Tried to get Cross to give me the 1v7 hero build, and it didn't work. <laughs> Reverse. Gosh, Reverse at six minutes. Zealots buffering for these guys, too. This is why you don't go Marines. Once Splash is out, Siege tanks in just the absolute gosh darn nick of time here. Reverse, okay. He maybe tried to squeeze up there and get a hit off on those tanks, but... Eh. Marines overextending a little bit too. Are you talking? Mm. So hang on a second. So you asked Cross to give you a build for 1v7 hero. And he was just like, nah, I'm not telling you? Or just didn't respond? I mean, this isn't snow reaver shenanigans, but hamburger reaver shenanigans is pretty good. Ah, God. three reavers. Ah, oh, the shuttle died. That's a massive problem. Marines focusing reavers. They know they're going to die, but they're trying to keep their friends and family alive. Oh, that hit was big. This is so, this is so terrible. What's up, PJ? Ah, he didn't respond. Got it. Yes, Slayer. Okay, so tank is dead with, I mean, Reaver is dead to tank with 10 kills. You know, 10 kills, not terrible. Also, we can maybe avenge, oh, totally avenging the death. Beautiful. Look at that. Two tanks die. Ah, oh, that one almost died. That would have been pretty good. So it's 102 to 92 supply here. Hamburger looking fantastic. He's got his Corsairs. He's got his shuttles. He's got High Templar and Zealots on the follow-up now. Does he have Reavers in here? just gonna be skinny boys looks like it's just skinny boys all right no more caterpillars for now sasu is so good yes yeah just unloading zealots on top of marines and tanks honestly not terrible doesn't go that well though wraith out hunting and chasing down corsairs two corsairs can kill a wraith but we're just sending these corsairs back home regardless Trying to get a siege tank drop on Hamburger. 72 probes. Cut chow 13 kills on that tank. Could have been much worse. Good probe evac in that situation. Wow. Yeah, this place was really open and exposed. And Hamburger paid for it. 61 workers. He had 73 just a minute ago. That is the power of a siege tank drop. So definitely in the mech here. No more marine production happening. And they were given plus one attack. We're just going more Zealot Bomb. Just right up the middle, man. Just right up the middle. High Templar. No good SCV pull. Do not even try that. Do not try that. And that gets absolutely shut down. More Wraiths being produced. The, yeah, if you've got a Wraith Ball hunting drops, it can be pretty tough to get drops off, but I don't know. It's Hamburger. good drop there. Not bad. I don't know if he anticipated the evac path of those SCVs, but that would have been pretty cool if that's what he was trying to do. <clears throat> water, Jtox. This is my water mug. Ah! Little Coke Zero down the wrong pipe there. 
<coughs> Goodness. Yeah, certainly rather deal with fire bats and Sonic Storm, yes, Slayer, as the uh, as the Zerg hero. Reavers are back, front door, no real tanks here though. Alright, cloaked wraith. Beautiful. Got Cloak is hunting these Reavers. What a great answer from Gas Vulture. Okay. That's pretty rad. Speed lots charging their way on into the siege tanks. There are some fire bats, and by that I mean there's one fire bat. But I think Gas Vulture's holding pretty well. He's got 69 SCVs, got tanks, got wraiths, got fire bats. The turret countdown here is not as healthy, I think, as Gas Vulture would want it to be, thanks to those zealots, obviously. Corey, yeah, I don't know. Are you talking about the Tastosis stream release, or are you talking about just the Korean language release? Okay, got a swarm up, but again, the SCV pull, they're over here. The SCVs aren't even on the minerals right now, so it's still 66 SCVs. But, Corey, the Liquipedia page should show you the schedule for the remaining SCL, ASL stuff. SCL? I'm not even sure what I'm talking about here. ASL 17. Why is this not dark mode? It's supposed to be dark mode, Liquipedia. What happened to you? But, uh, yeah. So, semifinals are scheduled to stream at 4 a.m. Mountain Time. So, that's 6 a.m. Eastern. Yep. That's when they're going to be played, anyway. April 15th and April 16th. What's up, all-time loser? Uh, it depends on the map. Yeah, if these high grounds are big enough to allow a turret, you can build a turret there, yes, Slayer, but I don't think this is enough room. RJB might have to confirm there. Big, 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 big Reaver. High Templar Dragoon attack. Wraiths trying to hunt out, well, whatever they can hunt out here. Taking out shuttles is good, but eating, oh, storming your own stuff a little bit to get rid of these Wraiths is an idea. I guess sniping OBS is a pretty big deal there, too. Zealots right on top of Gas Vulture, though. Frontal Assault, pretty effective. High Templar with enough energy for a storm. Walks into a bunch of Marines and goes down. The Reavers are dead. Nothing left in that shuttle. And this attack gets held as well. Yeah, Corey. Tastosis. They post out their English language VOD of the ASL matches uh, like a day or two later. After they're actually streamed on Afrika. Or streamed on YouTube, actually. Uh, Hell Patrol, my day job is I do software QA. That is the day job. I've had that job for like 10 years now. So, yeah, sounds good, Corey. My Templar can fit up there even if a turret can't. Okay, more and more race being produced to deal with the heavy drop style. That is fastest map, and especially from Lamburger. Hamburger turret count. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Wraith jumping on this too. Every shuttle dies. By that I mean not every shuttle dies, but great SCV pull again from Gas Vulture. 69 SCVs is fine. One great storm against an unprepared Terran player will wipe you down to like what? 12 SCVs. This is going pretty fantastic. But all it takes is one successful drop to get through and then suddenly you're gonna die against Hamburger, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know, Corey. I don't know why the Tastosis VODs don't come in until later. I have to ask Artosis about that one. What's up, Jose? 
Another attempted storm drop. High Templar not getting close enough to these SCVs to really get some good storms off. But Zealots... Well, Zealots are probably killing more SCVs than these storm drops would anyway. Look at this. Dude in here. Three kills on that one. Goodness gracious. More Zealots just walking in this front door. Getting on top of tanks. Causing friendly fire tank splash. Man, tanks are dying. But it looks like that's been calmed down for now. Of course, I say that. There's still a zealot up here going after turrets and trying to stop armories and all sorts of great stuff. Software QA does uh, testing. Testing for computer programs to make sure that when the software developers make something that it's not entirely broken. Or if it is, find the problems so they can be fixed. There we go again. Hamburger. It's a great storm drop on a ton of siege tanks here. Again, not able to get in close on the SCVs. Guys, well, there's an 88 workers, man. 88. See you later, Zelatino. And another drop. Dude, he's just got these things on a conveyor belt. He's just sending drop after drop after drop after drop. And that was a incredible failure but i mean when you have 86 probes you can kind of just send in infinite drops over and over again until you get one until the terran player breaks what's up jose another i mean another shuttle dies how many shuttles have died today like 30 feels like 30. Yeah, rebuilding turrets, just kind of weathering the storm here, trying to get up enough siege tanks to where he feels comfortable moving out. It's tricky, though, because Hamburger's going to keep dropping you forever. Like, that's all there is to this. Unloads, and a storm on the fleeing SCVs catches maybe two of them. Still, it's 94 SCVs from Gas Vulture. And then the Zealot follow-up right up the middle, right into these tanks, because we're not really investing in Vultures today. Strangely enough, a Gas Vulture, he's got two Vultures out. What he needs is enough Vultures to where, you know, six Zealots walking in your front door just get obliterated, instead of they actually get on top of your tanks and try to kill them. That's amazing. Ah, I did say hello to Jose twice. I think there's a couple Jose's in chat. 92 to 86 workers is just borderline way too much on the worker count, man. Way too much. Okay, dropping some tanks on the high ground. Dropping some zealots on the high ground. To counter, wraiths, dodging storms, sniping shuttles. And I'm sure a bunch of these shuttles are just empty for decoy anyway, but... Each tank count, no upgrades on those tanks. 322 upgrades on the Dragoons. They're not still going to do very well against the tanks, but better than otherwise thanks to the upgrade situation. Still not great. Hamburger <laughs> swings along the top side. Hey, bada bada bada. Hey, bada bada bada. Swing, bada bada bada. It's like we're going to get a good carrier transition out of. Hamburger here. SC, there you go. What a more successful SCV drops. There you go. 33 kill high Templar down to 44 workers. Was it like 96? So yeah, that's the one. That is the one that Hamburger needed to get. Take that SCV count down. It's not all the way to, you know, the teens here, but still pretty effective nevertheless. Dude, this 322 Zealot is an absolute beast. Especially for SCVs to try to kill. Okay. So continue to send gateway units in. But that carrier capacity means if you want to fire up a couple carriers, you totally can. Just not making the stargates for it, though. It feels like maybe a future plan. Swinging up to the bottom left side. No High Templar make it out of the shuttles there. Zealots cleaned out pretty easily. I mean, Gas Vulture has how many command centers? Three, one, two, three, four, five. He's got five CCs. His ability to rebuild his SCV economy is actually insane. You'll notice he's already back up to 65. 
What's up? J.R. D.N. Ruiz 2. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, Jose, it's just mostly... <clears throat> As good storm there, not bad. Not good either though. It's just it's hard to pull it off. You're really only ever gonna see it if you're already going SK Terran against a Zerg, right? Because if you're a Terran player in Brood War, you're just going mech against Protoss and mech against fellow Terran as well. So to go up to the tech for Ghost requires, you know, barracks production. Um, sat, a bunch of upgrades that you have to spend money on. It's just not worth it for most players, but you see it every once in a while. Hey, what's up, B Gadgets? I'm 32 and I play PC games the whole day. My mom wants me to look for a job. I mean, fair. Jobs are good. Another storm drop. No storms come out, but zealots. I mean, going after turrets is pretty good. Nevertheless, SCVs have spent a lot of time on vacation today. <clears throat> Terran will go infantry against Toss early before Reavers and Psionic Storm is out. But that's about it. And so you'd basically have to nuke rush against Protoss if you want to make that happen. And it's just not a very... Not a very viable strategy. So we got our store gates, and they're not popping anything because, well, you're at 200 supply already. You can't make carriers when you have that much supply. And yeah, nukes are expensive, says JRD and Ruiz. I'm going to call you Ruiz, I think. Yeah, Corey. I think I've yeah, seen similar things there, too. It's really pretty good. Kind of risky, though. All right, so look, Gas Vulture, you're maxed out. At some point, I feel like we need to see come some kind of a push out from you. Defending successfully against Hamburger for 23 minutes is pretty awesome. It's a pretty nice achievement, but here you go. At some point, you gotta move out. Maybe don't just walk your unseaged tanks into cannons, though. Or totally walk your unseaged tanks into cannons. And Zealots, why not? Are we trying to free up supply here, my guy? Oh, he's firing up additional control towers. Additional control towers. Valkyries, I guess? Battle cruisers, maybe. Hang on a second. Science facility. Where is the science? I don't know. So it doesn't look like battle cruisers. Valkyries, though, yeah? Ah, Disruption Web. A bunch of my Protoss fans are like, finally! Protoss goes Disruption Web. Man, these shuttles just getting hunted by this Wraith Ball. 2-2 two -two upgrades on Wraith. Not something you see every day either. Double Arbiter Tribunal. Disruption Web. Air Weapons Upgrades from Hamburger. Giving Gas Vulture a bit of a respite here. Uh, yeah, I'll say I play a lot of games other than StarCraft. Uh, I'm currently playing through Rogue Trader with Somicron, which is a Warhammer game. I uh, played through Baldur's Gate a couple times. Let's see, Red Dead Redemption 2 last year. Uh, I play some World of Warcraft on private servers every once in a while when I get the itch. Usually... Uh, Either classic servers or Wrath of the Lich King servers. Storming it up. But yeah, I've played a bunch of stuff. Played Cyberpunk through about three times. Uh, what else have I gotten into? Witcher 3 I've played through a couple times. So yeah, play a bunch of stuff. What's up, Joey? Nibbler says Discord is a young man's game. I don't think that's true. 
You can just do Discord on a web browser, man. You don't even need an app or anything for it. You don't need to install anything. You don't need it to be on your phone, but it can be. It can be on your phone. It can be a Windows program, and it can't just be a web browser thing. Yeah, Farewell says, I can do it. You can too. Carriers have arrived, but that Sky Terran army is big. I mean, I don't know if they... Yeah, they don't want to get in here on these cannons. But killing interceptors with the Valks, pretty viable strategy. I don't know, man. It's hard to see how many interceptors are dying in all of that chaos because the blue smoke is so big and obscuring. But it's cool. Each tank's trying to break through Cannon Town, USA, in the middle of the map here, but there's a lot of cannons, and three tanks is going to take a while to get through it. Especially if they die to these carriers. So, yeah, bad times. Got 232 upgrades on the carriers here. Good, good to see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what the long-term plan here for Hamburger is. He's just kind of been contained the whole game. He hasn't really been able to put any kind of pressure up on Hamburger at all, and that's just not a winning strategy, sir. He got that one tank drop, which was okay, and then he like pushed with Marines for a second, but since then he's just been entirely on the back foot. There's some Corsairs to try to counter this Valkyrie Wraith thing. Putting some tanks on the low ground. Protected by tanks on the high ground, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the Sky Terran comes in. The Corsairs try to engage. It is just some chaos here. I don't even know. Oh, good stasis. All right. So that's going to shut down a lot of the Sky Terran. Arbiter wanders in, causes some problems. Carrier's trying to bust through this left side. And going to successfully pull that off. Here they go. Are they going for command centers? Yo! Yo, 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 yo. They are. They're focusing a CCs here. The main CC gets killed. Are these carriers going to die for this? Wait, 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 wait. What was that? I thought that main CC died. Was there one floating over the top of it? That's kind of 4D chess. It's like stacked commence. Oh my gosh, he's gonna save it with repair. Am I blind? You guys saw that command center die, right? And all the carriers are getting wiped out. He went for the command center. Snipe didn't get it. All his carriers died. And now he has to rebuild them. He's firing up 12 carriers at a time because this is fastest map and you can totally do it. What? There was a floating CC over the main CC, says Hamster. Yes, there was. Hey, Sumerian, I know, right? Get in that gray. I'm 41 years old, friends. It's about the time you start getting some gray in your hair. I mean, it's been a couple years, but still. What's up, Ozzy the Hockey out on the Twitch side? Hello. Um, It takes a while to build carriers. So they're not here yet. Uh, firing up some cannons, trying to buy time. Getting some DTs out, trying to buy time. Zealots, trying to buy time. This is actually working because there you go. It's like there's no scan. And there was. Dude, floating command center over your main CC on fastest map is genius. Like, gas vulture... How? How did he come up with that? Someone else probably came up with it. But still, it's awesome. Okay, but really, man. You need to either bring... There you go. Bring a science vessel with you. Like, one science vessel would be so cool. Hey, congratulations on hitting uh, A rank. 
<laughs> Ozzy da hockey. Ladder is a brutal place, man. Anyone who can get A has my everlasting respect. That's amazing. Ooh. Okay, stasis. Still buying time. Siege tank. Siege in. Not quite inside the Protoss base yet. Carriers are here. They're still building their interceptors, though. Not quite at a full complement of bees yet. Those heckin' bees. And Hamburger's like, I'm good. All my carriers are back. Don't worry about it. Gas Filter's like, dang it. Like, I thought for sure killing all his carriers would buy me more time than that. But he delayed super well, didn't he? Oh, drop, 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 drop. Second drop of the day. He does. Oh, it's just going to get tanks on the high ground. Well, all right. The stasis stuff all comes out of stasis and dies. He tanks high ground. Uh, I mean, it's. It's cool and everything, but you're all just going to die to these carriers anyway. It, there you go. There's a science vessel now. So these DTs, much, much more difficult time against these tanks. Okay, okay. So he's like, if I wipe out all of these Stargates and then kill the carriers, then I can win. Yeah? Wow. Oh, nice. Congratulations. 2-1 over DeWalt is definitely worth bragging about. DeWalt may be the best foreigner in the world right now. Ozzy, that's pretty rad, dude. Carriers got their full complement of interceptors now. Got their 3-3-3 upgrades. Going to bring a Dark Archon for mm, feedback or something. I don't know. Mind control? There's a Dark Arc on here, okay? I don't know why. Uh, sure, this is a battle. And there's your stasis. So when Hamburger says, nope. Oh, it's a huge stasis, man. Save your sword in the house. What's up, Save Your Sword? We're going to start live games a little bit later today because the stream started a little bit later because I was up till 2 a.m. casting Africa World. Yeah, I don't know. Valkyries do snipe an Arbiter, which is nice. Ground Army, a little bit beefier here, too, from Hamburger. Oh, gets a beautiful storm on those Valks. They're not microing. Holy crap, they're all dead. More Valkyries being produced out of the myriad of Stargates that exist here. Both players have enough money to remax here as they lose stuff. So Defender's Advantage is going to kick in here for the Terran. He's going to get units out here faster than Hamburger can get them to the front. Plus, these siege tanks are maybe going to walk over here and cause some issues. This is nuts. What's up, Nintendo? About an hour, save your sword. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How'd all those carriers just die? What the heck was that? I guess they were a lot more injured thanks to these Valkyries than I thought they were. Man, just mass zealot on the follow-up trying to win this way. All right, Hamburger says. Going to make some Reavers. No more carriers for me because all my Stargates died. What's up, Dark Soul? Ja, Zealot's getting into the mineral patch here. This game is crazy. I'm actually sure how Hamburger lost all of his probes. Well, how did Hamburger lose all of his probes? Must have been a tank drop that I totally missed while all this stuff was happening. If the gas vulture managed some kind of a tank drop. Look at these cannon positions, though. We have to figure that out. We'll do an investigation on that in a minute here. Once this game is over, but... Place your bets. Zealots are still running free. Neither player at 50 workers, but Gas Vulture at 41 is closer than Hamburger at 28. Nobody's making workers at this point. They're just trying to end this thing now. Put Siege Tanks on the other side of his own wall so the Zealots can't easily get it. They have to swing around and jump on top of these things. Unsiege, pick up. Man, 
Reavers on the high ground seems like a weird idea because they can't shoot down. They're just kind of chilling. Having them on the low ground would be a better position here, I think. Man, Gas Vulture is just desperately trying to defend. Megan Tanks going to be really good against this Dragoon Heavy comp and Hamburger setting it, but a round of Zealots is on the way here too. This is just Hamburger trying to absolutely face smash his way through this Terran defense and get it. He's making progress. If you can go after the SCVs, you can kill these factories. It's going to be a lot easier. This game is bonkers. Absolute bonkers. 150 to 114 supply. Terran is up, but he does not have a lot of stuff in his own base. It's like five siege tanks and three goliaths and hamburger still sending but now there's high ground tanks and hamburger taps out gas vulture wins it what dude gas vulture gets the win where he got dropped 47 times and maybe he'd got one drop of his own he wiped out two entire carrier fleets today largely on the back of vultures or vultures on valkyries and obviously some race. We have to figure out what happened to Hamburger's workers because that might have been the actual key that won him this game. So let's check it out. And uh, yeah, Maximilian. It's true. Like, my kids are all independent, right? My youngest is now 11. So they can all, you know, get up in the morning, feed themselves breakfast. They can take care of themselves. I'm not worried about them sticking their fingers in electrical sockets anymore. Uh, 29 workers here. Maybe it was a little bit earlier than this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I do a bunch of my casting during the week after they're already asleep for school. So I do have a lot of time during the day to spend time with them, help them with stuff, go do fun stuff, cook, clean, whatever. I've got three kids. Okay, so it's 79 probes. And I was like, these tanks are dead, lol. And then they were. And then what happened to the probe count? Where, when, why? Times two, investigation. Three kids, uh, two boys and a girl. Daughter actually had a soccer game yesterday. Her team won. She was very happy about that. Okay. Oh, they're at 29. What? <laughs> this is a really hard game to fast forward because it is the fastest map and it's insane. He stormed his own probes to get more supply. He immediately fires up 15 zealots, eight dragoons. <laughs> he was like, I can't break this Terran if I've got 80 probes. Gotta sack my own probes to get up more army supply and then I can do it. And then he could not do it. That's crazy. Gas Vulture's an absolute monster. Yeah, and then it's just this for the rest of the game. But barely, 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 barely hold here for Gas Vulture. It's not like he's, you know, setting up with 30 siege tanks and... 20 Goliaths. He's just patchworking it and that. He just holds it. But Hamburger Taps. Insane. Insanely good fastest map. That was crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Ozzy. <laughs> he did have a successful drop once. But, uh, man, Hamburger outproduced almost 2 to 1, got killed out 2 to 1. Terran cost efficiency is pretty good here. 
And Hamburger outspending this Terran by, oh my gosh, 50,000 resources in 37 minutes. Just not enough. Man, the defense. Terran is good. Gas Vulture is good. Really good. Woo. Okay, we got more. We got more in the house here. We got our, even a WK Cross game ourselves. Let's go WK Cross. Let's keep the high level fastest map going here. We'll be sure to check out WK Cross. He exists on Twitch and on YouTube. Go sub to him, go follow him, whatever you have to do. Cross is awesome. He's an amazing player. So, top left. Okay, good. It's the top versus bottom now. So it's going to be Team 1, Y76R, 78657540W656. His teammate, uh, a fellow Zerg player, is Barcode, and another Zerg team. Zerg is here. Orange. BV, BG, BF, GB, FG, BF, GB. Team 2 is a Terran player named King Crap. We've got, oh yes, Miss Kim is a Protoss Teal left side, and Tank Virido, who's a Terran, and who is kind of olive fish color I guess mustardish maybe this is like French's mustard this is like traditional mustard I suppose man all right so APM check says that BVB is gonna be cross he's the one who spams 500 APM at the start of the fastest map not many people do that and he plays under smurf names too so this is him I'm going to step away for a second, but let's keep an eye on what's going on here and watch. Who are we going to watch? Watch our friend Mr. SCV. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. What's up? What was that? Oh, yeah. Teams, um, if you're ever wondering, oh, this guy's doing stuff. That's cool. He's proxying a barracks up here inside Barcode's base. Teams are just going to be the top three players versus the bottom three players, like 99% of the time. But, uh, just for a visual representation, see top three red, bottom three blue. What's up, Sonyo? I don't know, man. Like, I appreciate a proxy barracks as much as the next guy, but this is not doing anything. There are sunkens here. There are lings here to cut off. If you're trying to fire bat this thing. The fire bats are not getting on top of these drones. It's just not happening unless Barco totally screws up. King Crap's moving out with a ton of Marines, heading top left against Y76. WK Cross is just casually macroing up. Not really into participation to help as you need more sunkens near your hatchery if these guys swing around this top side that sunken's nice 
Real squid. Uh, over mind. Re up. For seven months. That's right. Over half a year. Overmind support level. He's the only person that has overmind support, and I appreciate it. Actually, I think there might be somebody else. But no one else that shows up to the live stream. But yeah, thank you so much, Real Squid. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Welcome to the stream. The oh, uh, yes, Slayer. Shift tab will shift into team colors and out of team colors if you're in, uh, if you're obsing, whether live or in a replay. So that worked. I mean, Y76 had enough sunkins. It was a lot of Marines coming in from King Crap and Tank Vidrio, but hmm, sunken good unit, as we always say. This was sent in by Cross Critter. But Cross himself. That's right. He sent me an email. I'm cool now. Hey, what's up, Ruiz? Oh, you're back. Uh, it's top versus bottom, Ruiz. One, two, three. One, two, three. See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You took shift or tab off your keyboard, yes, Slayer. Those keys are kind of important. I guess tab is less important than shift, though. It changes the colors in-game, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool stuff, Dark Soldier. Watching StarCraft at work. Oh, yeah. Floating a barracks over the minerals. Annoying, but... I don't know. Force two spores out of barcode here to make it happen. This is bad for everybody on not WK Cross's team. He has been entirely left alone for the first six minutes. Casually working on a 1-1 one, one mass hydro timing like we saw from that one... I forgot who it was. 856 Zerg player in the Nibbler replay we already did today. That was uh, insane. Didn't see in the membrane. Yes, Slayer lost enter and tab and the tilde key in front of wooden. Uh, how do you send messages if your enter key is gone? Interesting. WK Cross calling out some coaching. More Sunken's barcode. He's got so many. I don't know that he needs way more. I guess it's two Terran players, though. Not just one. Four, five, six, seven. Bovine! Thanks for the 10 month resub out on Twitch. Appreciate you, man. Sunken's not quite enough. Just going for it, man. It is two big Stim Marine medic armies with one fire bat in here who's not participating. Man. Thanks, Bovine. Ugh. Sunkins on the back line. Three, four Sunkins here. Five, six Sunkins. A storm drop to. Oh, oh no. 25 kills. Barco down to six drones. Dude, that is just unfair. Abjectly triple teamed in a 3v3. You cannot feel good about that. I don't care who you are. You deal with that much Marine Medic plus a storm drop to boot, you're going to get hurt. If not, die. The fact that Barcode isn't dead is a testament to how many Sunkins they had thrown up. But, dude, that storm was... Ugh. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Oh, we just kind of wandered in here with a million Hydras into... Did he drop them? He must have dropped them. He snipes the main nexus of Oh Yes, Miss Kim. Insane. Storm dropping. High Templar sniping. Beautiful, beautiful play from WK Cross. And yes, it is an all Zerg team. So it's all Zerg versus the not Zergs. There are no Zergs on the enemy team either. Wow. So these Hydras are like, uh, we don't have 1-1 one, one yet. It's very close to having 1-1, one, one, but close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. No, I didn't drop him because he's researching drop now. Ooh. Okay. There's the one. Oh, 27, 30 kill High Templar. Cross gets dropped. Knocked down to 12 drones, too. So both Barcode and Cross have gotten severely storm dropped in the first nine minutes of this match. Not ideal at all. Uh, Barcode rebuilding. Y76R might have also gotten storm dropped. He's only at 30 workers. Entirely possible. Hmm. 
10 months sub for bovine. Good, good stuff. Okay, so yeah, storm drops are good. Reaver drops really good too. You know, I was going to say, you really don't want to go barracks play in fastest map, but there are no Protoss on the other team. So you can kind of just SK Terran this. In a fastest map, that's maybe a breath of fresh air for these Terran players. Oh, Lurker Trap is trapping. Look, uh, yeah, crosses BVB Protonia. What's up, Fake Promise 94? Lurkers trying to save the day, but Zealots plus Marines plus Medics means Lurkers aren't as effective as they once were. Man, we're just busting into a Lurker sunken setup, huh? No Siege Tanks, no Reavers, no Dragoons. Pure Zealot Marine Medic, which is kind of hard countered by this comp, except all the Lurkers are dead. So now it's just Hydra. No, not all the Lurkers are dead. It's most of them. Now it's Hydra sunken trying to defend this assault. Yeah, no, Vessels are part of SK Terran, Toy Cop. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, um... I probably wouldn't have done that if I was these Terrans. It's just Lurker Sunken is the answer. Thanks for the follow, Fake Promise. It's the answer to Marines, Medics, and Zealots. That's exactly what they brought to this party. Everything they brought died because they were directly hard countered by what Cross had set up here. So I don't... Eh. Like, pull back, man. Go for drops. Get science vessels before you go in. Something like that. Interesting. Zerg Hero doesn't get lurkers in Hero 1v7. Hmm... Or 1v7 hero, however we want to say that. Look at Nibbler knowing who these dudes are. It says that 5 is a Zerg who's off racing as Terran. 3 mains Terran. Okay, good for him. Really good player. Yeah, no, definitely. I just... I don't know why they thought they could break that. I guess they kind of almost did. Amster says you might have to get hive tech. Oh yes, Miss Kim making a mass zealot attack on his own against a hydro lurker sunken setup here. Again, just not gonna work unless you get storm dropped right in the face, which you didn't. Somehow that High Templar did not fire. And yes, it's still at 54 drones. Cool. Very cool stuff. What's up, King Lou? Yeah, that High Templar had, I think, enough of a window there to get a storm off, but kind of just wasn't controlled properly and then died to a well, a bunch of Sunkins. Having some Lurkers up here, too, is really nice. The Sunkins are good, but having, like, seven Lurkers just kind of set up here, too, means that High Templar unload and just evaporate. That's what I would recommend here. But shuttle hanging off this left side. 54 drones. He's got a High Templar in the shuttle. Is he trying to pretend that he doesn't? Does he think? Oh, he unloads it. He gets a storm off. There we go. That was a good storm. Okay, okay, okay. 40 workers for Y76. Lurker Hydra drop from Cross. It is a Zerg certified classic. Lurker Hydra. Cannon providing a lot of value here. It does get sniped. Now I'm not sure there's detection. Ooh, friendly scan. Plus science vessels coming into assist too. Good Terran teammates here. Finally, some irradiates getting tossed down. But uh, these lurkers are like, we got scan. Oh, there we go. Focus firing a couple of those probes is nice. 
for... Oh, yes, Miss Kim. Down to eight probes, though. That's brutal. That was absolutely crushing economically. 92 supply. Not at 100 supply here. Guardians out from Y76. This is a solid Zerg player. All right, not dying in the first 15 minutes. Also getting Guardians out this quickly is not easy to do. But Siege tanks. Valkyrie's kind of a good answer to the Hydro... Guardian stuff. <laughs> Just an absolute direct counter there, right in the face. Queens and ensnare on the way from barcode, because why not, I guess? Looks like, yeah, cross threw up a friendly Nidus, so we can reinforce if necessary. I like that. And a friendly Nidus down here for my 76. This is cool. So the Zerg player is implementing the Nidus-y stuff <clears throat> as necessary. So, oh yes, Miss Kim lost the main nexus, got to rebuild the probe count, and crosses back for more, baby. What's up, Ara Ara? Channel member, Ara Ara, very cool stuff. Yeah, the Valkyries are trying to take out the Overlords, and they will, but now you're fighting Hydra's friend. Good logo that. High Templar kind of stuck. Not enough energy for Storms here. What do you want to do if you're cross in this position? Go after the Nexus, maybe? Definitely killing probes. Not really being controlled, I would say. Just more attacking whatever they feel like attacking, which is never the right option. I think they should be trying to kill this Nexus rather than just... Well, I don't know. They're killing High Templar if they pop out of gates. That's pretty rad, actually. Our baby was here last week. She's not here for the whole stream ever. Yeah, okay, now they're being target fired. But they're gonna get die to a single zealot, which seems like garbage. What is this? Valkyrie's hunting. Valkyrie's continuing to hunt. Supply blocking WK Cross into next Wednesday. But the death of Oh Yes Miss Kim is looking pretty tough, man. Two probes, 36 total supply, hiders running in, more hiders running in. Siege tanks can't quite cover this entire area. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. So he's Nidusing his hiders over here so they can come down this way and get into this base. It seems unnecessary at this point, but dude. The Overlord killing these Valkyries has supply blocked both Barcode and WK Cross in the last like two minutes. Pretty good stuff. All right, so that's a dead player. Oh yes, Miss Kim is down. It makes it a 3v2, three Zergs versus two Terrans. Science vessels. What the heck? There are like four science vessels up here. I don't know what they got done because the Y76 is at 68 drones. I don't think they got a nice irradiate off on that uh, drone setup at all. Plague! Big old plague on these siege tanks. A lot easier to deal with it if you got Lings and Hydras against plague tanks. What's up, EB? Looks like the filthy Zerg might get a win here, EB. Avert your eyes. Yeah, where is Oh Yes Miss Kim's probe? There it is. Hiding behind this pylon that it built. Could build a Nexus. Doesn't really seem interested in doing that, though. Another. Ooh, just plaguing the choke of a Terran is disgusting. That's great. All these buildings bleeding on fire. What's up, Max Tyler? Yeah, Lucky Owl will do your cast next. That sounds fine to me. Oh, oh yes, Miss Kim has a single High Templar back here that he's going to use to help defend the homeland. And by the homeland, I mean his adopted homeland from Tank Vidiro. Valkyrie count heavy. Can't do anything about this Hydroling Defiler stuff, though. This is, you know, the problem with Valks. What's up, Killer Wolves? And 
and just all the Zergs. All the Zergs are coming in. So there's some Devourers hunting, hunting these Valks now. Just keeping them out of the airspace of WK Cross. Not really planning on being too aggressive with them. Maybe, Epster. Maybe. Not looking good when it's a 3v2. You invested nice plague on those wraiths. You invested a lot into Valkyries and wraiths, which... Dark Storm Hider is a direct hard counter too, so I don't know about that. Tanks, though, should be doing better here. Sieging them up would be nice. I'm not sure Tank Vidrio is still paying attention to everything that's going on. He does siege the tanks up, though. Y76 bringing some Devourers in, too. He's got some Korean to say. Cross has a response of some kind. Oh yes, Miss Kim taps. Still had a pylon left. But yeah, nice comeback. Seriously, Barcode and Cross both got Storm dropped really heavily. In the first 10 to 12 minutes, they were able to rebuild reestablish and get it done. I still feel like that Marine Medic Zealot attack into Lurker Sunken Hydra was a big problem for Team Terran Protoss here. Maybe if they hadn't gone in there, it would have been a little bit better for them. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I appreciate King Crap's optimism. Ooh, he's making some battle cruisers. That's fun. 2-2, two, two, by the way. Good upgrades on him. Yeah. Just going mass BC against really competent Zergs is not the way. I mean, Valkyrie battle cruisers, kind of fun. But Dark Storm Hydra counts, counters all of it. Yeah, everyone taps, and that's a Zerg win. WK Cross Barcode and Y76 are victorious in 21 minutes. Woo! Uh, that's a stretch. It's a big stretch. So Tank Vidrio, I don't know, Cross highest point score today. Outproduced everybody by a pretty wide margin. Yeah, he and Y76 had a wonderful time making stuff. Barcode's not that far behind, actually. Yep, Zerg players macroing late game Zerg, really tough to deal with. They can keep flooding you, man. Yep. So most spent here, WK Cross. Number two was Y76. Number three was King Crap. And then Barcode not that far behind. So good, good, good stuff there from WK Cross. Much appreciated. Let's do a Lucky Owl replay. Here it is, TVP, Lucky Owl, Fighting Spirit, second time we've been here today. Lucky Owl, long time channel member. Super cool dude. He's not in the woods today. He has graced us with his presence, so that's nice. So top right, gonna be a uh, pink Terran player. It's Sizkis. And in the bottom left, it's Lucky Owl playing his beloved Protoss with the purple. So we said expect some cheese in this match. We'll keep an eye on it, see who the cheeser could possibly be. Lucky Owl will be in the woods next week. Yep, see? Lucky Owl's about 75, 80% of the time in the woods, and the other time he's not in the woods. So, you know, he's not always out there in nature. good point. Owls do tend to live in the woods. It's not out of the ordinary. Two gate, no gas here from Lucky Owl. Somewhere, Artosis knows what's coming and is not happy about it. Third gate, nope, pylon. So Probe Scouts finds out where the Terran is. He's doing some good SimCity, though. If you're worried about early zealot pressure, which you always should be if you're a Terran, make sure you've got your buildings close together here. Places for your marines to retreat where the fat zealots can't chase. Also getting a factory out and some vultures is pretty good here too if you're worried about early zealot pressure. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so SCB says three zealots at three minutes. What is happening? This must be zealots, except they're not moving across the map. And, uh, okay, he knows the zealots are out. Gonna body block. Throw up a command center with this. What? Three gate. Go. Look, at some point, you gotta move here. You missed the scout, Lucky Owl? You don't know where the Terran is? That's not possible. Really? I am confused. Ah, I don't know about tanks with siege mode as the answer to zealots. Make a couple vultures, man. A bunker would be good too. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, no. All right, so six scouted this and did all the wrong things. No vultures, made one siege tank. It tried to expand. Yeah, this was a absolute fantastic scout and a terrible read. Absolutely terrible reaction here from Six. Dude. Wow. All right. So he learned a lesson today. That lesson is this is not how you deal with a lot of zealot pressure. <laughs> a three gate zealot opening from your Protoss enemy. Ah, I did the thing again. We'll watch this ending again with great relish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man see you later alligator nice job lucky owl incredible uh, mission objectives destroy all the opponent's buildings got it or make them leave bully them into quitting that's what usually happens right 10 to 1 killer death ratio can't do much better than that all right nicely done lucky owl <laughs> Oh, nice. You won this last week while you are waiting for the live games. That's fantastic. Oh, that's funny. All right. What else do we have here? Uh, a semis. A semis game here. Yeah, let's do this. 3v4. Oh, 3v4 Zerg and Protoss alone. Interesting. On new super. Yeah, I mean, or Toy Cop, he could have won that just by hardwalling his top. Like, hardwall the top of the ramp, put Marines behind it, and the Zealots can't get through. I mean, there's just a lot of things you could do against a Zealot rush you see coming, and that was not it. And expanding. Like, it's not only that he went siege tanks there. It's that he tried to expand, too. Terrible. All right, we got a semis replay here. These are always very fun. He's not playing Terran, though. He's playing Zerg. Hmm, I'd say Zerg's probably his worst match, worst race. Anyway, team one in this 3v4 is going to be Hung Wen, 1806. His teammate is Draws, bottom right, who's a Zerg. Other teammate is online a Fossil Yu. And finally, a Protoss player, FGH, GJ. GJF. Team 2, which only has three players, is whoops. Brown Protoss. We got semis. Zergin it up. And then we've got Ninja Dad, also playing Protoss. What's up, Ganon? Ah, uh, how's it going, Ganon? Happy Sunday. All right, man. It's semis games. You know it's going to be some kind of a bloodbath here. Oh, no, no nukes, though. He gave us nukes last week. Does not always give us the nukes. Say, hey, what's up, Ralkio? 1-3. Thanks for the follow. Early lings out here from draws. Well, this is one way to even up the score. Oh, make the score worse. If Ninja Dad dies here, it's going to be a 2v4. 
zealots are out. This is enough links to kill these zealots, though. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so links are in here, zealots in here from online office two. Uh, probe count. Ooh. Ninja dad, you cannot die. You cannot die here. Uh, ETA about an hour, Lucky Owl. Gosh, they're just focusing probes. Ninja Dad at six probes here. Six. Five. Nope, six again. Eh. Okay, we can stop trickling Lings in now. Stop sending Lings in four at a time. I guess if you want to kill a pylon, I'm not going to say no to that. What's up, Pablo? So forward pylon dies. That's cute. But Ninja Dad macroing like a madman. He's just making zealots as fast as he can. And he's just outnumbering the enemy zealots that are coming to try to kill him. Whoops is in here too. To help defend. So we think you're stabilized. Although another probe just died, so it's hard to see you're stabilized when you're losing probes. Semis recommends cannons. But maybe it's Toy Cop. Toy Cop doesn't like making cannons in fastest map. But, nope. Ninja Dad listens. He makes a forge. Good. Good on him. We like a forge. Kill Blue. He made a ton of early links. He can't have anything. He's, he has six drones, and two sunkens, and a handful of links. Is that enough to stay alive? That's true. You did make some cannons last week, and you guys won. Correlation is causation, man. That's the reason. Online office is still here. Where did his... Oh, he sent his zealots across to kill Blue. Now he's got a cannon up, but the zealots are going to kill it. Oh, my gosh. Ninja Dad. Ninja dad. Ah. Whoops. Zealot buying some time, but we're on top of the probes again. These zealots are not being microed properly. Why are you killing that zealot? Kill the zealot who's killing you. I guess he's not microing properly because this is happening to him on the other side. All right. This is very scraptastic early game here. Wow. Ninja Dad calls a GG. He loses his main nexus. He doesn't have the money to build a new one. Semis is like, what? How? Ugh. Why didn't you say anything, says Semis. I could have sent some Hydras down. I don't have any money, says Ninja Dad. I'm dead. It's true, he is. Unless he can cancel. No, nope, he doesn't have anything in production. And they didn't even kill. Oh, boy. They didn't even kill draws. So, this is bad news, Bears. It is now a 2v4. I mean, the Zerg player is not that threatening, but still, he's alive. Ninja Dad can build a pylon. He's got these gateways, which is nice, but that's about it. Okay, still trying to kill. Nope. Wings and Sunkins for that many Zealots. Free Ling is free, though. I know, he should have kept his own lots in his base. Him going to try to kill draws is what caused this problem. He was not in a position to move out. He had nothing left. He evacuated his entire base for it. So Semis now is a million Hydralisks out with zero, zero upgrades. Uh, what is this? Zealots wiping out cannons is fine. All right, man. Hydra Zealot going to try to take draws out for reals this time. Okay, so just a million hiders will take this down. Congratulations. Uh, drops? No, these are teammates here. Whoops and semis are on the same team, so no drops. Just hanging overlords out. So, 
draws is like, I'd like, please don't kill everything. I want to have vision and help my teammates win. Never. Am I? Oh, they allowed him to pop some. Oh my gosh. He doesn't have enough money though. Oh. He did pop some drones here, but if he saved a little bit of it, he could have made a hatch. Oh, well, he's dead. That's fair. Yeah, Semi's just going all of the mass hydralisks known to Zerg kind right now. Making a push up top north. Whoops, joining the party with slow zealots. Is he working on upgrades for those zealots? No. No. Slow zealots for the win. And against Dragoons? Fine. Zealot Hydra against Dragoon is kind of insane. What's up, Vespine Fiend? <laughs> Good name. Happy Sunday, man. Mutos from Hung Wen are moving somewhere. Is he going to try to sneak up here and go after semis? Probably. But FTH is kind of dead. There are Mutalisks, says Ninja Dad. They're coming for your base. Ooh, that's good. So it does move the Hiders into position to intercept. Yes, he got it. Semis is moving the Hiders into intercept. We see it. Mutus just completely bypass and try to get into Whoops' bait. Now he's going to you, he says. Getting distracted, killing some overlords. There are some cannons. I don't know. This isn't like a massive Muta bomb or anything, but I mean, FTH is just toast. He's got enough money to rebuild. He has two probes remaining. Uh, they are somehow oh, one probe remaining. Somehow, some way, Mutalisks parking in this corner, trying to snipe down that Nexus, get dragged into fighting like six cannons. That's not going to work. Uh, Toy Cop. Um, I do save the replays that I get sent. Yes. Why do you ask? I've just got folders. Yeah. I don't delete anything from the folders that I'm casting from. Ah, Reaver Cannon, pretty good anti-Hydra tech. This is a lot of Hydralisks from semis, though. They are continuing to flood in. Focus the Reavers. There's a gateway in the way. Now we can focus the Reavers. Four Reaver, five Reavers, man. One of the Reavers goes down. Another one goes down. Now we're focusing on cannons again, which is not great. Uh, yeah, Toy Cop. If you have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ah, send me an email or remind me after the stream or something, and I can dig out a bunch of replays of yours that I still have. Absolutely. Okay, so the hiders got through the reavers, but lost a lot of the hiders in the process. Some lurkers are out from semis like that. Hung Wen's got some lurkers too, but they're getting killed by lurkers. Ow. Oh, hang on. But this overlord providing some vision. Just enough. Not these three, though. These threes are not being detected by that overlord. He's still slow lost. Speed's almost done for whoops. Sure, it's 12 minutes. Hey, it's done. All right, so speed finishes up for the zealots just as we're showing up here. The online office. I call him online office, man. Uh, Jack. This might be the same Draws. Draws X. He's dead now, though, so... I don't know. Yeah, man. Speed blocks are so much better. Draws taps. King Lou says, we need better team play. And, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'd say that Whoops and Semis are working together pretty well. And I'd argue that Hung Wen is trying to help his buddy out here, too. A little bit, at least.
Whoops is going to reverse two and reaver carrying capacity. Scarab capacity? I don't know. A couple DTs show up. Overlords for detection are too late to that party. Hydras. Dealing with DTs. They can see them, but they're squishy. But also DTs are squishy, so... The DTs win. Oh my gosh. All right. Good stuff, DTs. Who cares if you're not invisible, man? You still hit pretty hard and you have some HP. Semi loses a ton of overlords, but he lost a ton of hydras too, so he's not supply blocked. Counts for something. Hung Wen coming down to assist as well. Center really contested at this point. All right, Toy Cop, enjoy the sauna, sir. So dominance for center is going to be determined here. Man, these lurkers doing friendly fire splash to an enemy fire splash, and I don't know. I don't know whose lurkers are whose exactly, but Semis is here and Hung Wen is here too. I think Semis just totally won. Wow, just way more lurkers. And just like, you got to take down Hung Wen here, man. It is time. And it sure seems like it is. No upgrades on those Hydras. Semis, like a good Zerg, has 2-2 two -two on his Hydra Lisks. Always appreciate seeing upgrades from players that send me in the replays. Skipping upgrades is a mistake. Still trying to establish dominance in the center here. A couple cannons, not like it's a million, but yeah, it looks like Summies and Whoops are gonna be able to handle the center here for the next little bit anyway. We can't see the future, but this is pretty nice. And now also trying to push on to Hung Wen, and Ninja's like, go, go, go. He's trying to coach from the sidelines here. This DT, man. He got some good kills before the Overlord showed up. I promise you that. Be gallons will do, sir. Ah, uh, online, offline, online office, I don't know. Bring some Reavers in to help defend his buddy. Uh, this is some pretty good teamwork here. Because, yeah, Hung Wen was dead without these Reavers. However, the Reavers are getting target fired by Dragoons a little bit anyway. One Reaver dies. Uh, the other one dies, and the other one dies. Okay, so the Reavers are all dead. It did buy time for Hung Wen to get some more Hydras here. The Storm is good. More Reavers show up, though. My gosh, all of those Reavers died, and then four more arrive here. Just ignore them. Ooh, yeah, storming the Reavers is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. No pickups for you if they've been stormed to death. Lurkers, Dragoons are at 1-1. One, one. These are now 1-1 one, one Hydra, so Hung One's Hydras are holding a little bit better, man. What's up, Ogre Breed? Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, but Hung Wen's under 100 supply. Not happy about that. Getting overwhelmed. He doesn't have any of lurkers of his own. And there are lurkers down here from semis that aren't really participating, but they did some work earlier. It's always nice. Hydra's going after these hatcheries. Just kind of aim moving in. Not really target firing all that much. Yes, Iconos. I've heard people talking about the new YouTube layout. I I don't see it yet. They haven't updated my account, but nobody seems to like it. The first time I've heard that the live format is changed and bad. Yeah, 2-2 two -two hiders versus 1-1 one -one hiders. Online office is trying desperately to reverse save this, but uh... Wait, are these shuttles empty? No, there's reavers in there. He's trying to find a place to unload. He's got Reaver in those shuttles. He certainly does. There you go. 
He finally manages to unload those. Uh, farewell. There is a way to hide that button. Um, Aki found a way to do it. If you ping her on Discord, I think she'll give you the instructions. I don't remember what it is. Hung Wen taps. And online office is like, dude, I just sent a bunch of Reavers to try to save your butt. And you're just going to leave? Fine. Totally sucks. Oh, Aki's here. All right, she's listening. All right, so that's a dead Hung Wen. Dead Ninja Dad. Semis and whoops against the world here. Overlord's flying over cannons for no reason. FGH uh, was also killed, but somehow came back to life. Was really super dead at some point. They decide to ignore him and go after online office, which, man, a Dark Swarm would be awesome here. Like my kingdom for a single Dark Swarm. <laughs> nice, Jack. <sighs> uh... Online off lick you? I don't know. I like online office better. Agreed, Killer Wolves. Defensive Stormy Boys doing some work. We're trying to kill both FGH and online office at the same time. Seems tough. But hey, it's working. Look, upgrades on your units against cannons are always going to be nice. A little D-Web getting tossed down. FGH. No. Uh, that was probably a whoops thing. Or online offline. He's got the Corsairs here. He's probably D-Webbing. <laughs> Alright, so it's basically two Protoss. One of them under 100 supply. The other one maxed out. Knows how to use Reavers. Knows how to use D-Web. Knows how to use Storm. It's going to be a tough break for this guy. Breaking into this area with all of those tools at his disposal when he knows how to use them is going to be iffy. Greater Spire on the way from semis. He's like, maybe Mass Guardian will bust this thing. Once again, the Storm is a good answer. The Corsairs are a good answer, too. Alright, times two this thing because we're just kind of macroing up, trying to tech up to things that will work. Whoops is going to recall down here because all of the defenses at the front door and there's nothing protecting these probes. Nothing. Oh, big, big move out from online office, though. Oh, boy. Drop, 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 drop. Ninja Dad, make sure nobody ever misses this drop. Whoops. 69 probes. D-Web on the cannons. Probes. Ah! Trying to evac. Not really, though. All right. Stormed the ever crap out of that. All of the mutas died from semis. He just kind of panic moved over here to try to do this. The Corsairs and the Storm making sure that the mutas die. And now this Reaver casually killing everything. Dude. Whoops is down to 22 probes now. Storm Reaver drop with Corsair support. Insanely good. Does stasis. And then we Archon up. Man. Yeah, man. This online offline dude is pretty solid. I'm on board here. Like I said, going to be a tough kill. And the fact that he went after this drop on whoops kept FGH alive a little bit longer. He's a good teammate for sure.
Bell. Hello, Bell. Goodbye, Bell. Got a recall on Green. He says, Mass Reaver is up from whoops. So breaking through Cannon Town, USA, from both of these Protoss is going to be fine. You have an Arbiter, he says. Give it a recall. Meh. All right, I got to step away for just a second, but let's watch the assault on Fuguha. I would want to be an Ultralisk, Jose. Big, strong, tanky. Nice Reaver Recall Arbiter. Uh, hallucination Arbiter Reaver Recall down here. Very nice. Wipes out FGH. Knocks him down to eight. Probes responding. Dragoons don't have detection and are getting obliterated. As a result, very nice. Holy smokes. That was awesome. Guardians still clearing out cannons. Some of them are dying to the cannons because they drift and they're dumb. Good stasis on the Reavers a little bit anyway. But still, the responding Dragoons are dying. FGH is dying a horrible death and taps out. That is all there is to it. Ninja's like, you got money? Uh, yeah, Wolf is sitting on 14,000 minerals. So absolutely... All right, man. Online office here. Going to try to do his thing with Storm, with Corsairs. Yeah, see? Corsairs keeping these Guardians at bay. There are some Devourers to counter said Corsairs. Also, S Storm. Can't really counter Storm with Devourers, though, it turns out. And then whoops, just sending in a bunch of Dragoons. The Reavers might join this party here. Like, recalling the Reavers right here would be pretty nuts. It'd be a good recall spot, but I'm not sure that whoops is looking at it that way. Maybe he forgot about his Reavers once they got stasis. Like, oh, they're dead. Ooh, they don't die when they're in stasis. They can still breathe in there. Of course, also they're robots, so they're not breathing anyway. Hey, you remembered he has the Reavers. He's moving them anyway. Stasis up. Dark Swarm. Hydra doing some work here too. The Reavers of Online Office are sending terrible, terrible damage into that Dark Swarm though, as they always do. Looks like waiting for enough, en no, enough energy for a recall for sure. Yeah, Lurker's taking... Serious hits from these Reavers. Ow. Ow. Trying to burrow in range of cannons is never how you want to do this. And there we go. Ooh. Whoops. Going for all the bacon here. Or kind of. Double recall? I don't know about recalling here necessarily, but... It does kill the Arbiter Tribunal and a couple cannons anyway. And two Reavers are still alive. And he gets two Reavers down here too. No, the probes! Get the probes, you dummies! Oh, gosh. Did not get the probes, I don't think. Online is still at 73 probes. Yeah, if those Reavers had focused the right side of that mineral patch, I think this would have been a much different drop. I mean, online office is still at 55,000 minerals. Also, he's kind of just dying to semis here with all the Zerg, too, so. That'll do, pig. We get some scouts out? Yeah, there is a scout in production from FGH, but he's dead. He left, and that's it. That's your GG.
What's up, monster? All right, man. Good win for a 3v2 that turned into a 2v4. No, a 3v4 that turned into a 2v4. That then they killed Draws, and then they killed FTH, and then they brought him back. Dude, FTH had 42 APM today. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah, Semi's pretty good with the Zerg today. Really not bad at all. Outproduced everybody. Outkilled everybody. Outspent everybody. No nukes, but pretty good nevertheless. Okay, let's do this ZZ versus PP on new Bloodbath Advance 1.37. I don't even know what we're looking at here. But it's a new version of Bloodbath. It's still tiny. It's still four spawns. Looks like the bridges are still here. Hamster, good question. I forgot it existed. Should we get to that next? I guess we'll get to that next. All right, so it's gonna be, yeah, team top versus team bottom, team Zerg versus team Protoss. Barcode says go four pool. No, wait, no, five pool. All right, so team top side is Protoss. It was yesterday. And his teammate is C Simon, Simon86. Team two, Team South is going to be a Zergy Zerg economy manager and a blue pro or blue Zerg. It's barcode. Barcode. It is snow instead of space platform, so that's new. We still have stupid, terrible mineral patches inside your main. You can use, I guess, if you want, but it's not good. Still got a bridge leading into your base and still have this big old center. Yeah, it's a big old center space. But, and it's still an absolutely, absolutely tiny, tiny map. The tiniest of maps. This uh, is, it's an edit of an original StarCraft map, Yannick, yeah. Critter nominates Dead Infested as Prom King of Falcontopia. Sounds good to me. Samiz. Yeah, man. No, it was a good game. Thanks for sending it in. Doesn't always have to be nukes, necessarily. Uh, I don't know where Dad is. He hasn't really popped his head in yet. Yeah, I mean, you're just going to want to get cannons in good positions, too. Not just, like, here. Maybe squeeze it in here somewhere or just right in your mineral line. Okay. I like this one a little bit better just because it can't be fully, fully surrounded thanks to that pylon. But yeah, here come... What? We're bringing drones? Dude, Economy Manager is all in. He's bringing his drones with him. He's bringing... That's it. This is what he has. So now probes are fighting. The drones really want that cannon to die because if it does, then the lings are going to win. But this is some pretty good body blocking. These probes... Fighting. No, the cannons both go down. He did his best, and now it is double ling as Barcode shows up, too. And we're dead. That is just way too much to handle. One player you could probably deal with, but two players is tough. Uh, yeah, 1500 mineral patches, Yannick. Uh, right. That infested is not on the Twitch side of things, Critter. All right, so Sizemore, or Simon, I think I Sizemore for some reason, is dead. Economy Manager has a drone. He's going to try to rebuild from one drone here. So it's kind of turned into a 1v1. Where Simon is dead. Go rush forever. Bam. Eliminated. Good stuff. It was yesterday. Has a cannon. Throws up another cannon. Has a gateway. Making a zealot. Should be all right. Ling's kind of sitting in the center. What's up, dude? Yeah, terrible mineral placement. Absolutely, yes. Old maps, dude. Old maps have terrible mineral placement. What do you want? I've got one drone. I'm making a second one, says economy manager. Nice, dude. It take you a minute. All right, man. Sell it up. Making another Zealot. Two cannons are going to be tough. This, these lings can't do this on their own. Absolutely not. And man, somebody needs to expand over here. 
like either I guess barcode probably has the money eventually to expand over here because economy manager will not not for a while and it's not going to be worth it either yeah I'd rather honestly get rid of this hatch and put a hatch up here although if you're worried about zealots urgh, you got the lings though do have the lings so don't let your overlords die to cannons that's always embarrassing it certainly is Ah, Jack says it's a Polish name, Shimon, with the Z in there. Fair enough, Shimon it is, from his EU server. Yeah, I don't know if managing your economy counts as you send all of your drones but one and all of your lings from a five pool to kill your opponent. Your economy seems pretty bad. Yeah, I think Barcode needs this base. This is effectively one base to one basing a Protoss. That's never going to go well for you. It's never going to go well for you. Make Hydralisks. I don't have enough drones to make Hydralisks. That was yesterday. Does chase the Zerg out of the main base. Yeah, he's just really... You don't need sunken, he says. Ooh. I don't know. Four zealots and two dragoons show up at pink and he just kind of dies. I guess there are a decent number of lings here from barcode. Lost a couple there. Ooh, yeah. I like that idea, hamster. Just sunken rush the Protoss forever. Nice shield battery, though. That's hot. We like a good shield battery here on the Falcon Paladin channel. More drones. We got eight at seven minutes. Because you killed them all yourself, you madman. Ah, Barco does take top right. Even just a hatch in the center here, sunkening it up, would be really hard for the Protoss to push without Reavers. Which, he is not getting. He's getting speed for his Zealots. He's got his Dragoons. Mm, there's enough Lings to clean this thing up, it looks like. These were plus one Zealots. That would have been a different fight, for sure. These Lings aren't even fighting. Yeah, all right. So that's all you got to do, right? Keep the Protoss contained, expand yourself, allow Economy Manager to build up his economy, and this should be a Zerg win. Oh, can you not build on the rocks? We don't have the technology to build on rocks in the Caprulu sector in the Brood War universe. Rocks are one nemesis. Ah, Killer Wolves tried it and said you can't. Bummer. I mean, I guess it would be really good to cannon the center on this map. Or, you know, sunk in the center. Either way, really nice. Plus one attack coming in for ground weapons and Templar Archives from it was yesterday. Was like, well, if you're just going to make mass ling, I guess storm would be nice. He is not wrong about that. Barcode getting a second hatchery. He's at 11 drones now. Economy manager, rather. Barcode's second base is rolling. Templar Archives is done. He's working on... Ooh, a DT. There's an Overlord in the center and another one coming. I don't know how I feel about this. I would much rather see Storm researched here from it was yesterday than a DT. Yeah, I mean... Maybe a DT. If you could, like, shuttle it up here, it'd be pretty good. There are no Overlords. <coughs> Yeah, one geyser life is super tough as Zerg. It is not a good feeling. Okay, it was yesterday. What do we got? Defensive DT. High Templar exists. I didn't see you research Storm, though. Like 
mine these mineral patches to make hydras and lings and stuff. And here comes it was yesterday. And these plus one zealots against these lings, though, having an absolute ball. Two-shotting these suckers. Archon being backed up by zealots is extra. Look at these zealots, man. Speed plus one. Oh, center gets taken by the Protoss. And an absolutely big boy move here. That was awesome. All right, killing some overlords. Center now belongs to the Protoss. Overlords can't run. They have no speed upgrade. Zergs, you cannot, you cannot lose this, guys. It's 2v1. Oh my gosh, Archon, no, don't stack your drones. He's like, I gotta stack my drones. Wait, no, what am I doing? Run, get out of there, Barco says. Ooh, Lurkers, though. Okay, okay. Lurkers are gonna save the day here because no OBS came with this attack. Uh, Archon's trying to kill the Hydra Den before the Lurkers kill them. Uh. My gosh, they hit so hard. See you later, Hydra Den. Aha! And we can get the spawning pool too, maybe. Maybe. Oh my gosh, they can. Wow. 10 kill Archon, dude. Spawning pool, Hydra Den dies. There's speed lots up here in Barcode's second base. They built on the corpse of Shyman. These zero zero lings against plus one zealots. No, don't focus the hatch. Just fight the lings. Arrgh. All right. All right. Well, that could have gone worse. Hatchery is alive with 156 HP. Replacing the spawning pool here is barcode. Protoss is like, uh, we're going to be mining out soon. Yeah, having Sunkins would have been much better there for sure. <laughs> and it's happy to see Protoss is alive and kind of thriving here. Getting some work done. Always, always fantastic. Link drop would be cool. That's right, Critter. Day 9 taught me the, co the concept of guaranteed damage many, many, many years ago. It's a good one. Should have gone... Just go for the guaranteed damage. Get the links here. And then if you have time, go after the hatch. Don't go after the hatch first. Although, my gosh. It was yesterday. Okay, now get the hatch. But the lurkers are here. Oh, no, no. Also, make some OBS, you insane person. You know there are lurkers out. Far side of the hatch. Far side of the hatch. Far side of the hatch. Yesterday is killing me, Smalls. Killing me. Hey, he's making he's making an OBS. Here we go. Here we go. Bleh. Yeah, I think, I mean, having OBS out earlier would have been real nice, especially considering, you know, there were lurkers five minutes ago that was killing you. Nope, the OBS is like, ugh, I don't want to be here. There are Hydralisks. Yes. Okay, it's providing vision for the lurker still. That's nice, man. These plus one speed lots, dude. Hydras, 1-1 one, one for barcode, 0-0 zero, zero for economy manager, who, to his credit... Far side of the hatch! Far side of the hatch! <laughs> yes, Critter, Sandlot. Blah. I can't.
cannot believe this hatch lives. 43 HP on this thing, bleeding heavily, recovering though. That's the nice thing about Zerg buildings. Obs, zealots, armor upgrades. I don't know. I don't know if the Protoss can do it from this point. If he'd killed this hatch, I think there's a much better chance. But as it stands, he's mining out, right? That's the trick of Bloodbath. You can't turn this into like a 30 minute game on Bloodbath. Ob says, you have a hive yet? No, but you're working on it. Another hatchery. Just uh, resources are so, so sparse on this map. You take what you can get. I mean, there are 3,000 minerals on these far ones, which I didn't realize. So that's nice, I guess. Last a little bit longer than I expected them to. Mm -mm. And then Zell is just running into a meat grinder. Yeah, they see that. Like, mm, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Shield battery, help us. You need some storm if you're going to break this. Or some reavers would be really good on this ramp, too. Ah, friendly fire lurker splash is actually hurting barcode a little bit. He's got a shuttle. I do not know what that was. But he's got a shuttle. There was something in it, I guess. Yeah, Protoss has the most overall supply, but it's pretty close for barcode and economy manager is not too far behind. So mathematically, this is not working. It was yesterday, it's finally researching Storm. Yo! He really doesn't have the minerals to do much at this point though. He's mining off of six mineral patches, which are not gonna last forever, but also not completely out here yet. Zerg seems Pretty content. Hey, what's up, RJB? Dude, that gas vulture uh, hamburger game was bonkers. What a match. Thanks for sending that one in. Okay, little zealot harass. Yeah, there we go. And then these guys kind of take the long way around and bad things happen to them. Yeah, I mean, he's just... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Look, a couple storms are nice here. It really is. We are just throwing away. Lurk, uh, yeah, GG. GG noobs, says the Protoss and taps out. 12 kill Lurker, not bad. A lot of those are Zealots, too. GG. Wow. So Zerg players do get the win. Early rush, take down his teammate. Economy manager comes back from the dead. Manages to kill 21 units today, which is not bad, considering how much he killed his own economy to do that. And then, yeah, barcode just kind of held it down. So, G, 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 G. All right, let's go. We're going to run. There's this uh, hamster replay that was sent in. It's a 4v4, fastest map ever. FMV Master 9999999. I'm not even sure what that is. We've got 100 likes already. Nice. 100 likes. Looking good, everyone. Thanks for hitting that like button so far. The goal is always 150 on the stream. We're just going to times two this sucker, without a doubt. So it's going to be Star Crash, Coco SoCal, Tulsa, and Elemental Jedi versus Hamster. Coco! Certaceous Lag and Pijax. So, I mean, this is just going to be one of the biggest bloodbaths in the history of games I've ever cast. Uh, Coco SoCal was AFK. That's not great for Team North here. 
And it is. Everybody's next to each other, which is nice, too. Cretaceous Jag. Yeah, this is not great for Coco SoCal. But, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he can catch up. Honestly, you can max out pretty quick on this. And if you don't die because you're behind in the first, you know, five or six minutes, you'll be fine. Okay, so no crazy early pressure. I mean, look. It's a money 99999 map. So early, early pressure is like sub 60 seconds. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we share bases? Oh, it's all shared down here. But then the side ones aren't. What the heck? This is an interesting version of this map. Okay, so Hamster gonna speed lot his way into taking down Elemental Jedi, who was making Hydras. Hydras pop out. Might be able to do this, but remember what I said that Coco SoCal was in trouble because they were AFK for like the first 30 seconds? Yes. They were AFK for like, I'm just going to get rid of production tab because it's mostly broken here anyway. Mass Hydras popping. Hatcheries are dying, so the ability to make Hydras infinitely with the larva production is going to be pretty nice here. Hamster trying to kill this guy. I'm not sure it's going to work out for him. What's up, John Doe? Okay, hatcheries are starting to die. The pressure is real. So Mutas pop in from Tulsa to try to help his buddy keep these hatcheries alive. Keep this dream alive. Mass Mutalis from above. Not, can they kill the Zealots fast enough? Hamster's got some cannons pushing in here too. Creep is receding and all the tech is gone. And I think the Elemental Jedi might just be dead. Although your ability to rebuild from nothing in Money 999 is absolutely insane. Valkyries to counter the Mutalists in here from Koku, but there are enough Mutas just... Oh my gosh. Uh, I was going to say enough... 21 kill Valkyrie! Yo! Valkyrie, good unit. A single lair exists from Elemental Jedi. There's cannons inside his main. There's cannons two places inside his main. Trying to rebuild. The mass mutas are doing whatever. Mass mutas are over here taking down our guy, uh, Pijax, too, though. Valkyries to the rescue once again. Oh my gosh, the Valkyrie player having a wonderful time. Absolutely wonderful time here. Yeah, Elemental Jedi. I think this might be eliminated. Elemental Jedi, what you got, man? Zero drones. Two supply. But zero. Uh, no, one drone. One drone. Here. He's building up here. Okay, so Elemental Jedi is alive. <laughs> Order 66. Is there speed on production? No. Things don't build more quickly. JTOX in money. You just have money. Yeah. Corsair to deal with the mass mutilists that are happening here. Hamster pushing north. Trying to get all up in Tulsa's business and maybe get rid of Elemental Jedi while he's at it. 111 upgrades here are nice. Oh my gosh. This is a ginormous army from Starcrash though. Guardians just devours destroying everything. This is so much Zerg. Holy smokes. Yeah, man. That is the end of Pajax. He's still got 50 supply. I guess maybe, yeah, he's been building in the center of the map, which is hilarious. Okay, Pajax getting crushed, heading down the left side against Cretaceous Jag. I don't know, he's trying to make Corsairs to deal with this, but the Devourer count is absolutely bonkers. And they have 2-2 two, two upgrades. 
These Corsairs are like, we got this, and then bam, Devourers come in, and then the Valkyries come in, and the Devourers are fighting those guys too. Yeah, just focus the Guardians. Everything else is dealable here. The Devourers are not as hard to deal with as the Guardians are. Yeah, okay, so it's enough to hold it off. All right, Galen, sounds good. Okay, so the Valkyries are enough to deal with the Devourers and kill a ton of Overlords for Star Crash, by the way. Dude, did Star Crash? Yeah, man. Star Crash is at 196 supply of army supply, but I mean, that's the fun thing. You can totally do that in fastest map. What's up, the schmuck? Hamster down here, just going Master Goon route. 2-2-2 two, two, two upgrades on those guys. Hydro's coming in from the north. 0-0 zero, zero upgrades on some of them. Not going to do as well, obviously. Still going Devour Guardian here. You got the 2-2. Two, two. I imagine 3-3 three, three is on the way for him. It is. Definitely 3-3 three, is on the way. More and more Mutalist being produced. Got to upgrade those dudes. Morph them into everything else. I love that Hamster is totally set up over here on Elemental Jedi's base and made it his own. He's kind of... Oh. Pajax is rebuilding over here. Nice. Pajax trying to stay alive. Obviously, the Elemental Jedi trying to stay alive. Making a ton of hatcheries. Trying to come back from... The dead here, too. Uh, not able to quite finish off anybody yet in the first 15 minutes, which does make that interesting. Yeah, Hamster says, enemy team here is four Zergs. And it is, so it's four Zergs. Pajax is the only Zerg on Team Hamster today. Still down this left side, Star Crash really, really wants to take out down Sertatius Jag, but... Not really able to do it here. Just too much anti-air. The splash damage, the Valkyries, the Corsairs, the Mutalisks. All causing major, major, major issues. Elemental Jedi's got a nice Muta Bomb here with plus one attack. Gonna move down here and try to maybe catch our guy by surprise. Pajax down this way. Does get dragged into the cannons of Hamster. Plus there are responding Corsair to deal with these Mutalisks as per usual. And the sound of dead Mutalisks. Ringing through the sky. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to lose 100 Mutas in this game. So what? Trying to go center now is Star Crash. Oh, there was a scout. It died to all the Hydralisks, but the Falcon Paladin Sunday Stream Scout Guarantee has been fulfilled. We did it for about half a second. Whenever I see red lings, my brain for a second says, those guys are plagued. Lol. They are not plagued. Not even close. Say hey, what's up, Smelly Feet Leet. Thanks for following out on the Twitch side. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you. Couple Ultras out from Star Crash. Is that Elemental Jedi there? It is. It's Coco SoCal. An Elemental Jedi just going mass guardian. Absolutely mass guardian here. Dragoons cannot stand. Valkyries and Storm are needed. The Valkyries are having a great time. Wow. Just eating this group of devourers like they're made of tissue paper. 2-2 two -two Valks, I guess. Maybe the upgrades here on Elemental Jedi is not as good. He's only got the plus one armor. I don't know. Like, if you want to go Valkyries, what if I just make a ton of Ultra? Well, I got some tanks down here, too. Hamster does have second race. 
these are his siege tanks, which is why they don't have any upgrades yet. Gonna need it against all of this Zerg for sure. Yeah, man. Ultra's coming in here, too, from Coco SoCal. I like the Ultra Tech switch, but only because I'm biased for Ultra Lists. And yeah, I mean, they're not going to do insanely well against Dragoons and Siege Tanks and stuff. Ooh, little D-Web. All right. D-Web on Ultras is an interesting idea. Coco SoCal calls out a bye-bye. Thinks they've got this thing won. I would not count your chickens before they hatch. Yeah. Are there Ultras on your production? Sure. Are there a million Dragoons with 333 upgrades to fight them? Yep. So you feel pretty good about that. Also, these tanks are 33 because they're brown siege tanks. They're Cuckoo's uh, siege tanks. And so they're going to do well against the Ultras. And now we're just kind of sending sending good after bad here. Maybe don't keep sending Ultras into this mess. Maybe mass up a little bit in the middle. Maybe kill Pajax? He's right here. Everyone's just kind of ignoring Pajax. Hmm... Ally Teal, ignore his devourers and just go ground, says Hamster. Interesting out-of-the-box idea. I like it. That is a ton of devourers. Tulsa loves them so much. Yeah, man. Ultra Hydralis. Upgrades on everything are pretty good. Ah, so Elemental Jedi has got 0-0 zero, zero on his Hydras. Tulsa says, ignore my devourers, please. <laughs> That's funny. This hamster's like, uh, you should ignore the devourers. I'm really surprised that Paytax over here is still alive. Team North, the Zergs control this whole area. They just kind of ignored it, went straight for this choke and straight for the kill instead. I mean, not that Page Axe is in a good way. He's at 72 supply, lagging far behind everybody else. Hamster's at 350, though, because of, again, the two-race setup that he's been going for. Siege tanks are at 1-1. Upgrading those guys, definitely a priority. Now big, almost a solo hamster push here. Uh, we got Page Axe in the mix, too, but he doesn't have a ton of things. Siege Tank Dragoon. Not a bad combo. Enough Dragoons to handle Guardians, though, can be tough. Because this is a lot of Guardians out of Elemental Jedi. He's got 3-2 on those guys now. Scouts in the house. Mouse in the house. Scouts in the house. Plus some Wraiths, too. This Wraith Ball is entirely unsupported. Where's the Giant Devourer Ball? Not protecting the Guardians, that's for sure. This is a replay, Protoneer. Yeah, this Mass Devourer Ball is just hanging out. Might as well go out and start fighting stuff. Protect the Guardians, maybe? Be a good teammate? What's up, Steph? Welcome to the stream. Longtime member, Steph Ganyan in the house. A pretty amazing back and forth so far. This is so many Devourers. It's disgusting. Disgusting. I think they're getting friendly fire acid spored. That's not great. Cloaked Wraiths, though. Did you bring detection with you to this party? Zerg Swarm? No. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Coco SoCal's Hydra upgrades. Okay. 3-3. Three, three. Pajax, Hydra upgraded at 2-2. Pretty impressive considering how dead he's been for a while here. Although just feeding Hydras is not going to help. Uh, yeah. I mean, these are the banks of everybody, so it's infinite. It's not technically infinite, but you can't spend that in the time bef before StarCraft just sort of dies. Mm, you're right, Toy Cop.
boom, 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 boom. So yeah, we're just kind of sky terraning it against the sky zerg for the most part. Just kind of tech switching back and forth between sky and ground. And these tanks are probably here to stay, but they're just taking up supply that can't really do anything against these guardians is the problem. Valkyries do swing in from the left side, try to get something done. All the devourers are on the right side here, so that... Once again, just protecting the Guardians not seem to be much of a priority for the Zergs. And as a result, massive balls of Guardians are dying. That said, man, Devourers? They're not invincible against Valkyries. Splash damage is nice. Yeah, seeing Devourers in a regular 1v1 ladder game or a, you know, pro pro game is going to be very, very rare. But in team situations, fastest map especially, money map especially, you will see them. I don't know what this Muta stuff is supposed to be, Tulsa. Your enemy has a ton of Corsairs. I guess he's hunting SCVs with this? There's Valkyries and Corsairs and Storm everywhere. I got it. Just, whatever. It doesn't matter. Right? You just remax on something else anyway. It's not like there is a bank you have to worry about here. Star Crash swung all the way over to the right side to try to attack in here. Once again, Devourers cannot adequately protect these Guardians. Devourers need to be tankier, apparently. They're dying way too easy to things that should not be able to kill them this easily. Yeah, props to Payjax for showing up with his own guardians here. He got kicked out of his own home, and yet... Still doing alright. Certatius Jag calls for observers. He's got a couple lurkers in his, in his base, but... Not really enough to be any kind of a massive threat whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, Critter. I think I can agree with that. Hey, what's up, IPFF food? Is that an Artosis four-part emoji? Looks like Artie. That's fun. Just, this is just a bloodbath. We knew what it was going to be when we loaded this thing up, right? A 59-minute 4v4 FME, or money map, rather. Yeah, I mean, it really just needs to snowball at the point where one player dies as Cartaceous Jag is getting a second race here. So Protoss, with their ability to get up to 400, 600 supply, it can be really good in situations like this where it's really hard to push the Zerg all the way back. Having, you know, three times the amount of stuff they have yourself can make it work. I love the idea of just Siege Tank sitting in the middle here, Valkyries, Corsairs protecting them, a little bit of Storm, and then just kind of like saturating this with tanks and Valks and Corsairs. Maybe some scouts, I don't know. And then just kind of slow Siege up, cover this area, and then suddenly this is just an uninhabitable zone, right? It's kind of what they've got right now. Need to move up a tiny, tiny bit to make that thing work. And if you have enough siege tanks, the Dark Swarm is not going to do as well. Hey, Adder Thorn, happy Sunday to you too. Welcome. 
to the stream. Looks like... Oh, okay. Star Crash did get some Ultras down here. I don't, must have dropped them. But getting on top of enemy production is always good in StarCraft, and especially here, where it's not money, that's the concern. It's your ability to produce stuff. Yeah, which is part of the problem is that Devourers are support units. It's not supposed to be Mass Devourer versus, like, Mass Valkyrie or something. You're supposed to have something in there to assist, like Hydras or whatever. But if you don't, it can get tri tricky for the Devourers for sure. Mutas. Trying to muta bomb what exactly? I don't know, but they're getting hit by enemy devourers and scouts and corsairs and valkyries. So they did not get a chance to do much of anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. So now Hamster gets his tanks up. He's got 3 3 on the tanks. He's a Protoss, by the way. Okay, a bunch of irradiates. We haven't seen a ton of that today. That's a thumbnail. Holy smokes, that's a thumbnail. My thumbnail brain was like, yeah, this. Radiate, D-Web, Valks, Mutas, a Scout's in there if you're looking closely enough. Fantastic. And they break it. So <laughs> my idea of getting a million tanks up here did not work. In fairness, I think it was the Guardians that busted it. Nuclear launch detected. Who? All right. Who has nukes? I do not know. I have no idea where this nuke is. Or if it's even alive. It's alive. It's over here. There's our ghosty ghost. I see you. I see you, specialist ghost man. It was a fine nuke. Not exactly world ending, though. So many Guardians have been made today, and so many Guardians have died today. Absolutely bonkers. Bonker pants bonkers. Yeah, this is maybe the most devouring guardian I've seen die in a game ever on this channel, which says a lot. I've been doing this since, what, 2015, 2016. So many mutas have gone down. Everything's got full upgrades here, right? Nobody's bad enough that they haven't managed to get 3-3 for whatever they're making. think that nuke landed unfortunately but man it's just still a bloodbath in the middle here hydra ultra trying to bust through this tank line it's not like it's 30 tanks storm is going to soften these units up before they get it onto your tanks but eventually yeah they're going to close in there and they're going to get some work done d matrix the infested terrans would be super super rad for a while Uh, I don't think I have hamster. Yeah, so we're pushing up with spores into this mess. Didn't even really register that. I just kept looking at the tanks. But that's very cool. couple lurkers there too at the front would be amazing another nuclear launch detected i don't know where it is another nuclear launch detected not hearing it lands i'm not sure they're connecting oh there we go right there i don't know <laughs> It's like throwing a cup of water on a blazing inferno, man. Yeah, you nuked there. Nuclear launch detected. Hey, we got the nuclear launch detected sound this time. 
But I just, I cannot fathom any kind of a nuke that's going to do enough damage here that you win the game. Like, even nuking here, you'd be like, I killed 50 Zerg units. That's amazing. And it would be, except for the fact that 50 more are going to show up in 20 seconds. I mean, definitely can't cast everything that's happening here, Critter. I can tell you that much. Forward Nidus getting tossed down from Tulsa. Look at that. That's fun. Gets in on this left side. There's not a lot going on in here, but very, very fun idea. Nevertheless. What's up, Ahmed? Happy Sunday, sir. How was your week? Hope it was a good one. Hundred and fifteen likes, one fifty is always the stream goal. Good. Not everything's okay. Still taking longer than expected. Yeah, understandable. It took me longer than expected to get my bachelor's, so I hear ya. Hear ya, hear ya, hear ya. Killer Wolves is like, yeah, me too. <laughs> Star Crash continuing to come down this left side, continuing to get intercepted by Valkyries, by Corsairs. Center sort of getting taken by Team Zerg here. They're fighting spores, but 3-3 Mutas fighting spores is not that big a deal for the Mutalisks. Lucky Owl Ara Ara is like, yep. <laughs> You're not alone, Ahmed. I guess is the idea here. I hope we'd have a bunch of degrees in this chat because the average age, according to YouTube of you guys, is like 27 to 38 or something. Uh, oh, hamster 533 supply. Should have finished this off earlier. He gave us enough time to mind control. Yeah, man. Hamster's at 570, 80 supply of stuff. He's pushing with Ragoons and Tanks up the middle. He's guardying up the right side with his own Devourers, too. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. See, William says took him a while to get his bachelor's degree as well. Star Crash GG's here at 56 minutes. Can they hold the center here? Nuclear launch detected again. Ooh, little maelstrom up in there too. Tulsa says bye and taps out. Star Crash taps and that's it, man. It took Hamster getting up to five, like 600 supply of units and Certaceous Jag to get up to 300 units. Crack this. Like the macro is insane. Coco SoCal says if it wasn't lag, you did a good job. Oh, was there lag? I imagine there was lag. There were a million things in that game. That was crazy. GG, hamster. Absolutely crazy, crazy game. <laughs> okay, total score. Let's see. One, uh, 23 million points. For Hamster, he ended up producing 3,000 units, killing 5,000 total units today. Let's double anybody else in the game. Insane display. Insane display. And then outspent everybody by... Oh, Star Crash was up there too, but everybody else a little bit lagging behind. 746,000 resources, which doesn't sound like a real number. GG, man. Wow. Hamster. Destructor, indeed. All right, let's get some live games started here. U.S. West Battle.net. Yeah, smelly feet's like purple. Bad mannered us. Oh, I'm not logged in. Let's relaunch the StarCraft. Try to log in here. How about that? Battle.net, Battle.net. Ooh la la, Battle.net. Oh, it says it's trying to connect. Uh, that's not 
good? We couldn't log you into Battle.net. Uh, let's relaunch Battle.net. Is Battle.net down? No way. No way Battle.net's down. Bottom boom boom. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now we're online. Okay, that's really strange. I guess I was offline that entire time. I don't think I even realized that. John Doe wants a Falcon Unrest, as he always does. We'll see. We'll see if we have time for it. Ah, that's really cool, Smelly Feet. <laughs> Got level B in ICC Cup. That's fantastic. That's really nice. Good number. What's up, Andrej? What's up, Code Critters? RJB is big day today. Okay, Battle.net, US West. Let's uh, phantom mode this thingamajigger. So, OG Phantom number one. Jeff is requesting a zone control. We do one of those today. I don't know. Man. Cool. So, real ultra. Can I play, please? Big Wan, Save Your Sword, Yimmy, RJB, Toy Cop, Baby T Rex, Lucky Owl. Rusalov joins the chat too. Let's do a crazy critters FME or FFA. Alright, Lucky Owl requested a spot, so we're just gonna dump Save Your Sword real fast here. We'll get Save Your Sword and most of the other stuff anyway. Good, good. Uh, yeah, that's true. Rusalov, say hi in YouTube. Chat plus. Yeah, lucky I was just playing the one game today, so that makes sense. As long as it's not five minutes, he says. Oh, cool. Smelly Feet plays random as well. That's always impressive. Hamster believes it's him. Who's the Phantom of Savior doesn't play? All right, it's Rusalov. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna hop this sucker in. Woo! So OG Phantom mode here, it is among us. There's gonna be one or two players that are phantoms trying to kill everybody else. If they do, they win. So it's real ultra. Yimmy, can I play please? Big Wan, Toy Cop, Baby T-Rex, Lucky Owl, and Big Day. Who's RJB? We got random mode. Hamster likes being obs because everyone can read his silly messages. I guess that's true. This. This. Got my thumbnail up. Let's get the names in the top right now. Because it's random, we don't know how many phantoms there are or how many paladins there are, if there are any paladins, which get extra money and try to help the slayers. Boom. Hey, Connor. Yeah, we'll do a 1v7 hero. Happy Sunday, Defiled. <laughs> You're not the only one who likes the chaos here, Mark Wells. Smelly Feet says his money's on a Lucky Owl being a phantom. Okay, got our names in the top right. Everything looks good. Apparently, 
uh, baby T-Rex unvisioned everyone and threw up a macro hatch. I pinged him and he un got rid of vision, says our JB. Big one says, yeah, unvisioned me too. Hey, Psychonauts. Uh, yeah, we'll get you next. True, true, hamster. Stepping away for a second. We'll see what this is. Uh, well, let's kind of see here. Watch these wings for a second. Join in, smelly feet. Passwords always just sock. All right, man. So it is. Just mass link flooding here from baby T-Rex. If he's the only phantom, this might be, I mean, really going to be tough for him to get this thing done. Oh, what's up? Can I play, please, too? All right, man. Can I play, please? And baby T-Rex both early phantoming. That's interesting. Certainly is. Okay, Lings and Marines against Zealots. We'll trade pretty well. Blah. And, oh, RJB. Oop. Looks like he is in a lot of trouble here. He pulls the probes away. He's going to fight the Lings if he can. A couple Lings do show up here, too. From Big Wan. Trying to do this thing. What's up, Ara Ara? Uh, yeah. No, I'll get you in the next Among Us. That sounds fine. Rear Ultra gets a sunken up in the middle. Okay. I like that from Real Ultra. That's fun. This is remastered, but you can join in and play even if you're just on OG Brood War. You don't have to have the remaster to play with people online. RJB is like, uh, I'm dying because nobody's helping me, and that's fair. Okay, so RJB trying to stay alive up here. Got probes, got probes. He's... However, there are stimmed marines here and medics and stuff. Toy Cop's making scouts, because Toy Cop makes scouts. Ooh, 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 who's making lurkers? White. Nobody is white in here. Oh, there's Hydras out here, too. This might be an aggressive Phantom win in OG Phantom mode. This is crazy. 
Lucky Owl's like, Lucky Owl is staying alive. Good job, Lucky Owl. Keep staying alive, man. Yeah, Killer Wolves, I say stick with it, man. Get it done. I support it. Somebody's lagging out a little bit here, though. RJB. Oh, the scouts. The Toy Cop scout with five kills saves RJB's main base insanely well. For about four seconds. Alright, so actually killing RJB needs to be a bit of a priority here. So they do. Actually wipe him out. Who's rebuilding up here? What? Yimmy. Yimmy's up here rebuilding. Man. I would feel better about this. Except the Corsairs can kill drones. Or the scouts. Okay. Ling Hydra on the right side from Big Wan is trying to deal... With what can I play, please, is doing here. RJB taps. Oh, that's big. I don't know. I still feel like the Slayers can pull this thing off. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that, Smelly Feet. That problem's absolute, absolutely terrible. I've had a little bit of that, but nothing to where I've had surgery, so. Oof. I hear ya. Maybe T-Rex is super supply blocked, which is not going to help him stay alive in this situation. I don't know. Even without RJB, Lucky Owl's alive. Yimmy's alive. The scouts are in here, but... Gosh, dang. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, stimmed marines against scouts is just one of the most unfair things in all of StarCraft. It's not going to happen for the scouts, man. Trying to stack and like swing in like he's mutalisks. It's sort of working. Alright, so baby T-Rex is or not baby T-Rex. This is baby T-Rex. This is Big Wan. Big Wan looks like he's dead. The supply block on baby T-Rex is actually kinda sweet. But we got spores now. We're hiding the overlords on top of the spores. This is actually. Losing a scout for a couple overlords to a cop, I don't know. Okay, a couple overlords do go down. T-Rex making a move here on Toy Cop. Just bringing the Mass Hydra play to the Mass Scout play. It is... I mean, it's seven scouts. Really falling back here. Just kill... Yeah, just kill him, man. These scouts are actually doing better than I expected them to. Toy Cop's doing all right. Dave C in the house. Long time member of supporter Dave C. What's up, Dave? If there is a pallet in there trolling, says RGB. You're probably right. Could be Toy Cop with his mass scout play. Need a dispenser. Alright, so Toy Cop is dying. Lucky Owl is still alive. Yimmy technically still alive. I'm not sure the Big Wan is alive. Real Ultra is definitely alive with a Hydra Lurker comp that actually might do pretty well here against what the Phantoms are doing. Lucky Owl tries to drop down here on Baby T-Rex, right? Cannot unload tanks here, can you? Not here. Oh, and he loses the dropship. Lucky Owl, ouch. 
You can put tanks back here, though. Corners, yes. Top and bottom, no. Or left side, right side, no. Gah. That does sound fun. Smelly feet. Smelly feet, smelly feet. Ooh la la, smelly feet, smelly feet. Ba dum bum bum. Alright, here are the lurkers, which are gonna do really well against this Link Hydra Marine thing. Real Ultra is kind of the great hope of the Slayers in this game. I mean, Lucky Owl getting Siege Tanks out is also gonna be pretty good here. But can I play please as a phantom is a fairly terrifying concept the longer the game goes on, right? You can't just kind of stay alive here as real ultra because can I play please will kill you the longer the game goes on. You can't do it now, but like give it five minutes, it gets worse, right? Yeah. Siege tanks are going to be the answer to this Lurker Hydra stuff. Can I play, please? Reads the situation, adjusts properly, and Real Ultra is dead. That's it. GG, man. Early, early Phantoms getting the win. Nicely done. Baby T-Rex and Can I Play, please? Yeah, two good options if you want to see a Phantom win in OG Phantom mode. Beautiful. So, did we have... A Paladin? This looks Paladin-esque. Toy Cop, were you a Paladin? The gas my number is too low, though, for him to be a Paladin, I think. Although, I don't know how much gas they get. Toy Cop says he was a Slayer. Fair enough. All right, 1349 Phantom win. Phantom number two. We'll get Ara Ara in this one. We'll get Psychonauts in this one. You are good at macro, Toy Cop. That is always the truth. Lucky Owl, Real Ultra. Can I play? Please save your soul to Rusilov, Hamster, Critter, Brugada. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, I guess. If it was a 2 0. Yep, fair enough. Save your sword. Good call. All right, Exton, Refter here in over. Man, Kakomi's in over Real Ultra. Brugada is in over... <laughs> eh, we'll leave it for now. Saber's always Phantom. Critter says, I'm always a Slayer. John Doe wants in. Detroit Bulk wants in. We'll get you a number three, guys. Let's go. Somebody was lagging out there. Who was that? Hopefully they're not. All right. Kokomi, Protoss, Lucky Owl, Protoss, Hamster, Terran, Rafter, Protoss, Psychonauts, Protoss, another Protoss, Savior Sword, Critter, Protoss, and Ruslov, Zerg. <laughs> Hooray! Got a little bit of Zerg in here. So much Protoss, though. Goodness gracious. Expect lots and lots of Storm day update the names real fast forgot is like you gotta kill save your sword <laughs> so it's two off so it's again another two phantom zero paladin situation or everybody else is a slayer here uh, yeah, Rafal, we'll get Hero 71. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, we'll get you a number three smelly feet. Uh, what is your US West Battle.net name, just so I can recognize you, sir?
knock on wood here, but the stream hasn't had any trouble yet today. Arcadiox, $10 super chat, let's rock. The year is 2025, and the Formix attack Earth Enders game style. Who do you want leading the world forces? RJB, can I play please? WK Cross or Calm Artosis? Ooh. Probably WK Cross. I think he can manage larger numbers of units, keep good strategy going, and just keep the macro rolling the whole time. Probably Cross is my call. Hey, Jericho. Yeah, we're getting a lot of requests for Hero 7v1, so we'll get at least a couple of those after Phantom Mode here. Absolutely. Been a ton of fun. Smelly Feet 87. Got it, sir. Psychonuts joins the center for a three Nexus Protoss party here. Very, very good indeed. There it is. Should reread Ender's game this week. It's been a while. Who do we think? Why, Savior's still alive. <sighs> Who do we think it is? See, save your sword is green when he can be. Going a wow, three Nexus before gate opening here from Save Your Sword. Incredibly greedy opening for him. But you know, it's phantom mode. Uh sure, Connor. I can save you that spot today. Yeah, nobody's making it crazy obvious, right? Nobody has, you know, four gates or three macro hatches already. Lair Hydroden here from Rusalov, but nothing too crazy about that either. Uka Nukua's brother plays for the Michigan Panthers. Kai? Kai Nukua? Also, who the heck are the Michigan Panthers? Uh, a UFL team? Huh. I don't know that I've watched any UFL. That's cool. I liked Kai. Kai was a good player. Not as good as Puka, but you know. No one is as good as Puka. So definitely a bit of a calmer phantom mode here. OG can be for sure. Ah, fair enough, Dave C. Saw a 32A two weeks ago, Detroit Bulk, but not last week and not this week yet. 32A is not usually in chat all that much. Just kind of pops into lobbies when we're at the live games portion more often than not. Sure thing, Dark Knight. We'll get you in something. We've got a lot of games to go here for sure. Gallons, things are good here in the Phantom mode. First one was aggressive. It was a... Baby T-Rex, can I play please Phantom Duo win? Very cool. And this one is the second Phantom and it's incredibly slow. No one's being obvious about it. No one's being super aggressive here either. 
It's a little fast for Rusilov, I want to say. One gas. Lair, Queen's Nest. I guess he has the second gas now. I didn't see when it was taken, but it's not being fully saturated either. It's a little bit sus. How is cleaning out the litter box, Gallons? Excellent, Gallons. Well done. You deserve a reward for that hard work. Uh, you should eat a Snickers. That's what TV has taught us. Well, that's when you're angry. Hmm. Are you angry because you had to do that? Hmm. Ara Ara, four gates, all firing on two gas. You can really only support three stargates for carriers on two gas. So I think Ara Ara might be showing her hand a little bit here. I'll wait for someone else to notice this, but this is pretty sus for sure. Oh, I guess that is three. Falcon's blind. It's all good. This one's not making. So yeah, three are making. Fourth one isn't firing. Hmm. Kokomi's listening to the stream too. It's a good point. Kokomi is responding to streamy stuff. Mm -hmm. But why have four then? Unless you're planning on using it as a phantom. in the house calling for a phantom mode what okay never mind uh refter just making a big time move here going after hamster getting some reavers all in the mix this is great arcadiox gifting five falcon paladin memberships rjb yonic dave c lucas and pj and critter get memberships awesome thanks arcadiox thanks for the super chat and thank you so much for the gifted memberships to ulysses the ultralisk is very happy about this so just an unannounced attack here on hamster by refter does not like what he sees arcadiox you're very welcome man thank you so much for being here today and for the support Cloak wraiths are fighting against these dragoons and zealots, but it's hard to take them down. Yeah, he was going mass cloaked wraith, and uh, Refter took exception to this. Everybody's here to kill Refter. They're counterattacking him pretty hard, obviously. Uh, Psychonauts is here. Ara Ara is here. Saber Sword is here. Lucky Owl's Reavers are trying to save the day, too. Lucky Owl is like, I want one of Raptor's bases after we kill him. What's up, Lucas? It's 
Still not firing on that fourth Stargate. Camps are just trying to stay alive. Floating buildings, super floating buildings, but that command center is on fire. Rafter getting absolutely murdered by the combined forces of Rusilov Psychonuts. We've got uh, Savior Sword in here too, and Ara Ara. So, I mean, it's going to be a tough ask. Okay, Command Center dies. I'm not sure if Hamster's going to have enough money or SCVs to rebuild here. He's got a Science Vessel. He's got an SCV up here, way. Alright, so yes, Rafter does get cleared. Yes, so Rafter does get cleared. Look at that reaver shot. Look at this! From downtown! Ooh. Fantastic. Really, really good. Critter taking a third base here. Refter says no units, no nothing, GG. And he was a phantom. All right, so the other phantom did the thing where you watch your teammate go out into the world and try to kill everyone, and then you just kind of sit there and watch them. Bum 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 ba da ba da bum bum bum. Bum 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 ba da ba da bum. Man, if it is save your sword again, it's gonna be insane. <laughs> like eighty percent of the time over the last two months, it's been save your sword. Oh, right. Critter does have a center base, so that's his fourth that he takes. And then three people want Refter's main. This is crazy. Yeah, Save Your Sword is taking it for a fourth base of his. We've got Lucky Owl in here and Kokomi throwing up nexuses in this position. That's amazing. Carrier's coming out from Critter 2. That's usually what he gets into if he has enough time, if he like, is allowed to do it. It is Nexus Town over here. What the heck? <laughs> Critter gets to keep his for himself. I guess there is a, uh, a Rusilov hatchery here, so he has to share a little bit. Arbiter Tribunal coming in from Ara Ara. Does not have the gas here. Really appears to only be mining with one probe at this base, so it's not really helping with the income all that much. And really, it's the gas. When your carrier producing off of three stargates, just not having enough gas for a fourth is the limiting resource. Rusilov, lurker, hydraing his face off here. Yeah. Uh, one phantom is dead, Code Critters, and that was. Um, Refter down here. Tried to kill Hamster, couldn't do it. And then everybody gang tackled him. Blah. Piled right on. Bit of a mass reaver set up here for our guy, Lucky Owl. Trying to maybe recall them. 
Not really moving, well, kind of moving towards Arbiters with this Citadel play, but <laughs> it's a long way from there, too. And 31 likes so far. Nope, 25. 25 likes so far. 150 is always the stream goal here on the YouTube side. So, yeah, not recalling Reavers. Just going to go ahead and drop these suckers. But where? Where will you drop? I see you. Yeah, way too many probes at this base. We are over mining that thing for sure. It's going to die soon. So yeah, we're going to start mining out the map here pretty quickly. Hamster might be the last one to mine out just because he got killed and it slowed down his income for sure. Critter is trusting Savior Sword of who to kill. Savior Sword is not sure where to go. Might as well work together, he says. Protoss Unity here in the bottom left. And the good thing here is that you can't accuse them both of being phantoms because there aren't two phantoms remaining. That's an interesting aspect of them teaming up here is that if we didn't know who the phantoms were, then then teaming up, you could say they're both phantoms. But because there's only one phantom remaining, it would be funny if it was brown. I agree. I would have attacked you guys already. Hamster's not a sit back and wait kind of a phantom, he says, as he's going mass cloaked wraith. In fact, there are no paladins. I would have gone after you. Would have been funny, though. Yeah, like that game where Toy Cop attacked uh, Toma and Toma was the other phantom. That was incredible. Or was it the other way around? Toma attacked Toy Cop, and he was the other Phantom. Or wasn't the Phantom? Too many Phantom games in my brain here. I'm trying to remember them all is difficile. Something was attacking for a second. I don't know what it is. Critter says, let's just take out the people who are closest to us. Yeah, that was it, Toy Cop. I was the one who attacked. Yeah, 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 he says. Toma, what's up, man? Just remember that time that Toy Cop tried to kill you and you guys were teammates. Good times. It is tricky when you don't know who your phantom friend is in this version of phantom mode. I think it would be nice, honestly, if it did notify the, uh, the phantom of who the other phantom is. I think that'd be nice. Of course, one of the phantoms might want to sell out the other phantom. But then it's like, how do you know? And it's like, well, because I'm a phantom too? It's tricky. 
Ah, we're doing it. Okay, okay. Orange. Psychonuts. It's attacking Rusilov. Uh, yep, Saber Sword's attacking Rusilov too. Is Critter going to join this party? Yes, Critter is joining this party. Okay, so Rusilov was the decision here at 21 minutes. Little Dark Swarm would be nice. Man, it's a triple carrier fleet coming in here, man. Dark Swarm, Plague would be insane, but I don't really see. Uh, and then Lucky Owl drops his Reavers over here, too. So, Rusilov accepts his fate of being very dead. Savior Sword apologizes for murdering a fellow. It's a very Savior Sword thing to do. And a Slayer down. So Rusilov, Slayer down. Who's next, everyone? Gotta keep this ball rolling. We can't let the Bloodlust level out here. Gotta keep it moving. It's because he's Zerg, isn't it? Says Killer Wolves. Maybe. Maybe it is. Saber Sword killing some of his own probes, freeing up some supply here for a bigger army. Yeah, we're mining out, right? We've got a ton of bases with no minerals at all. Can I play, please? It's feeling like eh, maybe a little orange here. Sending probes in to die. That's fine. Oh, no, he's not. Stop stealing my money. I like Lucky Owl is like incensed that the workers he's sending in. Oh, Lucky Owl's unallied. All right, man. Hamster. Dude, if it's hamster, that's very funny. The number of times phantoms have accidentally killed their other phantom within the first five minutes or tried to. Was that a reaver drop attempt that just got absolutely murked? says Lucky Owl. Because Brown killed the probes that Lucky Owl sent in to steal his monies. Look how many wraiths there are. Wraiths are pretty cheap, man. But alright, we're going after Hamster. Okay, really, really funny. Like, really, really funny if it's Hamster, because if Raptor had killed Hamster and then died, it would have been like a six-minute phantom mode where one of the phantoms helped kill the other one really immediately. Cloaked Wraith Ball against Critter's Carriers. Not great for Critter, though. 
Okay, got to chase him back. Cannon's providing detection from Lucky Owl. Good teamwork here. Ara Ara not actually fighting. Does Ara Ara def... Uh, does Ara... Okay, is Ara Ara still struggling to unally? is my question. No, is he def... She's defending? Wait, no, no, no. Wait, no, now she's attacking Hamster. <laughs> That's funny. So Critter and Savior Sword are like, nah, it's not him. And then RRR decides to unally and take Crit. Look, at this point, Hamster is not useful. Kill him. Determine if he is a phantom. And then we knock someone off the list. Or, you know, let the cloaked rights kill all your carriers again. All right. So... <laughs> Lucky Owl's building on after natural. As you do. Oh, my gosh. This game. Sorry, hamster. No, but you guys. You have to kill him now. You can't almost kill somebody. There you go. Thank you, Critter. You can't wreck everything somebody has, leave them without the ability to build anything else, and then be like, sorry. No, you have to get him out. Sorry, hamster. I mean, I appreciate you trying to stay alive here, but... This is the long distingness mining probe of all time. Look at this guy. Wonk. Oh, you lose the tracking when it goes inside an assimilator. I don't think I knew that. The camera track is like, where'd it go? It doesn't exist anymore. Hamster is gone. We will see what his true nature is. <laughs> he calls everybody racist. Uh, that's great. <laughs> uh, Rusilov is backstabbing Lucky Owl while this is happening. Not Rusilov. Savior Sword is. Oh my gosh, Savior Sword. Friggin'. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're just killing Lucky Owl. All right. Ramon. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. It's Phantom Mode number two here. Thanks for the follow at Norden. Lucky Owl being attacked by... Save your sword and Ara Ara and Critter. So it wasn't Hamster. He gets eliminated. He was a slayer, but we just had to know. Next up is Lucky Owl on the execution list. He's storming his way, trying to stay alive here. That's a lot of carriers, man. Hamster is enjoying watching Lucky Owl die. Little dark, but hey, what do you do? Owl done. No, Lucky Owl still has a Nexus down here. I forgot. Nexus and a pylon, even. Lucky Owl's like, it's got to be Savior Sword, doesn't it? Doesn't it have to be? Nope, says Savior Sword. 
I mean, sure. You want to defend yourself, obviously. Why are we not killing this pylon? You guys, there's a pylon here for Lucky Owl. Ugh. Now we have to go all the way back. Final pylon. Say the race were better against the carriers that three of the players were making. And Lucky Owl is a slayer. All right. You're a man of low moral character. <laughs> yeah, and Reavers. Right, Wraiths are better against Reavers and Carriers than Valkyries are. Okay, who's left here? Ara Ara, Save Your Sword, Critter, Psychonuts. Ooh, is that four? That's four, right? There's not a fifth one hanging around here. One, two, three... Four. Yeah. All right. Pull time. Did you guys start fighting as soon as I started making a pull? That's not okay. Apparently they did. All right, uh, so we're going after Ara Ara here is anyway. Psychonuts making a move on her. No one else is helping kill Ara Ara though. So like, I don't know what this means exactly. Save your sword. Sounds good. Cutter says it's not me. Ara Ara is not really putting up much of a fight here. But, I don't know. Ara Ara not like a crazy strong player. So it could just be a phantom and not really know how to take advantage of all the income and money that she's got in order to go nuts here. I mean, when there are four people left, you pretty much can phantom your way to a win depending on... How much production you have, right? And how much you've got banked up. I get 34 minutes, you should have a ton banked up. Pamps are still fighting with Lucky Owl. The best part of playing Phantom Mode are the little, little rivalries that pop up here. Art Artist Carriers are gone. Are, are not really verbally defending. What the? It's Critter. Ah! Critters count backstabbing Psychonuts. Okay, Critter, that's fun. What the heck, Critter? Critter, you're funny. Look, Ara Ara is still alive. Psychonauts is kind of getting rolled here. Look, yeah, I was like, the Phantom's gonna win. Poll results are in. It's like most of you think it's Savior Sword, but no one's actually tried to kill Savior Sword yet. So the people in game do not agree with the chat about who this is. Very surprisingly effective. They are against Reavers. Yeah, turns out. Either Arda Arda is out of money or real. I don't know. That's a carrier in production. And there is some money here. It's 
I'm like, save your sword, help me kill Critter. And save your sword's just like, la 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 la. Just observing the massacre. Man, if it's save your sword and everybody kills each other and just lets save your sword sit here and do nothing and win. Hilarious. Incredible ending. I love this carrier pops. I got this, guys! <laughs> Help, he's dead. Who's dead? Critter's not dead. Psychonauts isn't dead. Oh, okay. Save your sword decides to help kill Critter. Fair enough. <laughs> carrier battle. Oh, the stasis on Critter's carriers. Brutal. Save your sword's not even engaging with Critter's carrier. Oh, now he is because he got dragged into range. Ooh, this is. And then Ara Ara keeping herself alive with a single carrier here. <laughs> I don't know why I trusted him Because he's a Protoss And you're racist against the other races, Critter That's what it is you Blindly trust Savior because he's Toss I didn't trust him when Savior vouched for me It's always Savior Psychonauts dies. He's a slayer. Ara Ara is trying to stay alive. And does. Four kill carrier. Not bad. <laughs> oh my god. Savior Sword still denies being Phantom. Dude, if it's Kakomi, best day ever. Savior Sword is like, it's Kakomi. Here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> Oh, no. You do always have to keep in mind that sometimes a phantom can be someone who's not quite good enough to be phantom. And then bad things happen. Hamsters taking credit. We help. No, these are Kokomi pylons to wake up. <laughs> Friends are all dead. Doesn't tell us what it is, but let's go look at the uh, at the end screen here at the scores and see the resources tab real fast, cause. Yep, Kokomi. Oh boy. 34 APM Kokomi. The other phantom. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Absolutely. Ugh. Okay, phantom mode number three. See, Kokomi had the four stargates. I knew it. I knew she was phantom. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is filling so fast, y'all. Look, this has to be people who haven't played yet. Detroit over Can I Play, please. Big Wan has played. Hamster has played. Get out. Get out. We need room for people who haven't played yet. Get out. Toy Cop has played. Get out. Save Your Sword has played. Get out. Get out. 
We are getting people out, making room for people like Smelly Feet who wants to get in here. I don't know what the phantom win ratio is, Code Critters. I feel like it's under 50%, though. I would say that. Yeah, Arcadiox gifted you a sub, Critter. Sock, S O C K, Smelly Feet. Who else has already played here? Detroit, RJB's already played. We'll boot him. T Rex has already played too. We'll boot him too. Smelly Feet. Hmm. Is this an imposter smelly feet? Kyarolonis joined the game. All right, cool. So Smelly Feet's in. Detroit hasn't played. Red Lentil Pasta hasn't played. I'm not sure who this is still. Striker's in. Scavenger's Rain, I think, is Gallons. He's our Scavenger's Rain fan. Brugada, Kai. Dark Knight and Smelly Feet. <clears throat> you sent me a message on Discord. Yeah? Discord, looking at Discord. Yes, more than zero. Oh, for gallons. All right, cool. Let's rock. You're too good to be left untouched, RJB. That's true. Take it as a compliment if you die early. Phantom mode number three. We've got Detroit Bulk, Striker, Red Lentil Pasta, Smelly Feet, Kyra, Lonus, Brugada, Scavenger's Rain, and Dark Knight. One Paladin, says Striker. Was it one Paladin, two Phantoms? That would be my question. All right, new names are up. We got them. So is it one paladin, two phantoms? I don't know, we don't, I don't think we have somebody in here who usually calls it out, although we did say there's one paladin. Dark Knight says he's a paladin, so that is an announce. We'll see if he's telling the truth or not. Somebody is lagging out here. Hard to tell who it is. Two paladins, one paladin. It's me, says Dark Knight. It's purple over here. What's wrong with two two psycho nuts?
Okay, we're gonna watch this paladin closely. I'm gonna step away for a minute. Be right back. Hit that like button. We're at 131. Nice. Yes, Slayer is accusing Red Lentil Pasta of being Phantom. One base, three gate. Everybody kind of agrees here. Dark Knight saying the same thing. Striker saying the same thing. Also, we have Brown. We got Striker pretty much going after Detroit bulk up here. Trucker says, I can prove that I'm a Slayer. Ooh, that's impressive. And smelly feet dying? Smelly feet dying. Ah. All right. So Striker's ripening out Detroit bulk. Smelly feet gets zealot rushed by Phantom... Uh, Red lentil pasta here. Hey, what's up, Shiba Slumber Party? Yeah, it's good emote. Absolutely, thanks for sharing that. Hey, what's up, Olivia? It's dumb AF. <laughs> thanks for the follow. trying to take down this is really aggressive zergy zerg stuff who's that gallons is down here trying to take down uh yellow unallied two what is going on brugada's like i unallied striker because you killed blue that makes sense i'm down with that hey smelly v yeah man uh 
It can be tough out there in the phantom mode, it's true. <laughs> so there's one at least. As far as there being another phantom, don't know. Doesn't seem like there is. And we're just letting Blue live in here. I don't know how you prove you're a Slayer Striker. That's tricky. Why'd you kill Blue? Somebody in chat said that Blue is trying to go Stargate without any gas. And that's a good indication. He was too sus. That's not a reason. Too many buildings, he says. Uh-huh. And... Then Lentil comes in and Reaver drops the absolute crap out of Dark Knight. Meanwhile, Link counterattack here. Oh, and Dark Knight going after Striker for taking down Blue. All right, this is weird stuff. SCVs fighting Reavers is not exactly what you want to do, but it does force it to get out of there. Well, this is chaos. I'm down. I support all of this. Right, stuff is happening. Oh, I got tank drop. Kai's just like, I'm just having a good time over here. Don't mind me. But if it's yellow and black, then why is yellow attacking black? Classic maneuver here. Lentil loses their main nexus. Does have the natural. And if they're a phantom recovering from this, shouldn't be too bad. Except there really aren't any... Not that many probes at all. Okay, another Nexus coming in from Detroit Bulk. You guys, Detroit Bulk got killed and is building Nexuses without having any additional income all over the place here. I think we have to eliminate Detroit here. Eliminate him. If he's, the, if he's a Phantom, that's great. That makes it a lot easier on y'all. Yeah, Stryker's not putting his case out good enough to convince them to kill Detroit. Okay, so that Nexus gets cancelled. Looks like... Okay, so we are hunting these probes now. Gallons is buying it. Gallons is like, I don't like what Detroit is doing here. Don't build in my base. I need this money. Whoa! And then massive reaver drop down here on Kai, who was just watching. He just didn't want to participate in the violence, and the violence found him. What's up, John? Heck yeah. We're only in hour five. <clears throat> I'm definitely still streaming. So Dark Knight is up here going after Striker. I don't agree with this. And more tank dropping here from Brugada against Red Lentil Pasta. Those get shut down, but the dropships evac out of here. 
Gonna try to sunken ling this thing up that way. This is still a Detroit is still alive. This is crazy. Yeah, so red lentil pasta is hanging out up here. He's alive, he's doing things. Kyar Olonis does end up getting spared. The Reavers leave for whatever reason. I'm not sure if that was a sparing. I know. This is a very confusing Phantom Mode game for sure. Yeah, putting some tanks here in Striker's base. I know Black has a lot. He's the Phantom. Striker's real mad. So he usually gets. What's up, Rafal? Absolutely, yes. Oh, nice. Olivia joined the Discord. Mr. A joined the Discord. Very cool. Okay, Dark Knight has decided to go after Red Lentil Pasta, which seems like the smart thing to do here based on how this game has gone so far. Up. Hello there, stay a while. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. It's an excellent point, Shiba. I'd say mostly because it is something of a sequel to Warcraft, where you do craft wars. But then they said, this game will be set in space, so it needs to be different from Warcraft. We'll call it Starcraft. And they didn't really think about the fact that you don't actually craft stars. You make a good point. Detroit trying to rebuild. <laughs> Sends a couple zealots into a lurker sunken. We've seen that today. All right, mech dropping here on red lentil pasta. Big Ling Hydra army pushing in here too. Yeah, so the combination of the Zerg from the south here in Gallons and the attack of Brugada up north with the mech should be enough to wipe him out. Maybe T-Rex has seen enough. He's leaving. Uh, not really, Yannick. Not so much. Red Lentil Pasta taps, and we will see now if, in fact, he was a phantom. <laughs> Says that Kyra Olonis is the other phantom. That's funny. So one phantom dead. And then Kai does throw up a bunch of macro hatches. 
a bunch of macro hatches. Very sneakily. It's like, it's like everybody else wants to go. Do you want to go Detroit here? Are we worried about Kai being the Phantom? Not really. Yeah, welcome to being a Phantom, John Doe. <laughs> that is the nature of being Phantom in Phantom mode. Brugada going after Detroit here. And Brugada, kind of Brugada's just kind of doing everything today. He's dropping, he's active. All right, if it's Kai, we've seen Kai Phantom before, and it's not not really a problem. Gallons is in here causing all sorts of issues for Kai. Siege tanks are in here causing all sorts of issues for Kai. Brugada's just like, we're just making sure, man. Dark Knight. Oh, hang on. Brugada's attacking Dark Knight now? Hold on a second. This just got interesting. If Brugada is the other Phantom, that makes it a much crazier situation. We're gonna eliminate Kai, but this siege tank drop here, it, uh, this is insane. It could be Teal. Who the heck is Teal? Kai? And it was Kai. <laughs> I like how Brugada's just like, what if I kill everyone? That'll do. Incredible. All right. Uh, yep, it was Kai. Kai's never really interested in doing phantomy things when he's a phantom. All right, that was an, uh, one more phantom mode today. Just because that last one's a little bit underwhelming, I would say. We're gonna phantom four. We're gonna get. We're gonna get through this stuff. Trust me on this one. Well, I think part of the problem is that Warcraft 3 fell off because Blizzard murdered it with Warcraft 3 Reforged. It murdered the multiplayer scene and still hasn't fixed it to this day. Which is problematic. I don't know. I feel like Warcraft 3 would be doing really, really well if not for that. That's right, we said underwhelming Mark. Oh, hamster bailed. What the heck, hamster? Ham 
Monster? Yeah, it's true. Warcraft 3 is still a great game. I'm not saying it's bad. At all. Oh, Hamster wanted to obs. You can hop back in and obs if you want. There you go. He got that obs. Alright, so Savior Sword, Critter, Striker, Detroit, John Doe, Smelly Feet, Toy Cop, and RJB. Good enough. I like this setup. This should be a good one. Everybody involved pretty much knows what they're doing. We got salty people galore. And we have Savior Sword, who is the Phantom, unless proven otherwise. Yeah, Warcraft 3 refunded. Not wrong. All right. Detroit. John Doe. Toy Cop RJB. Save your sword. Striker. Critter. And Smelly Feet. Let's get those names in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the heck is spamming? Is everybody claiming Paladin? That's fun. Striker says Paladin. John Doe says Paladin. Detroit says Paladin. RJB says Paladin. Yeah, so this is chaos. Save Your Sword says Paladin. Toy Cop says not a Paladin. I like it. Like I said, RJB's, you know, he could be trolly in this thing. John Doe's definitely trolly in this thing. I mean, yeah. Toy Cop's gonna do what Toy Cop wants to do, which is either play normally, look like the Phantom and scare everybody, or go for Mass Scout, which is not as useful. Jose is also a Paladin. Excellent. It's a chatty group, too, which is fun. So let's see what we get here. <laughs> They're just claiming Paladin because Falcon Paladin exists. Maybe. Heck yeah. Oh, does anybody remember that bug back in, I think it was Burning Crusade. There was a Rhett Paladin bug that let you... You could like stack up this damage and unleash it all at once. You could like one-shot raid bosses with it. I don't remember how it worked. It existed for maybe a couple months and then they patched it out. It was Reckoning. I want to say it was a Reckoning bug. Wreck bombing. Yeah, here it is. Cancel our Reckoning Macro Bug. I'm trying to remember how it worked, though. Yeah, see, Cory knows what it is. I'm 
Yeah, I like vanilla more than BC for sure. Anyway, you could just stack damage and be nuts with it, and it was very, very interesting and very fun. And then it got patched out. Mm, cannon, 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 gate, 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 cyber core, forge. This is... seems like a lot. For smelly feet over here. I imagine some people probably face play special forces. Jose, if you come to the US West Battle.net server or the Korea Battle.net server, just do a search for all the custom games that are lobbies that are up, you might find it. Oh, okay. John Doe making a push here on RJB makes sense. All Protoss in the middle. No racial harmony at all. Hey, how's it going? Plus Aeneas? Plus? Plus Aeneas? I'm going to talk about this at some point. I don't remember. Yeah, there are a bunch of classic servers out there. A lot of them kind of shut down after... Blizzard started offering official classic servers. But, whatevs. Yeah, I was definitely one of those people in the classic server back in, like, 2015. Just being like, I don't like WoW right now. It kind of sucks. Give me the old stuff. And it was nice. Leveled a couple characters through classic again on one of those. Nostalrius. Yeah, yeah. I was on Nostalrius. That was a good one. I leveled another Paladin through it, but this time knowing what I was doing. Because my first Paladin level, I did this combination of healing spec and prot spec. And I couldn't kill anything within like four minutes. And it took forever and it sucked. But then I made a Paladin that I leveled as Rhett. And it was fantastic. And then I made a Rogue... A horde rogue leveled her through 1 to 60 as well. Just really good times, man. Great times. I really think the biggest part of it is that I felt like in Classic I could die. And then once we started getting around Cataclysm and Legion and stuff, it just was impossible to die while leveling. And I don't... I don't think it's because I was better at the game. Because when I went back to Classic, I still died a bunch. It, just, it was just too easy. I guess, is the whole idea. And that's what rating's for, right? Rating's never too easy, but still. Anyway, uh... Straight up, RJB is killing Toy Cop. Quad Robo. Interesting. Trying to Reaver drop here, but, uh... The Siege Tanks kill the Reavers, and the Shuttles go down, and it's... Really difficult. I'm gonna try it again here. What's up, Luca? Definitely. Yeah, WoW certainly is supposed to be more social, but I don't know. Like, it, I feel like my interaction with WoW is more solo leveling. Don't really group up that much. Don't really run dungeons. Don't really raid. We got two Terran. Look at the colors here, man. Can't even tell the difference between these tanks. I thought they were the same. No, they're not. Yeah, kind of lone wolf the wow for it. Yes. Haha, <laughs> RJB. <laughs> I 
So John Doe is kind of coming to the rescue here, but also Savior Sword has taken down Toy Cop as well. He's joining this party. Toy Cop is salty. There it comes the salts. I told you there's a lot of salts in this phantom lobby. Tons of salts. Four Robo is not too much, and Toy Cop taps out. And he was a slayer. And I have some peanuts. Save your sword and RJB killed Toy Cop together. It was a joint effort. Yeah. Gotta eat peanuts because of the salt. Exactly. So now RJB is fighting John Doe in a beautiful TBT setup here. Those of you who like TBT. Oh, if you like TBT, I have a TBT coming up. A really amazing one. Uh, tomorrow? Maybe Tuesday? I don't remember. But it's Rush versus Light. Really, really good TVT on uh, Neo Jade Origin, Neo Dark Origin, Neo Dark Origin. Yeah. Save your sword. Takes the natural base of Toy Cop. Wow. Detroit Bolt takes the main base of Toy Cop from way outside. That's his fourth base now. Save your sword, getting his fourth base too. So basically, people that set up in the center here are the ones to take the extra extra bases. And leave the scraps for everybody else. Like, for example, we got two bases over here for uh, Smelly Feet. RJB Stream Snipe. <laughs> yes. Uh, Code Critter, Soul Key won the last ASL. He's got a really strong case for being the best Brood War player. Snow has just been playing extremely well overall in everything but ASLs over the last couple of years. He's been insanely good, but hasn't won an ASL yet. So he might win ASL 17, which is ongoing, and then that would, I think, cement him as the best player right now. But until then, I still think it's sulky. That would be crazy, Shiba, if everyone was the same color. <laughs> same race, same color, and just be like, I don't know what's going on, man. What's up, Pablo? Things are good. We're in a salty, chaotic phantom mode here. John Doe dropping an RJB. Doesn't get a lot done. Wraith's on the response. Dropship swinging down from John Doe. This looks like a good place to unload a couple tanks and kill some uh, SCVs. RJB! Not pulling the SCVs. Oh, RJB, the SCVs though. One more shot. Get him. Okay, well, one SCV kills better than none, I suppose. Uh, Royal. No, Royal's still competing. He's. Uh, I think he got knocked out of the ASL though, so he's not in ASL 17 anymore. Can't win this one. Big day is RJB, Critter. We got there. Gallons, man. JB making a move on John Doe here, right into his tank line with superior numbers, but getting those shots off first for John Doe is really nice. 
Both players trying to get the vision by floating their buildings up here. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. John Doe holds the attack. Again, it's just tough to attack a tank line with tanks. Which is why people go 5-port Wraith to deal with the tanks sometimes. Which is what these Wraiths are all about. All about. Yep, that's the tricky aspect of Zerg. Do you make drones or do you make army units? Always been the case. Always tricky. <laughs> Critter's trusting savior sword again. Critter, buddy. Blind trusting Savior Sword is a terrible call. I mean, I guess it was the true. Uh, it wasn't the Phantom the last time. Yeah, RJB makes false accusations a lot in Phantom mode. Smelly feats a Twitch newcomer critter. Your macro is way too good, Toy Cop. It always has been. It's why people fear you. And 38 likes, 150 stream goal. We are 12 away. Look at me doing math on stream. I'm amazing. Save your sword, Critter, and RJB. Going after John Doe. Might be able to pull it off here. I don't know that John Doe is the Phantom. Not really feeling it. Not really feeling it from anybody, though. Yeah, Saber Sword doesn't think it's John Doe, but RJB is going to kill him anyway because rivalry. It requires it. I'm not even sure who attacked who first in this game. Mass Scout play up here by Detroit. Somebody is doing the Toy Cop thing. John Doe attacked RGB first with Marines in this game. Okay. RGB Wraith Ballin'. There you go, there you go. It's that Wraith thing. Official accusation here from Smelly Feet against... Ye old Savior Sword. Savior Sword takes offense to that. <laughs> Again, just straight up accusing Savior Sword. That's fun. Save your sword. Pushing it up. Escalating a little bit here. Here goes, everybody's gonna be mined out and we gotta start moving. Critter, RJB. 
mean, RJB is definitely trying to kill John Doe. I appreciate that. Got enough race to snipe a turret pretty darn easily. They also have 1-1 one -one upgrades, which helps in the situation a lot. Ah, who has nukes? Who's even Terran in this game? RJB, do you have the nukes? Does John Doe have the nukes? Yes, John Doe has the nukes. And there it is. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad nuke at all. Two tanks and one turret killed. Hamster with the count. feeling not up to par here. I was going to say, it's a push in here, but Smelly Feet making a move on Savior Sword all of a sudden. Savior Sword's like, I'm busy right now. Smelly Feet's coming for me. It's like, Critter, help me against the Smelly Feet attack. Critter does come in with his big carrier army, which is what he does, and he's defending Savior Sword against Smelly Feet here. John Doe continues to be under assault by RJB. Good times had by all. It seems like there are enough turrets to stay alive against those races for now. Smelly Feet going for the accusations and dead. And Slayer. RJB continues to accuse John Doe of being the guy. Is anybody going to go with him or not? Looks like Critter is. Critter decided, fine, it's John Doe. I'm tired of sitting around. Let's move. So now John Doe. Yeah. Accusing RJB and Critter of being the Phantoms because they're the ones that are attacking him. It's not, you know, it's not great logic. It's pretty basic, but everybody does it. <clears throat> Save Your Sword is not on board with killing John Doe. But yeah, it uh, looks like Detroit Bulk is joining the party here too. So yeah, RJB is in the mix. Might as well wipe out John Doe. Get him off the board. You guys are insane. Well, just gotta get people out of the list here. So we know who is who. Smelly Feet is accusing Savior Sword officially, again, in Twitch chat this time of being Phantom. We'll see if you're right, Smelly Feet. Rondo taps out, and he's a slayer. He claimed Paladin, he's a slayer, but again, he'll just say Paladin because him and RJB both claim Paladin, and they don't mean it. They never do. Two phantoms, a Paladin, and two slayers are left, says Hamster. Keeping track for us. Rondo is chaos. He is chaos, it's true. RJB is also chaos a lot of the time. So what, five players left? We got Critter. We got a 
very extremely quiet uh, striker down here. He's not really participating. Not attacking anyone. Doesn't have a lot. Couple macro hatches down here in the main. I don't know, dude. RJB sticks with his paladin claim. Striker says, I'm a slayer. I don't know what you're talking about. Savior clearing out some of his probes for supply purposes, as always. Critter's like, all right, cool. We'll take down Detroit Bulk. It doesn't seem to happen many probes here at 25 minutes into the game. Smelly Beat's still upset about nobody killing Savior Sword. Savior Sword's just so un like non-objectionable. He just never makes anybody mad enough that they just go kill him for no reason. And even if he looks sus, he's just... I don't know. The way that people will attack him is if he goes three races or gets three forges rolling. So he's learned to not do that. And from there... Nobody really has much cause to take him down. Saver Sword is too chill for that. So Detroit Bolt getting attacked left side by Critter. Right side by Savior Sword. RJB joining the left side attack with his tank Wraith Ball. Detroit Bolt, I'm not sure, is actually un... There you go. He does unally and go for it. There are some scouts. There's two scouts there. Where'd the rest of the scouts go? He's making it. There they are. Here's the ton of scouts. So they're going to start hunting critters' carriers real nice. And then they catch a stasis right to the base. All right. Never mind. Stasis too good. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of the stasis. I whine about it all the time, and I'm not going to do it here, but. What's up, Preso? I am the Phantom. That critter is going to be a hold off. Be able to hold off after the all oh, about these scouts. Detroit Bulk GG's out. Yeah. Really no surviving with everybody else on the map coming after you like this. Now the question is, what is he? Blue Saneas is kind of accusing RJB here. Yeah. And he was a phantom. All right, so Detroit Bulk, phantom. And RJB is going after Striker here. Not announcing it. But wiping out his entire Hydra count here. RJB, is it time for him to announce? Just not even saying anything. Just wiping out this Hydra count with Cloaked Wraith. Nothing that can be done here by Striker. 
There he goes. Now he accuses... Yeah, that's interesting. All right, man. So a striker was joking, called out Paladin earlier. Yeah. So unless there's some Dark Storm Hider here to deal with the carriers, that's always nice to see. Don't just die when the carriers show up. Nice plague. Ooh, sick plague. All over those carriers. When the siege tanks show up, and that's not gonna. Work. Oh, it's throwing up more hatches. Dang, it is striker. Not bad. Not a bad phantom mode. I don't know. Detroit Bolt was never that threatening. Striker wasn't either. He might have hit just too darn well. I mean, sick plagues. Honestly, great plagues here from Striker. But, I mean, the wraiths just don't care. There's like there's nothing here to kill us. You can plague us. You don't have any hydras left. I killed all those. Dark Swarm doesn't protect buildings. So, these buildings are going to die. Another plague. But, once again, there are no hydras here. Oh, RJB's attacking Critter. Ah! Ah! What is happening? What? RJB? What is going on? RJB wipes out the entire carrier fleet of Critter. Saber Sword pulls back in fear of these wraiths, which, again, are pretty much all plagued. So you, like, look at them and they should die. Dude, RJB. Okay, Save Your Sword makes the move to go after RJB here. you firing up a ton of science vessels. <laughs> Striker taps out, and he wasn't the Phantom, and bam! Wait, no, it was! Ah, wait! Friggin' RJB throwing confusion into the end here. Yeah, it looks like it was Striker based on that, because Save Your Sword didn't tap out. Uh, yeah, Striker here. Striker and Detroit were the Phantoms. Couldn't pull it off in the end. And yeah, RJB killed everything he... <laughs> Critter for fun. Ah, incredible. Okay, next up, we're going to do a fastest map. And then we'll move into hero stuff. And then we'll see if we want to do a free-for-all or not. Well, it wasn't Savior who was the Phantom. He hasn't been the Phantom once today. Pretty incredible. You're right, Jose. Good call. Great call. <laughs> Smelly Pete's like, I don't care. It was still Savior Sword. Screw you guys. Boltzmann wants to play this game. Put hamster in here or Detroit. Can I play please? Got his fastest map. Very happy about that. Critter wanted fastest map too. Specifically requested it. So we're gonna put him in over. Donk. Adder Thorn. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how Falcon is doing. He's coming off of four hours of casting StarCraft last night and into hour number six this morning. So, kind of like 10 straight hours of casting StarCraft with some sleep in there. It's a lot. It is definitely a lot. I might do critters. How are these teams? Maybe Terex kind of play please and Hamster on the same team is really friggin' strong. We're gonna do this. We're gonna swap there, swap out for Boltzmann, swap Boltzmann in for Detroit. So Hamster and RJB, T-Rex can I play please, Big Wan. Let's 
let's go. I don't know. I don't feel great about this balance, but... It's tough. It is tough to balance a 4v4 fastest map with the available player pool most of the time. All right, man. It's going to be 4v4 left side versus right side effectively here. Team Blue represented by, can I play please, Protossing, an orange Zerg baby T-Rex. Big Wan 3000, who is a yellow Terran player. Boltzmann, who is a red Terran player. And that's it. Team 2 is RJB playing Protoss. We've got another Protoss here, Critter. Another Protoss here is Gallons and a Terran player, Hamster. Hamster. RJB says, make sure we don't give away our secrets. Yeah, Gallons is great unless he has an altered mental state, which is relatively often. He actually just posted that he is currently drinking, or at least he has a beer in front of him. I have an altered mental state, says Gallons. There we go. We did it. All right. So we'll see how well he plays. So yeah, it's all Protoss with the exception of Terran up here for Hamster and a Zerg over here for Baby T-Rex, right? But, uh, nope, and a Terran here from Big Wan too. That's right. That is correct. <laughs> That's gallons in a nutshell for you. Cannon contain attempt here from RJB on Boltzmann. Mm, zealots too. Falling back to a bunker is going to make you feel good. So the contain is here. Big Wan shows up to try to shut this thing down as well. Again, it takes a million hits to kill a zealot if you're a marine, but fewer hits to kill a marine if you're a zealot. RJB says, let's take down nine. Going after Big Wan? I mean, he is going like a four racks thing here. Uh, yeah, so some, so drones really only explode, explode if they're carrying a Vespine gas pouch, right? That's a pacha. So I think that's what it is. I think if they have a Vespine gas that they're carrying, they'll explode like a vehicle, but otherwise they just kind of go bleh. They just kind of like biologically die. Looks like maybe an attempted cannon rush here on Big Wan 2. Everybody kind of picking on him. Some reinforcements would be nice. See if Boltzmann, Baby T Rex, can I play please? Want to assist here? He found this pylon, he found the probe, he's gonna shut that down. Okay, he's holding. I like it. Big Wan. Not dying in the first five minutes. Very much appreciated. Can I play, please? Is uh, Spent his time cannoning in Hamster, who's a Terran player, and is going for tanks anyway. Boltzmann says, I'm walled in. Get some tanks, dude. There you go. He's got a factory on the way. He knows what's up. 
He knows what's up. Baby T-Rex up over here, just macroing his face off. Doesn't have a hydra den yet or a lair. Trying to drone, 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 drone. RJB does a bit of a run by here. There is a bunker. The repair that bunker needs to be repaired though. I don't know how many dudes are in that bunker, but I feel like it's not everything. Okay, the repair is good. Can I play please into assist here too? There you go. Okay, so good teamwork, keeping him alive. Really needs to start mecking into not Marines though at some point. TKO Romulan, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. And the Sunday Starcraft. Mm, don't really explode when they're carrying minerals, no. I mean it's like a it's like a marine it's a medic death for drones when they're not carrying gas. They just kinda like they eviscerate, right? All their parts fall apart. I don't think it's an explosion like when they're carrying Vespine. Huh, Boltzmann busted out. Fair enough, fair enough. Critter's got a bunch of zealots here. He's maybe heading on down to Boltzmann too. An explosion is a power-up death. I don't know what that means, Saber Sword. Applies the minerals too. Hmm. Okay. I guess if they die with minerals in their mouths, they also explode. I swear it's only when they have gas they do the big explosion with, like, fire and stuff. I don't know, man. I'm on hour 10 of casting StarCraft today, so... Meh. Like flags. So if they pick anything up, it's a power-up. Yeah, Big Wan's out here causing... All sorts of issues. He does have a factory up here. More and more factories being produced from Boltzmann. Okay, we're staying alive. Staying alive. Can I play please fallen back as there is an attack from Gallons showing up with some support from Hamster who's got Marines, Medics, and a siege tank as they bust it out of the cannon contain. Here from Can I Play Please. I feel like Baby T-Rex is almost in a position to start helping. He's got the Hydra Den. His first Hydras are pumping. And once you start getting your first Hydras from this position, you can make a lot of them. So it'd be nice to get some help. All right. Fire Bats in the mix here, too. Big engagement. I don't know. Team left side getting rolled a little bit here. RJB joining this party. Falling back to the siege tanks. And he tanks out here from Big Wen. His front door is looking mighty weak. Gonna need some help. And the good news for Big One is that Baby T-Rex, again, has a bunch of Hydras. He is in a position to be really mobile with them and come assist him pretty soon. Uh, I don't think probes count as biological. No. I don't think they heal probes. But they do heal zealots, because those are biological, yeah. All right, fire bats, but not in bunkers, but there are medics, I don't know. Big contain set up here for hamster. I feel like maybe T-Rex, if he's needed, he will come assist. He will do it, come on. Because he's gonna need it, because this is a lot of stuff out of critter and RJB, and here we go. Mm, no, falls back, sees the fire bat count, doesn't like it, doesn't want to overextend here. Siege tanks added in the mix here for Boltzmann. Still a good number of Marines, obviously. Okay. He's got a machine shop and a factory. Just maybe not just playing as fast here, Big Wan, unfortunately. Critter's like, do we want to try to take down Can I Play Please? And Gallons is like, I'm down. I'm down for killing Can I Play Please. He's got High Templar up. Is Storm done? We're going to have to see that. No production tab, as this is a live game. Shared vision, ara ara. Okay, fall back, fight with your cannons, especially against enemy zealots here. Ooh, some high templar pathing is not going well for these guys. Go here, oh my gosh, they're fleeing, there we go. Into the cannons, storming this group would be so good. I don't think storm is done. They've got the energy for it. Can I play please would be storming, but the upgrade isn't complete yet. Here comes 
A bunch of baby T-Rex trying to save the day, but he's getting caught up in this contain of hamsters. Plus, RJB's causing in some issues, too. There you go. Storm is done. Storm does get starting toss down here. Just in the gosh darn nick of time here from Can I Play Please. That's huge getting that storm complete. Yeah, just a few zealots up here of Critter, not much. Yeah, Siege Tank, Dragoons, falling back, falling back. RJB says attacking into Can I Play Please was a mistake. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like the play. 141 likes, only nine more until we have our 150 for the week. Marines. Okay, Siege Tanks of Boltzmann are really coming into good play here. Big one also helping with it. Big Wan. He wanted that to be Big Wang, but he felt like it wouldn't be allowed for StarCraft's terms of service. So we Big Wanned it. Wide area network, you know. This is good. Ten minutes in, nobody's dead. I think Big Wan is definitely struggling here. He needs more production. He needs to stop making Marines at some point. Here comes our debut. And there are Reavers in your face. Ugh. 17 kill Reaver. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah. Big Wan, like I said. Not the strongest player here, but that's okay. I like what we're seeing from Boltzmann. I like what Hydra's doing. Or maybe T-Rex. I don't know why I called him Hydra. And can I play, please? Is always very, very strong. He'd like to start dropping on people. He's got his own Reaver tech. He's got his own Storm tech. Siege tank, sieging up. Dragoons from Gallon just kind of walking into them. Just trying to, you know, trade tanks out. Yeah, kind of a PVT here. What's more iconic? I would say Marines killing Zerglings is an iconic interaction of death. Another one is just Siege Tanks and Dragoons, man. Number two. So just pure gateway here out of Critter. Going into Marine Siege Tank. Shouldn't be super good. Sometimes if you just have enough, especially with a bunch of Zealots, it's going to work here. RJB coming up here too. Need some help left side. I'm not sure that Can I Play Please is really going to be able to assist. I'm not sure that baby T-Rex is in a position to either. Sending these lurkers down would be awesome. I am pretty sure that Critter doesn't have... Yeah, he's getting attacked too. The two Terrans on team left side are struggling mightily. Like, really, really mightily. Could really use some help. These lurkers I think are a better use saving Big Wan or saving Boltzmann, who just did not have enough siege tanks or mech at all. And the baby T-Rex is like, screw that. I'm going to counterattack and take down RJB. <laughs> all right, cool. So we let our Terran friends die, I suppose. Uh, he's splitting off a little bit here to try to save Boltzmann. Yeah, man. Baby T-Rex is max. With plus one attack on his Hydros, plus one, uh, and one one on his Hydros, I guess, because plus one Carapace on his Lings. Dark Swarm is out too? All right, all right. Baby T-Rex is scary all of a sudden. He does end up saving Boltzmann. Boltzmann is okay economically. Just needs to make some stuff. RJB in a lot of trouble here. A maxed out Zergy Zerg with Dark Swarm is in here, causing all sorts of issues. RGB says, I need some help, man. This is a lot of Zerg inside my face. All my units that are coming out of my gateways are dying. Baby T-Rex. Macroing his absolute face off here. Says, Gallons, I need some help. Meanwhile, can I play, please? Has Khan just been left alone? He's just been fighting against Hamster who's putting tanks up. Uh, ultras are here. And yeah, baby T-Rex got left alone for a while. He's pretty terrifying right now. Lurkers dying, Ultras, Hydras trying to support the Lurks. The Lurks are being focused in particular though. RJB does get saved thanks to the support here from Gallons and Critter, which is nice. 
Some defensive DTs here from RJB with all of the chaos. Very smart move. I like that quite a bit. Is the Ultras, they do not have their full upgrades yet because at 14 minutes, that's a lot to ask for them. They're falling back. Siege tanks. There you go. Siege tanks and Dragoons. Do not mix. A little friendly fire siege tank splash on those ultras, though, causing all sorts of problems here, too. And it's a big drop from Gallons on top of Boltzmann. And behold, the storm. Oh, Boltzmann. All right. SCV count. Not good. We can't tell exactly what it is, but it is not healthy. There are two dudes on minerals right now with a couple more being pulled on to assist. Maybe T-Rex making a move on Hamster. Just maybe put some pressure off Can I Play Please and allow him to get up and do what he needs to do. He's at 158 supply right now. High ground siege tanks, kind of the ultimate answer to Lings and Ultralisks. Baby T-Rex doing the Zergy Zerg thing here. Good positioning on the tanks against Ultra Crackling. Can't get that wide surround and everything dies. He's sending another unit in here, but once again, Gallons and Critter are here to respond to that issue post haste. Boltzmann has got the extra command centers, which is great. Big Gwan's rebuilding his economy while everything else is going chaotic over here. I'm just waiting for Can I Play Please to like. There you go. He's loading up for some kind of a massive drop. I'm not sure who's going after, but. We're going to have to see here, won't we? What's up, PJ? Yeah, can I play please? He's been dealing with tanks? Doing this stuff? I think it's really slowed down his normal playing strategy. It's the nature of team games, though. Sometimes you can't do what you want because you're just dealing with too much aggression from other teammates or other players. Oh, not on your team. Looks like RJB going for some kind of a massive drop here. I think he's going to go after baby T-Rex. Uh, needs to call that out. Boltzmann needs to call that out. I don't... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a group of Hydras here. Corsairs eat it early. And he gets up into position to unload. Gets the storm off. And baby T-Rex's economy gets obliterated. Plus, there's a ton of Zealots here, too. They're going to snipe down. They're going to try to snipe down the lair. Hydra's trying to save it. It is going to go down. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Contact. Lair goes down. Hive is around. Well, that's nice. Baby T-Rex in here trying to kill RJB again. Siege tanks in the house. Where the heck? Ah, here we go. This is where... Can I play please went right on the hamster. Wiping out all the tanks on defense here. Three kills on that high Templar. This guy's got 62 though. So hamster's economy just got knocked into oblivion. Into the dark ages. So hamster is hurting. Baby T-Rex is hurting. Big Wan is hurting. RJB is still alive. Gallons is providing some really nice support to everybody today. Gallons is winning teammate of the day. Critter. Trying to make sure that Big One is actually dead. Good foresight there for sure. And then a recall of Gallons right on top of Can I Play Please? Zealots charging in to try to deal with this issue that they did not see coming at all. Trying to get some storm in here to clear this out. The high ground siege tanks of Hamster are putting in some serious work. They're getting storm, but it always takes two. Always takes two. Can I play, please? Nothing on minerals here either. The High Templar got 42 kills according to Savior Sword. Nice reporting there. So can I play, please? Is hurting. Big Man is hurting, and Baby T Rex was hurting, and Boltzmann was hurting earlier. So everybody on Team Can I Play, please, has taken some serious hits today. Other, some are at better situations than others. 145 likes, looking good. Baby T-Rex continuing to try. Continuing to try and take down RJB, but it is a definitely, a definitely a tall ask here with 100 supply total. 
these cannons are just in positions where the hiders have a really hard time engaging with them. Zealots keep popping out of these gateways. Super annoying stuff. And yeah, see you later, Dragoon. Can I play, please? Baby T-Rex, GG's out. After he couldn't kill our JB? Is that what that was? I don't think he got dropped or anything. Hmm. Yeah, so that's it. That is it. Team right side does get the win here. Hamster, Gallons, Critter, and RJB. Just a solid team, top to bottom. I think Big Wan probably needs to start learning some build orders and maybe just some tips and tricks for FME before he's really ready to join in here. Boltzmann pretty much knows what he's doing. He's still not crazy strong, but he's got the right idea, at least. That's good to see. Yeah, putting them both on the same team. Uh, probably should have moved, like, Boltzmann or Big Wan over and traded it out for Critter or Gallons, I guess, in order to make these teams a little bit more fair. Big Wan and Boltzmann both tap as Critter's here to wipe him out. And a bit of a recall here from Gallons, too, right on top. So can I play, please, Ease alone? Can I play, please? Trying to go 4v1 here is just not really something that anyone can do in this situation. Although, I don't know. What if we put, like, Hamburger Sasu in here and had him fight Hamster, Gallons, Critter, and RJB? You think he could beat... He could win? GG. And there's your win. So Hamster, Gallons, Critter, and RJB are your winners. Really solid team, just top to bottom there for sure. All right, good stuff. Units killed. Hamster killed the most, just kind of sitting next to kind of play please and fire on him with those tanks from the high ground. Super annoying stuff to deal with for sure. Yeah, PPPT, strong combination, says PJ. Fair enough. All right, man. We got to go 7v1 hero. We'll do a Zerg. Is Connor here? Yeah, yes, Slayer. That's the thing. You really got to keep it uh, in fastest map. You got to execute your early build well, or you're just going to fall apart and fall behind in the, you know early mid game for sure. Hey, what's up, Samacron? Things are good, sir. Connor is here. All right, cool. So we'll do hero with a Zerg hero with Connor in the hero spot. I promised him that. So if you hop in there, I'll boot ya. If your name isn't Silverwolf. Nope. There he is, Silver Wolf. How do I get you up there? Up. Up. Open, closed, computer. Okay, he made it up there. Excellent. Okay, so Silver Wolf is going to go ahead and Zerg Hero here. He requested it earlier. Detroit doesn't want to play, so we're going to put uh, Striker in there. <laughs> Who are you? New player. 
468 wins, 349 losses. I see. Oh, okay, bye. Thanks for stopping in to say hello. All right. Uh, do we want to get Toy Cop in here over somebody else? Put him over Big Wan. Big Wan played in the last game. Sure am, Ebs. Ebster. All right. Uh, let's choose our races. Ooh, Mad Doctor is in too. Hasn't played anything yet. We'll put Mad Doctor in over people who haven't played, who uh, have played a couple times already. Let's put him in over to Saver Sword. Oh, Mad Doctor wants to OBS. Never mind. Oh, and save your sword tapped. So... And then he joined again. Welcome back. Hey, what's up, Chi Jin? This is not the last game of the day, Detroit Volk. We're going to do another one. We'll probably do three of them. One Zerg, one Terran, one Protoss. Then we'll finish this off with a free-for-all. Maybe, depending on how I feel. Might have to get some more Coke Zeros. Ah, so Save Your Sword hit escape by accident. Okay, Save Your Sword Toy Cop, can I play please? Gallons, Striker, Hamster, and Yumi. This is a pretty strong seven to go against Silver Wolf here. Uh, sure, Striker. That's right, more Coke Zeros. Sure, Detroit, I'll get you in the free for all. Sure. All right, we go. All right, Critter. Feeling productive on a Sunday is honestly not something you should feel, Critter, but I respect your work ethic, man. All right, Silver Wolf's going to hero us up for Zerg, which means all the units he produces are going to be heroes, except for the drones. What that means is your overlords come with speed, a million HP, and drops, which is interesting. So, what do we got here? We got Silver Wolf being our hero today as a Zerg. Can I play, please, is Protossing it up. Regular units, right? Strikers playing Zerg. Save your sword is Protoss, as always. Toy Cop's in the house playing... Uh, that's not Toy Cop, that's Hamster. This is Toy Cop playing Protoss. Yimmy, Terraning. And then Gallon's down south also playing the Protoss. Kitties are doing great. Been opening the windows a little bit during the day to cool it off. It's been kind of warm the last couple days, and they just love sitting on the windowsill, just like staring out there at all the birds and stuff. They're very cute. Hey, Colton, glad you enjoy the streams and the positive vibes. That's what I try to bring to the StarCraft scene for sure. Interesting. So, Gallons decides what he's gonna do is proxy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. okay. Hamster's building engineering bays to block the ability to put drones on the minerals, which we've seen this used as a strategy last week, too. Loading of the engineering bays. Yeah, he doesn't have a pool yet. So here we go. So the devouring one lings are going to start popping out, doing tons of damage, lots of HP. There's the annoyance. Gallons has got cannons. Cannons do pretty well against devouring ones. They have a hard time with those because of the range. Plus the sheer amount of damage that they do. Yeah, I think Silver Wolf is just going to die here. I'm not seeing... Oh, he's trying to get a high... He's not making lings? He's just going hunter-killers? That is interesting. That's an interesting move for sure.
mean, it does make some lings, though. It does make some devouring ones. 120 HP, 3 armor, 10 damage on attack with Adrenal. S uh, Silver Wolf, Connor, RJB. See how this cannon's getting kills, man? Yeah, see, that cannon killed a bunch of these devouring ones. That's another one down. Yeah, so the Ling's not quite invincible. Makes a couple Hydras to clear out the stack of engineering bays, which is going to slow down the Hydra's ability to get out onto the map here. So, yeah, Zealot's going to trade pretty well here. It is always the top left, yes. Farewell, and always the first person on the list up here, too. So, <laughs> Amster's engineering bay a floating scheme has been shut down. So now we've got our Hunter Killers out, 160 HP, 20 damage per shot, 2 armor natively. Interesting. Fairly fast Queen's Nest here. Yeah, I think the regular folk are like, what? Like, nothing else? We're not seeing any more, uh, any more Lings, any more Hydras. He's just kind of sending individual devouring ones here. Striker's like, I'm gonna go, oh come to me? He's just turtling up super hard. It's like, if you need help, come this way. Alright, alright. So it's just, the hero kills everybody, he wins. If the hero dies, everybody else wins. It's pretty simple. But the hero does get hero units, hunter-killers, devouring ones, Torasks, overlords, whatnot. Ling's trying to go after these tanks. Decide to go after these cannons instead. Good deep power there. Uh, well, unless something else is spotting for it, Tori. Queens pop out with full energy. Yep, matriarchs, three armor for them too. Gets an ensnare down. Could spawn Bruling a tank or the Bruling's hero? Mm, no. Regular Bruling's. Kind of fun though. They should be hero Bruling. Why aren't they hero Bruling's? What the heck? Yeah, just not quite massing enough here. But, you know, it's doing all right. I think heroes get the ability to upgrade a whole bunch too. Like, they can get up to level seven upgrades. I think everybody else gets a little extra upgrade uh, possibility there as well, but I'm not entirely sure how many that is for them. Looks like we got double drops here from Hamster and from Can I Play Please. Just a casual, you know, 15 kill storm. Just murdering the economy of the hero, which is, I mean, that's the strat, right? You murder the economy of the hero and they can't make things that murder you. Toy Cop shows up to the drop party a little bit late, says, oh, there are no drones for me to kill. Well, what if we just reaver these Hydras to death? There you go. Takes two Scarabs to take a, re a Hydra down. There you go. Killer wolves, have a great day, man. Enjoy being productive, I guess. <laughs> you and Critter, together. I guess I'm streaming, that's fairly productive. Silver Wolf is sitting on 3,000 minerals and 500 gas. This is a good point that Jericho is making here. Could make a ton of stuff, but he's not. Ooh, DTs though. DTs. Want to infest that command center so bad. Get it? Get the CC. Get the CC. There are some scouts out from Toy Cop, of course. Yeah, infested command center. Dude, are infested Terrans buff? 
Tell me they're strong. I'm not sure that they are. Can I play, please, with the Mass Zealot? Follow up, Silver Wolf not making stuff? Some of his larvae are dying to this Reaver, in all fairness. Okay, well. It was fun. But hang on, we gotta see what this infested Terran is real quick. Everything else is dead. No, 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 no. Make an infested Terran. Make an infested Terran. Does end up saving his hive thanks to the lings. Maybe does. Totally does. There he is. He still does 500 damage and has no armor and 60 HP. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. This should be so much cooler. That's it. Silver Wolf just wanted to have fun. Oh, Silver Wolf just wanna have fun. Oh, Silver Wolf just wants to have fun. Okay, we're gonna do Terran next. I think I promised this to Striker. So Striker wants to turn this thing up. Get Hero Jim Rainers in the house. Striker, get up there, man. Wait, no, I should have swapped. There we go. Nope, still can't do it. Striker, get up there, dude. Uh, oh my gosh, this is annoying. Uh... Fair enough. Got a mad doctor. There we go. Thanks. Sounds good, Connor. All right. So Striker's up there. Who the heck is Wubwa? No drops. You can't just say no drops. That's not how this works. You have OP Jim Rainers. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. So Rainer's way better than Hunter Killer. Oh, okay, cool. Sounds great. We'll bump you in here for sure. Uh, we'll put you in over the gallons. Okay, we're good. I'm feeling all right about this. Hey, Jack. Uh, yeah, we're usually at six hours or longer on the Sunday stream. Longer than seven hours is weird, but somewhere between six to seven is usually where I call it quits. All right, so Striker, going to be our Terran hero today. We've got Save Your Sword greening it up. We also have Hamster playing Zerg this time for the funsies. we got Brew Gotta Be Kidding right side, Terran. Got a brown Protoss player, Yimmy. Down south is Big Wan. Got Wub Wub, who's a new player with us. What's up, Wub Wub? 
And then another Terran player. Can I play, please? Uh, nope. We're going to do a Protoss hero after this, John Doe. Going to step away for a second. Be right back. And Rainer falls to SCV drilling. Go figure. A little bit embarrassing for sure. Uh, yeah, Connor, they sure do. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if Defilers do as well. Hero tanks, it looks like, from Striker. Marine stuff is good. Like, really, really good. Oh, hero medics. Uh, yeah. No? No, I don't think so. They come with the energy upgrade, and they have one armor, but they're pretty normal. Interesting. Interesting what's normal and what's not in this game. Yeah, Duke tanks are in production right now. Yimmy. Taken center. A little bit of a mass fire bat attempt here from our guy Wabuwa, but that's going to be tough. The rally doesn't work? I don't know. Nobody told me. The units get replaced. Oh, so the units that are producing the barracks would rally, but they get replaced by stuff that didn't come out of the barracks, so they don't rally. That's interesting. Okay. Here goes our tanks. Edmund Dukes are here. 70 damage per shot, 400 HP, 3 armor. 70 unseaged, mind you. Siege is going to be more. So moving out and in siege mode, 150 damage per shot. Basically straight up two-shotting cannons. Zealot's really no match here either.
Yeah, Toy Cop. I'm pretty sure that's what Saber Sword was indicating there. I see you. Three kill fire bat. Zero kill fire bat. Whew. Big sneeze. And yeah, that's it, Connor. You gotta play without rally capabilities if you're the hero. That does make it a little bit tougher for sure. Spazzing out probe down here in Yimmy's base. Was told to do something. There you go. Finally accomplishes that task. Striker trying to kind of slow push siege tanks out here. Kind of running his rainers into death there. Not exactly ideal. I mean, honestly, if I was the hero, I would just be spamming turrets. Pretty much non-stop from the five-minute mark. Doesn't make it really hard to drop. Look, I'm moving to Can I Plea Please's base. I'm not sure Can I Plea Please is ready for this. Couple zealots come in, try to get the tanks. Can't quite pull it off. The Rainers are defending quite ably. Couple lurkers are out from Hamster. Push on, can I play please? Who went kind of heavy on the fire bat stuff and isn't quite ready for this. Big Wan's come in and try to deal with this. He does have a good number of siege tanks with him. He should be able to deal with this group. Yeah, that's a 10 kill. Edmund Duke there. Another tank goes down. And... Ah, there you go. Does get a shot off left. And then no more shots. Okay, so this is still sort of happening against Can I Play Please. Not ideal. That's a 13 kill Jim Rayner there. That is an 11 kill Jim Rayner there. Worker count. Can I Play Please has kind of been obliterated a little bit on the SCB count. If not immensely so. Ooh, Goliaths are here. Alan Shezar. With the three armor. Doing 26 damage per shot here versus ground. Versus the 13 damage per shot here the normal Goliaths are making. But a good macro here from Big Wan. I mean, he's showing up. Making a lot more stuff. Yeah, Big Wan's been figuring some stuff out. I like it. Yeah, everyone's just getting too big. Can I play please? I snuck down a commsat station in Wavuo's base. Very fun. A command center too, just in case. Yeah, but at this point, we do have a NORAD 2 up try to deal with these guardians that are showing up. It's just everybody's too big. Thanks for the follow, hi Pimplar. Yeah, Goliath with Caron Boost are gonna chase this away. Battlecruiser, really tough, really scary. Does take pretty big chunks from these devourers though. Definitely the case. Big, big, big drop down the left side here from... This is Brugada? Or is this Wabua? I think this is Wabua. He just mass fire bat drops him for the lulls. It's a lot of fire bats, man. Look at them. They're actually killing Goliath. They should not be killing Goliath. 
Wow, what an absolutely for the lulz drop that was. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Wabuwa. Hey, 150 likes, we did it. Thanks everyone for hitting the like button. I appreciate it, I appreciate you. Toy Cop doing the customary and beloved 150 likes dance. Down there in the chat. Yeah, you're probably right, Connor. It is a bit of a push here on Stryker, and I think Stryker's days are over. Yeah, man, Big Wan's been a big part of this victory. Loving to see that. Yumi's got a ton of speed lots on top of this stuff, too. He's dropping lurkers on top of C tanks. Another lurker tried to get in there, couldn't quite do it. Tank down, lurkers getting picked off, but getting squeezed just by the sheer sheer amount. If you mind control a hero unit, it's yours. I think we saw that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, pretty sure you do. The unit retains all of the abilities they already have. At least the base attack, right? No upgrades, but you get the HP and the basic attack and basic armor. All right, Striker is being overwhelmed by a combination of Hamster and Yimmy. And man, who else is here too? Brugada's here too. There's too much, he says. Yes, welcome to being the hero. And GG. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough being the hero. Certainly that's the case. Alright, next up, we're going to do a Protoss hero. I don't think anyone has called this, but uh, whoever gets it, I guess, will allow to have it, probably. Mad Doctor wants it. Alright, I'm down. Mad Doctor takes the spot. You see some Phoenix running around like a maniac. RJB, you want to be in this one? Is that what that face means? I'm trying to translate RJB emoticon language. If you want in, I'll make you a spot, sir. RJB says no. All right, cool. All right, cool. Put Detroit in over Yimmy then. We'll call it good. Mad Doctor offers to give up the hero spot. That's interesting. Cool, let's go. All right, last thing for hero stuff. We'll toss up a free for all. All right, Mad Doctor is the hero this time. And facing him is Baby T-Rex as a Zerg player. Save your sword as a Protoss player. We got Can I Play Please Protossing it up. We got another Protoss down right here. Gallons, we got a Terran. Big Wanning. Another Protoss here from Toy Cop, and another Protoss here from Detroit. Bulk. Bulk, 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 bulk.
I'm thinking critters, John Doe. I haven't done a critters in a couple weeks. It's definitely stupid enough that it's entertaining. But yeah, thanks for hitting the like button, everyone. I do appreciate it. Getting that 150 goal every week is fantastic. Happy when we make it. Kind of sad when we don't, but that's okay. There's always next week. But yeah, especially if you had to, I don't know, click through a couple different menus to like this thing. I extra appreciate the effort. So, now can I play, please, is the one cannoning up the center here. We've had three different Protoss do this in all three of these games that we've done. Uh, yes, Critter. That is enough productivity for today. You've done it. Well done, sir. Great victory for productivity everywhere. So Mad Doctor is a good fastest map player. All right. So Mad Doctor has an idea of when to make, you know, how many probes to make, timings for buildings and stuff. Should be a bit more of a challenge, I think, here than Striker was or that Connor was. We've got to keep that in mind. Wow, four Sunkins to try to take down the mighty Phoenix. And that is enough. Baby T-Rex is ready for that. Ready for action. Uh, save your swords all super cannoned up. That's not somewhere you can go either. Nope. Maybe could have run by. Seriously could have run by if the HP hadn't been taken by these Sunkins earlier. Can I play please if you avoid his cannons? He's super vulnerable too. Big Wan opened up. What looks... Oh, yeah, definitely. 5 CC before Rax. So he's pretty vulnerable as well, but he's far enough away that he can get away with it, right? That's crazy. Detroit Bolt just has a million more Zealots out. Like, just better macro here than Mad Doctor, which is very interesting. How does he have more gateways than you do? I'm very confused about this. <laughs> Jack. Ah. Take that, not hero overlord. Man Doctor does have 73 available supply. Doctor plays Zerg. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. Huh. Well, okay. Maybe at some point we just need to start getting better players in as Le Hero. Or at least people more familiar with what we're doing. Like. You know, FME Protoss mains as the Protoss hero, just as an example. Because, yeah, I mean, this is just, there's no pressure from these Phoenix at all. We're just kind of turtling up. In fairness, there are some DTs down here, and there is no detection for the hero. Just firing up a robo now. 
And here comes the cop that is a toy. Hey, J Talks. Definitely. Definitely. Turbo Avenger. What the heck is Meat Grinder? Okay, well, pulled the probes, stacked them in a place where the Reavers could more easily hit them, I guess? That was tough. Okay, well, Mac Doctor tacking up into something. High Templar, Dark Templar. What's the play here? Yeah, that might help ACR. because he's like, my cannons are a bit out of control here. Yeah, I mean, look, heroes, if nothing else, really just need to focus on being able to deal with drops. It's just that has really what has been allowed the seven to win a lot in this is the fact that uh, the hero just get dropped hard. Their economy gets murderized. They're way too behind to hold up against seven other players. And then it's kaput from there. Thanks for the follow, Babylon 777777. Uh, welcome to the Sunday Starcraft. The Phoenixes are doing their best to deal with these tanks, but the DTs are problematic here from Savior Sword. Savior Sword falls back, the cannons are an issue, but the Mass Hider from Baby T Rex do not care about your cannons. Also, a million Reavers from Toy Copper here now, so all the probes are dead. 10 kills on that Reaver, 6 kills on that Reaver, 3 kills on that Reaver, and Mad Doctor taps. All right. Wait, you did not. <laughs> okay, well. What's up, Marsara man? All right, man, time to wrap this up with a free for all. We're gonna crazy critters this thing. It's gonna be awesome. People are gonna be mad about it. Calamitous crazed critters for eight players as edited by our very own Savior Sword.
three hours remain. I certainly hope three hours don't remain. All right, who's in? Can I play, please? Baby T-Rex, save your sword. RJB. Ah, Wabu is here. Yimmy is here. RJB needs a quick break before he's ready to go. That's fine. So to save your sword. Ah, uh, we need some people here in the free-for-all. That's the trick. John Doe doesn't even want to play this. John Doe's like, I'll stay if we do the map that I like. Detroit Bulk Toy Cop. All right, cool. So, Baby T-Rex, Save Your Sword, RJB, Can I Play Please, Wabuo, Toy Cop, Yimmy, and Detroit Bulk. Gallon's almost got in. Cool. So Baby T-Rex gave up his spot to Gallons. That's very nice of him. Oh, what's up, Striker? I don't know, man. If someone wants to give up their spot here, then sure. But I don't know. Toy Cop might offer it to you if you come in and ask nicely. Way to win. Don't hack. Mm, Toy Cop said he'll give up a spot if someone asks nice. Striker's like, I don't know if I can ask nice. striker went he asked if he could have a spot and i was like looks like it and then he didn't join so got about 10 seconds here Thanks, Ara Ara. Doing my best over here. All right. Ready. Nobody's responding ready. Oh, Yimmy is. Thank goodness. Oh, there he is. There's the guy. I was almost ready to click OK there.
Okay, so Striker's in. Toy Cop's like, man, I'm gonna go sleep. Thanks for the spot, says Striker. Toy Cop's a nice guy. And we go. There's that fella. Indeed, there is that fella. Bam. All right, free for all. It's gonna be Striker playing his beloved Terran. RJB is zerging it here today. Detroit, Bulk, Protoss, Wabua, Terran. And then on the right side, it's Savior Sword, Protoss. Gallons, Protoss. Can I play, please? Protoss. And Yimmy Terran. Uh, so you'll notice there are a few critters on the map here that we can see. The entire map is covered this way with critters. It makes it tough to put buildings down. And uh, tough to move your units out across the map if you want to kill somebody. So... Some strategies involve killing the critters early by getting a cannon down or like making an early marine or using an SCV to kill critters or a probe even. Zerg getting a sunken down is pretty effective. Zerg has fewer buildings to build and therefore has something of an advantage here. Plus you get two gas. So Zerg can get up to one base spire pretty nicely on this map and get some work done with mutas too. So we will see. We will see together who is on top here. Who will be the winner? John Doe doesn't like playing Crazy Critters, apparently. Gas is optimizer style. Oh, so one has 5,000 gas, one has 1,000 gas. Neat. Still, two gas income to make a bunch of mutas. Hmm, wonderful. RR is like, I couldn't kill these animals. I should not play in this version of the, the map. Agreed. If you don't want to kill critters, you should not play. No one's killing their critters, really. Usually somebody by this point has started killing their critters. But everybody seems to be happy to let them live so far. Man, it'd be nuts to play a version of this where you're not allowed to kill the critters. I don't think it'd be possible. I don't think you could get any buildings down without killing any of the critters. Maybe some. Again, Zerg would have a massive advantage because all they really got to get down is like a pool. Oh, look at this out of RJB. I like this big brain play. Yeah, 4,000 gas in either, either of these. Oh, we got it. He got it. That's big for RJB. Savior Sword says, I can make the critters invincible. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Blue is enjoying his life. Are you just talking about APM? Oh, yeah. The 20 APM that Detroit Bulk is rolling with. Yeah. Are you Marsara Man as well, Lee? Or did you just happen to say what Marsara Man on Twitch said? Ah, there we go. We're finally killing some of them critters. That's what we're here for. That's what we're on this map for. You are Marsara Man. Great. You're on YouTube and on the Twitch. Very cool. Ooh, someone got a cannon out. Two cannons out from Can I Play, please. You're killing critters now. That's the spirit. Looks like Saber Sword would like to expand. He's got his own cannons. They're not actively firing because you have to babysit them to do this, and it's annoying, but you got to do it if you want to kill the critters at all. Detroit Volk's APM has spiked a bit as he has to tell the cannons to kill the critters. So what's fun about this is that usually in this free-for-all, somebody is just kind of busy trying to kill critters and get their tech up. And then all of a sudden, somebody who teched up faster than them, because maybe they didn't worry about the critters as much, shows up and kills them. So it's tricky. Timings make no sense on this map. You can't prepare for certain things. It's just a matter of kind of being ready for whatever shows up. Scouting is really hard, too. <laughs> Ara Ara is saluting the critters. Hamster says, don't tell PETA about them. Yeah, so 
we're deep into critter murder here. And Save Your Sword did manage to get a second base up here at the 12 o'clock, which is awesome. Yeah, Dave C. Agreed. Uh, we have definitely seen players able to get a Spire out and just show up with like five Mutas on somebody's mineral line and they die. So, we might see that. We've really only got the one Zerg here, so it's going to be RJB if it's anyone. So yeah, some people focus on tech, some people focus on macro, some people focus on killing critters. Some people try to do all of the things. And it's tricky. Right. These spires are tiny. Behold. It is a spire. It is small. RJB using some lings to snipe these critters. Very cool stuff. Using sunkens to snipe other critters. Very cool stuff. Yeah, and Mutas don't have to worry about the critters on the ground because they don't affect flying stuff. So, Muta, very, very, very popular opening. If you die to Mutalisks, and there's a Zerg player in this free-for-all, you should have prepared for something. That's all there is to it. Well, Toy Cop, because some players are smart about it. They get some turrets up, their marines deal with the mutas. And then while the, you know, the muta player lost all their mutas, and then suddenly a Protoss maybe had some time to get up to two bases and four gas, and like 12 carriers show up and the Zerg dies. We've seen that pan out a couple times. That's why Zerg doesn't win every time. Striker's done a fantastic job of wiping out these critters. His main base is looking almost normal. For the number of critters we can see here. I mean, sure, there's like six, but wow. He's definitely winning this this race to kill as many critters as possible. Yeah, no one else looks as cleared out as he does. It's a good job down here, definitely by Yimmy. But yeah. The winner is Striker. I like it. Here we go. The mutt mutts are here. A million mutt mutts. But it is five mutt mutts, which is the minimum number to harass, especially any ZDT. Yeah, any more than that, it just gets better and better. <laughs> nice toy golf. And see, we got turrets up, we've got marines, and the mutas are like, huh. Anti air? Who does that? Whoever would produce anti air. Yeah, so he's just he's taking what he can get. This wasn't get Muta's out auto win, right? He's still got a stack, he's still gotta deal with stimmed marines and medics. It's tough. It's really, really tough going to complain about lag in a minute here. That's what happens every time he goes Mutalisks in any kind of a game that I'm streaming. Or at least set it to high latency. That might happen. Muta stack a little bit bigger now. Yes. Gosh. Yes, Toy Cop. It is tough to change your mind. There it is. There's the lag. <laughs> Do I know RJB or do I know RJB? <laughs> Good times. All right, 11 mutas are out. They don't have any attacker armor upgrades yet. Correct, Toy Cop. Those usually come later. Not really an early thing. He did it! 
Yeah, man. It's been working hard. I mean, I don't know if that means his macro's been slipping a little bit or what, but... Ah, we got a bit of a contain down here. Gimme against... Wabuwa, who did not go mass fire bat in this game, but does have a lot of marines. He did win the Emu Wars. Wabuwa tries to break out here with the Marines with the Siege Tanks. Looks like he's going to be able to do it. It's going to cost him a lot of Marines for sure. This is a 7-kill Siege Tank back here. He's going to get some more. There you go. 8 kills. Probably 9. 10 before he goes down. Not bad. Not bad Siege Tank at all. You just continuing to harass on Striker. Muta's got the plus 1 upgrade now. That's good. He's using him to kill some of these critters that are cluttering up everybody's base. I don't think they signed a treaty with the emus. I think the emus just won. And the Australians were forced to retreat back to the lands that they already had. I think they lost some territory to the emus that day. By that day, I mean like during the war. In general. Big unload. Is that enough of a drop to do this? Is Striker? Nah. It can't be enough. Is it? A RJB does not like this. Ah, I see. I see. Striker's like, so why are you not defending this, RJB? What is happening exactly? He's going to lose the hive. He just lost a hatch. There's a big push here from Gallons into the center base that RJB has had for a while now. But the hive. Focus the hive. Focus the, got it. Got the hive. RJB, like, he's going to be able to clear this out, but at what cost? He's going to lose his main here. Like, one sunk is not going to be enough to stand here against these plus one Dragoons of Gallons. He's evacuating the drones. Yeah, he's just getting hit by two players at once in a free-for-all, which happens. It happens a lot, and it totally sucks. And if this hatch goes down, RJB is not going to have any income at all. <laughs> Striker is mad about the incoming... Oh, they went into missile turret range, though... Oh my gosh, they went into missile turret range. Uh, I don't know. Did you move command? RJB is upset about this, as he should be. He just lost like six guardians because they walked into missile turrets. You know, as they'll do sometimes because they're dumb. Since I was going to kill you with those guardians, Striker's like, nah. You wouldn't have. And that's it. RJB taps. This is C. Zerg doesn't win every one of these. It's tough. It's tough being a Zerg sometimes. All right. So RJB is down. Looks like we've successfully taken a second base now. Yimmy at the 6 o'clock, which is nice. Every base has been taken, although I guess the center base is gone. What are these drones trying to do? Are they trying to return those minerals, but they can't because RJB is gone. That's interesting. Also, guess who made carriers? One guess. Save your sword is carrying gallons over here. Now you gotta bring your freaking dragoons and they have to walk through the critters and it totally sucks. Carriers causing all sorts of problems. So 
And now Striker does have access to a second base for successfully killing RJB, which is nice. Detroit's going mass scout. Toy Cop, very pleased about this. The scouts do currently have 1-1-1 one, one, one upgrades, which is kind of awesome. Carriers abusing this high ground situation. Gallons can't feel particularly happy about that. He's going to spend his downtime killing some critters, as you do. It was 10 dead guardians. Bleh. I thought it was a lot, but 10 sounds like too many. But yeah, either way, rip guardians, man. They are so dumb. So dumb those guardians are. I like this from Savior Sword, just being circumspect with it, not overextending, being very patient. Got ourselves our own little mini TBT in the bottom left here. Tank lines have arrived. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, taking the middle, it totally worked, RJB. That was cool. Should have worked out for you there. Are we sniping a Nexus? Trying to snipe a Nexus. With six carriers. And, oh, stasis, man. Stasis, man. HP. I know you don't want to lose any carriers, but like losing one to kill a Nexus might be worth. A little late now, though. Ah, oh, storming across the wall, softening these dragoons up, making them a little bit less, a little bit less effective against these carriers. Strikers building upon RJB's cold corpse. Yeah, Savior Sword carriers are pretty good carriers. Not the best carriers in the world, but not bad either. This standoff is going to be here until the end of the game, I feel like. My goodness. Bunch of Dark Archons down here. From Gallons, sure. I don't know if he wants to mind control or what. Bit of a move up here towards the center. From Yimmy. He's like, ooh, there's a base here. Yeah, the thing is, for restoration to work, you have to be able to target the unit you want to restore, and you can't target something that's been stasis. Like, I don't know if that was an intended interaction that Blizzard designed for it, or just that's how it worked out, but... That's how it worked out. Ah, he does get the Nexus. All right, comes in, takes down Gallons' main and only Nexus. Yimmy says, I'm getting carried by Can I Play Please real bad? Also, there are some uh, disruption web units there that are called Corsairs. And it's can I play please carry your micro, so it's going to be pretty good. 
Ooh, maybe mind control on the enemy carriers would be a good idea. Yeah, we're going to have carrier versus carrier battles here, huh? Pretty much. Yep, there's a mind control on a carrier, and it gets killed by its friends. Oh no, one of the most tragic things. Hey, Ozzy to Hockey, this is definitely Crazy Critters. What was that? Yeah, it's uh, it's the Crazy Critters. Eight-player map. It was originally a six-player map. Hey, what's up, dog, with the blog? Yeah, this is the last game of the stream. We're six hours and 49 minutes into it. Yeah, it's not looking good for Yimmy against this many carriers from Can I Play, please. Hey, Mr. 2XT, thanks for stopping by to say hello. Hope you enjoy work, and if you don't enjoy it, I hope it's over fast. Yeah, so this tank line's down here, and I mean, Wub Wu is like, mm, I live here now? Can't really break out, but also, if Yimmy dies, then maybe I can break out. That would be nice. This is a free-for-all dog with a blog on a six-player map called Crazy Critters that's been edited to be an eight-player map by Savior Sword. So it's eight-player free-for-all. There's a million critters all over the map. You have to clear them out of your base to do anything. And everyone has done a pretty good job clearing their critters so far. And then you try to win. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a old idea good one quim thanks for subscribing out on the youtube's welcome aboard yeah yimmy's supply blocked yimmy's building a missile million missile turrets here to his new home he's got tanks on one side carriers on the other side not a good place for yimmy to be Save your sword two bases. Looks like, ooh, Gallons did manage to get a Nexus down in here amongst all of these critters in the middle. It's the most critter-saturated portion of the map, I would say. And the carriers want to engage with, like, 20 missile turrets. Kind of play police is like, maybe if I disruption web research, which maybe he does. Did he catch an EMP? He did not catch an EMP. There are shields on these carriers. All right. Yeah, it's tough. Yimmy says, you can have these out of my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Disruption web is used on the missile turrets. There we go. Oh, man. What beautiful use of disruption web. Each little quadrant of turrets here specifically getting shut down. That's just insane. EMP does catch the carriers. Science Vessel dies for its impertinence. Do we have any more Disruption Web? Ha. Ah. Uh, yes. Critters will die from splash damage, yes. So I've seen Zerg players get up to Lurkers to clear Critters really, really fast, but you still have to get to Lurker tech, which kind of sucks. Striker's got a Valkyrie Siege Tank Marine Army out here. If it's an anti-carrier army, you're probably going to do better than if you don't have an anti-carrier army. Ah, the EMP has probably caught the Corsairs too. Some of these are back with decent amounts of energy. Here we go again. One D web. 2D web. 3D web. Is there a fourth? A bunch more turrets here that could stand to get dewebbed. Dewebb does not last forever. If you remember, back when Brood War was new, like the first time I played through the Brood War campaign, they give you dewebb to dewebb some static defense for Zerg on an island, and it lasted for like a minute and a half. It was insanely good. 
And then they were like, oh, that's way too good. And they nerfed it into the ground. And like, now we don't see it really at all. Even if somebody made, you know, 12 Corsairs, like the investment of getting a fleet beacon up and clicking on one research is just not enough. It's too much, too much of an investment for Protoss and they just do not get D-Web. I mean, it's not like it's great against Terran anyway, just because we've seen it tried and it doesn't really work. Yeah, Yumi lost all of his command centers. He's got nothing left by way of income. And going Disruption Web against Zerg is like... Sure. I mean, there are probably pretty good times when you want to use it against like a sunken lurker defense on a base. If you could do that, that'd be pretty awesome. I just don't see that all that much. Hmm, a cyber core upgrade to make D Web last longer? That'd be an interesting idea, but we're never getting balance changes in Brood War. Never, ever, ever, ever. Yimmy wants to do exactly. Oh, he tried something and it didn't work. All right, whatever, man. I'd like to know what you tried, but he GG's out and Yimmy's out. Okay, so two players down here, RJB and Yimmy are dead. I would like to know what Yimmy was trying to do with his remaining missile turrets and like SCVs and Marines, but whatevs. Ah! Gallons loses his second base to carrier fleet. Yeah, and Dark Soldier, I've got some games casted on Outsider, the map, in particular, where Protoss has used D-Web against Zerg to pretty good effect. Like, surprisingly good effect. So it's doable. It has its purposes. Can I play please? Continuing to roll down here against Wub Wub. Ooh, he does have a bunch of Valks though. RJB is believing in Savior Sword just based on numbers more than anything else. Ooh, look at this spread. Look at the, ah, uh, look at the carriers getting that nice spread. Ugh. The Valks are like, but we do splash damage. That's not fair. This is one? Mm. Yeah, a handful of Marines here trying to fight it off, but I don't know. Who's going to take center? It looks like center is going to go to save your sword now. Have to keep an eye on that. Nope. Quiet, YouTube. I'm trying to pick up some my own videos to put in chat. Alright, here we go. D-Web in a pro ZVP. Yeah, not enough Marines to really do that. No, Zealot's trying to poke in here on Gallons, who is mined out. Pretty much it's just a matter of time for him. He's on one base. Not going to work out for him in the long run, probably. Sorry, Arara. Just had to pull up that uh, disruption web usage in that amazing, amazing game. Yeah, 
it looks like the end for Wabua here. 200 minerals in the bank, no more income for him. Not enough Marines to stand against the onslaught of the carrier fleet. And that's it for him. Okay, so save your sword. Casually three base in it here. Did catch an Arbiter of Gallons. Gallons is like, can my Dark Archons make a move now? Cyan Papish says the carriers are OP as always. Carriers looking pretty good. The two carrier armies are still alive. Sure could, Dave C. I mean, I have some hopes here that our Terran guy is going to be able to deal with these carrier fleets without the cowardly use of stasis. I am not a huge fan of, but again, not going to go into it. So it's going to come down to striker, savior, the scout play here from Detroit. And can I play, please? Those are pretty much the three finalists here, unless they all kill each other and leave someone else alone long enough to win. Ooh, the scouts of Detroit Bulk are here. I don't know if there are enough of them, though. Mm, looks like there's about 12. I don't see any that are not selected without 12 selection. Uh, can I play, please? Is going to stasis them? Oh, there's a bunch over here, too. Never mind. There's... 16, 18, maybe. With 312 upgrades. Carriers do have 32 upgrades. <laughs> this is Wabua. Wabua's down here being like, Rawr. I'm going to kill all your probes. JB, what's the answer to Snow's insane river shuttle micro? Hmm? There's the answers to everything. I haven't seen anyone find it yet. micro so there you go there is not an answer to everything in starcraft there's no answer to insane micro Ta -da. <laughs> detroit just running around i think just killing critter nope trying to kill like zealots and stuff with his scout ball Ooh, archon splash is bad does anyone have a bank says striker uh saber sword sort of does has left the game. All right, Detroit Volk not... Well, I think he moved out with all of his... No, he did not. He still has a bunch of scouts at home here. Ten of them. He's got 42 minerals to his name. Yeah, a lot of people, I think, are rooting for Snow in ASL 17, saying, I think I am, honestly. He's so good. He needs to be an ASL winner. It's weird to have somebody who's this good at StarCraft consistently against the highest level pros and just can't do it in an ASL is like, what? And Tastosis Taste was talking about it a little bit, just saying like, Snow, some, maybe it's the pressure, maybe it's the big stage. Just gets to him. And 
And that can happen to players that maybe feel a little bit less pressure in other environments, you know? Counter attack into Can I Play Please's base into, I don't know, five or six cannons, and then they catch a stasis right to the face. D web on these cannons. Yeah, Can I Play Please doesn't have a ton of minerals to replace interceptors as they die, so if you could avoid them dying, I think he'd be a happier camper. Snow is favored over Sulky. That's good. Sulky Soul Key is terrifying, though. Like, Sulky is so scary. I don't know. Yeah, I think a snow Sulky matchup is going to be insane. I agree. Very much looking forward to it. Ooh, so the new maps are bad for Zerg, says our baby, on this kind of lower sample size, but still. Is Blitz the game where Sulky just went Mass Ling and hid how Mass Ling he was and then Minnie died? Is that the game? Detroit Bulk is out. All right, we got four players left. We got Striker, Save Your Sword, Gallons, and Can I Play Please? So it's time for a poll. Yeah. Yep. That's... Yep, yep, yep. RJB and Saiyan. That's what I'm thinking of. That was such a crazy game. Sulky's like, I only have these lings. Don't mind me. Sound of D-Web going down. What is this? Yeah, that was tough, Toy Cop. Yeah, you're right, RJB. Mini loves playing non-standard, and it bites him on maps where playing standard is the way to go. All right, so Gallon's getting bopped here. Striker's maxed out. Nobody else is maxed out, so I don't know. Yeah, Sulky's mind game game is probably the best in the world for sure. <laughs> this is about to scratch. Perhaps, perhaps, Yumi. That's a good goal to have. Make it to the final four of something that I put a poll up for. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Snow's been amazing everywhere but ASL. And it's just tough because ASL is the highest profile tournament. Not that there aren't other tournaments with the same level of talent at them. Right? And it's just tough if you don't do it at the biggest stage for people to really take you as seriously as they should. That's Snow. So, yeah, I hope he wins... 17 and then people can be like snow and there's not an argument all right carriers save your sword and can i play please going to town here looks like most of you think save your sword is favored to win this thing 
And the player with the most supply, I don't know. 17% of you believe in Striker. I don't know, man. He's got ghosts. Got a bunch of Valkyries. He's got science vessels. He's got 3-3 three, three upgrades on... Well, man, the Marines and the Ghosts really should have 3-3, three, three, dude. Okay, Stasis does catch some of the interceptors of Can I Play Please, but he likes what he's seen here anyway. Eating some Storm. It's 11 carriers versus 5, though. Oh, because of the Stasises. Ooh, because Savior Sword got the Stasis. He doesn't kill this Arbiter? There we go. Kills the Arbiter. Caught, gets caught by a Stasis anyway. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh. Now we have to wait for 41 seconds for stasis to wear off. Everyone set your watches. Yeah, Striker's just waiting for someone to come to him. Absolutely. Preemptive Storm Dodge here. Comes back in. Eats another Storm because there's always another Storm. Takes down an Archon. Mm, the carriers of Savior Sword come out of stasis. There are seven of them, but 11 for Can I Play Please. Again, 3-3-2 three, three, upgrades versus 3-3-3 three, three, three upgrades. Savior Sword has a minor upgrade advantage, but... I'm not sure it's enough to overcome the numerical advantage that kind of play police is looking at right now. And there's your stasis. And a nuclear launch is detected. Hello. This could be interesting. Oh, there it is. There's our dot. Oh my gosh. Save your sword. He's too busy microwing. Okay, that was big. That was big. Took out a lot of the Corsairs. Oh my gosh, the stasis ball of. Protoss here is disgusting. Save your sword down to 148 supply now. Can I play, please? 135. APM about double, but APM's not everything. Looks like some of Save Your Sword's carriers come out first. Hey, what's up, SC player? Heck yes, it's still going on. We've got a free-for-all to get to, sir. Got to get to the end of this thing. On crazy critters. Not crazy taxi. Crazy critters. A lockdown on an Arbiter. I wonder who did that. Oh, right. The only Terran who's still alive. That would make a lot of sense. Can I play, please? Is still mining from the 6 o'clock down here. Center's being super long distance mined by Savior Sword, at least for the moment. been a mind-controlled ghost for Protoss. Very possible. Striker wants a break. I mean, no one... I don't think anybody would have attacked you if you hadn't said anything, and now maybe they will. <laughs> uh, sending in a small group of carriers in. Oh, catching a lot of storms. A carrier does die mostly to storm there, but... Yeah, Save Your Sword getting whittled down here. Just individual High Templar. Every Archon that dies, every... Arbiter that dies. Oh, Car carriers are wasting attacks on Gallons. Completely gone. Gateway is there. High Templar down. Can't really see the high ground. Some 
some shield batteries. Always nice to have a little shield battery in super duper late game like this. Where you're out of minerals, man. Can I play please? Is gonna go ahead and long distance mine from this remaining mineral field with 132. Striker's asking for the compositions of his enemies, the unit comps, and they're not going to tell him because why would they do that? Savior Sword is gonna donate a couple dragoons to the cause. Yeah, man, save your sword. He's not happy about this. Save your sword. <laughs> Good times. Sixty minerals left on this last mineral patch on the map. 600 gas on that geyser, 3,000 gas on this geyser, but it's not really gas that anybody needs, right? Everybody needs minerals more than anything else here. Can I play, please? 140 supply, striker, 185. No money left for him. A little bit of a pro battle going on down here. Save your sword outnumbered and gets murderized. Strucker says there are no more bases than the spawns. That's not true. There are places you can expand. That's fun. Cloak, gun cloak. Cloak, gun cloak. Cloak, gun cloak. Cloak, gun cloak. More pro battle action. Yeah, farewell. Free for alls can, you know, they can tend to go pretty long, dude. Nobody's interested in getting out their unit compositions to the enemy in a free for all, which makes a lot of sense. Fight me to the death or kill Striker together, says Savior Sword. No allying, not fair. Protoss Unity shall win. Shall win the day. Can I play please? Is thinking about it. Hmm. Ghosts. I mean, we know there was a nuke, so there's definitely ghosts. Savior Sword says I cannot win. Yeah, this is tricky. Can I play please? Finishes off Savior Sword. He might cripple himself to the point where he can't kill Danny. So it's like, mm. it's very, very tricky. And every interceptor that dies cannot be replaced either. I don't know that attacking this is what you want to be doing if you're kind of play please. But maybe if you're careful, you don't lose any interceptors. Okay, ghost down. That's a huge deal. Striker can't rebuild anything either. Kind of getting picked on both sides a little bit. Yeah, you ballot in free-for-alls, Striker. Says, can I play, please? It's your turn to taste it. You've allied with Savior Sword before.
get an EMP off. Priest splitting here against EMP. No EMP. Got hit. All right, so priest splitting the heck out of these carriers. Arbiter chasing a little bit. Maybe a stasis on that science vessel would be good. We'll lock down on one of the carriers, but you also got to kill it is the larger issue here. Yeah, he's definitely getting poked on both sides. This is interesting. I don't know. I do not know who's going to come out on top here, but I do know that killing interceptors is a winning strategy for Striker because every interceptor that dies, that's it. That's it. The interceptor never comes back. We could be left with big carrier groups that don't have any inter interceptors on them at all. want to kill that carrier so bad and they do but they get stasis before they can retreat back so they reveal the valkyries locking down an arbiter ghost dying for it everything that dies here is so precious Man, if Striker wins this thing anyway, despite the fact that he's getting hit on both sides, I don't know. That would be nuts. That would be a pretty impressive win for sure. Save your sword says, taking him down would be nice. Oop, the high ground, high Templar get EMP'd. Not all of them. Arbiter flies in, gets a stasis off, does not die to a turret, which is a major benefit here. Missile turret down. Factory kind of getting targeted here a little bit. Another lockdown on an Arbiter, but his ability to finish off lockdown units is not great. He doesn't have any Goliaths. A couple of Goliaths would be amazing. Can I play please just kind of going for it? A little bit until the Valkyries engage. And if they overchase, the Arbiter will stasis them. Not happening. Not overchasing. Ah, uh, no, Jtox. Definitely not. I have definitely cast a bunch of games that last over an hour. In free-for-alls especially. And some of the 2v2v2v2 games in turbo mode have gone over an hour as well. This isn't even an hour yet. We're normal. Everything's fine. Save your sword. Loses an Arbiter to the Valkyrie fleet. Can I play please? Pulling back. Getting healed up a little bit. This is one of the more intense standoffs in a free-for-all we've had, though. Not the longest, but this is... I don't know. It's usually at this stage of the game, we've got someone who can probably kill somebody else. Hmm. Storm keeping these guys at bay so they can't kill these locked-down Arbiters. there was a way to see yeah some of these carriers only have four six interceptors some of them have the full complement of eight but a lot of interceptors are missing from this fleet and uh it's tough emp catches oh the working together here save your sword and can i play please is tough man some nice storms to save your sword. It certainly was. Every marine that dies, every interceptor that dies, every ghost that dies, every science vessel that dies, everything that dies here is so important. 
There's a lockdown on one of the carriers. It is going to get target fired. Man, obliterated. Save your sword. Eating a lot of Valkyrie fire here. Loses a carrier. Another carrier. Another carrier. Six remain. All in very injured states. Can I play please? Comes in in the chaos. Catches an EMP to the face. Kills the science vessel that hit him. Valkyrie count still kind of big, man. Locks down both Arbiters and executes them. This is some good, good, good play out of Striker. The Valkyrie count is so high. Can I play, please? Falling back, licking his wounds. This is intense. Down those carriers. Oh, yeah. Dead carriers. That's it. Save your sword is toast. Yep. Save your sword is out. 118 supply to 108 supply for Can I Play, please. The Valkyries are doing a lot better. Striker says he wins. Locks down. Nope. Sees. Does he see the High Templar? A storm. There's a humongous storm. Okay, okay. That was big. Every Valkyrie that dies. Massive deal. There's still 12 of them here. Even after that storm killed like four or five of them. Save Your Sword sends in his final probe, and that's it. Save Your Sword is officially knocked out. Zero supply. 24 minerals. No way to come back from this. No money on the map for anyone. My Templar on the high ground have lasted for a while. Kind of impressed, honestly. Oh, but the High Templar have no way off. Are there no shuttles for these guys? Oof. Could have recalled them off if recall's been researched. Yeah, that's the thing about carriers in super, super late game is that you can't replace the interceptors. They get really bad really fast. Can I play police sending probes in to see what's going on here? 98 to 65 supply. I think Striker has done this. I don't think these carriers can deal with the Valkyrie ball at all. It's crazy. The Interceptors are dragging Valkyrie shots to the bodies of the carriers. Yeah, six carriers. We've been here. We've been here with six carriers with Savior Sword before. Interceptor count is three, two, two, three, six, two. I think there's one here with zero. Yeah, zero Interceptors on that carrier. Ah, yeah. I think Striker has done it. Done it. Valkyrie win for sure. I don't know if this is the last hurrah, but... Carrier gets locked down. Interceptor gets locked down. Zero Interceptor Carrier gets locked down. Not a major threat. Another lockdown. Ghosts are dying for these spells, but they're getting some work done. Valkyrie snipes an Arbiter. And that's it. Good game. Well played, Striker. <laughs> Woo. Two base. Turtles. Gets an anti-carrier comp and just waits for the carriers to come to him. Pretty good micro. The ghosts were awesome. The lockdown was very good. But yeah, to see a mass Valk lockdown comp take down two separate Protoss players is kind of amazing. What's up, Steven? Yeah, definitely. The end of the stream is now, sir. But thanks for stopping by, dude. Whew. Uh, it's, It was a long game. So there you go. My client is locked up a bit. We're back. We're back. Woo -wee. What a monster of a free-for-all that was. Striker killed the most stuff. A lot of interceptors on that kill count for sure. Saber Sword lost the most stuff. And Saber Sword produced the most stuff. 
Do interceptors count for that? Can I play please raise the most buildings? He did end most people's lives here. And then Saber Sword outspent everyone, but could not keep up with can I play please or striker at the end. Wow. So GG. GG. Good game, Danny. Good game, Striker. Whatever we're going to call you. All right, Stephen, we'll catch you next week, man. So, yeah, be sure to head on in here to the uh, US West Battle.net, do a slash J Falcon Paladin. To join the Falcon Paladin chat channel here on US West Battle.net, you can talk with people like Bazump. Hey, Bazump's here. And Yimmy. It's a good time. And as always, be sure to go to falconpaladin.store for all of your merch needs. What the heck is display capture doing? Why is it the right display? Automatic. There we go. What the heck? There we go. FalconPaladin.store. Shirts, mugs, all sorts of great stuff. Hoodies as well. Super warm embroidered extra hoodie. All right. Love you all. Thank you so much for the support today. New subscribers, new followers. We got Arcadiox super chatting 10 bucks and gifting five subs as well. Uh, like MVP Arcadiox here for sure. Got Bovine Slime resubbing on Twitch out there for 10 months in a row. Real Squid re-upped his Overmind membership support level on the channel for seven months. Kyle re-upped his membership for 31 months. Phil resubbed his tier three Twitch membership for 12 months. That's it today. So thanks again. Love you all. We'll catch you next week. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. And above all, you take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thanks, everyone.